Me alive. Me alive. Paul Fabio Wardley versus Fraser Clark. An excellent match of British heavyweights. This is my faux British accent. I hope I sound more British than uh I don't know. Fabio Wardley, an impressive fighter. Good with the jab and the straight, the movement, the speed, the snap on the lead hand. Fabio is an excellent boxer. Y'all tell me how my British accent sounds. I'm trying to sound real British out here. David Attenborough, all that good stuff. You already know. It was a good weekend of boxing, except for one fight, I would say. Uh, all the predictions stuck so far, at least. Most of mine, except for the Tim Zhu fight. That was the only one that I missed. Uh, couldn't have anticipated he would suffer a gash on the top of his head that would hinder his sight. So you already know, Dwayne, what it do, country, what it do, Philippe, what it do. We out here, you know what I'm saying? And um, Alan Bobich, he beat the crap out of um Steven Robinson, man. He he lumped him up real bad, man, stopped him on his feet. Uh, Steven was unresponsive as uh, Alan Bobich was putting punches together. You know, he was unresponsive. So, yeah, you got to. You got to pull him out of that. You got to save him from himself. Jerem, what it do? Jonah, what it do? Dr. Mario in the building, Shane. My me and Caesar in the building. Yo, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all don't like that I cover the girl fights too, then don't come here. I don't take requests. And I don't talk about what you interested in. I talk about what I'm interested in, understand me? I'm not taking requests. I seen a dude boo hoo hooing that I was talking about the Estrada versus Valle fight in my other video. And I'm like, Brody, what you doing here then? It's more channels that don't talk about it that do talk about it. So if that bothers you, go somewhere else. I don't take requests. And I don't talk about what y'all interested in. I talk about what I'm interested in. That's literally why I started this channel, to talk about the fights I'm interested in. I don't care about you and what you're interested in. It's about me. It's always about me. It's always on me. Not about y'all. This ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way. It's my way or the highway. Comprendo, friendo. So if you don't like what I'm talking about, go somewhere else. Very simple. I don't know. I don't know what it is about today's day and age that people think uh, people keep expecting their feelings. Like you, I don't. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you want. If you want to hear about something else, go somewhere else. Because I'm not taking requests. You want me to cater to what you want to hear? You better pay me, and you better pay me a lot. What you mean the mic is weird? What's weird about the mic? What's weird about it, bro? I think your audio is weird because my mic is good. How my sound sound? I guess LRB is out of a job. Nah, he still got Kermel in motion. Family Dollar Javante. He still got Family Dollar Javante. With all them pimples and freckles and shit he got. He still got him. <laughs> I'm interested in you keep on doing what you're doing. Appreciate. Appreciate you, Richie. Appreciate you. Yeah, because if you go to the video I uploaded like an hour ago, it's like a dude that he was mad that I was talking about the girl fights. He was like mad. And I'm like, bro, if you mad, then get the fuck on. There's more channels that are talking about the same thing in every video than mine. If all you want to hear about is certain fighters, it's wild channels you could go to. You ain't got to come to mine. I don't need you. My money's good. My views are good enough. My money is good enough. Believe me, I'm cool. If you don't come here, I won't even notice. Honestly. Imagine being mad talking about one of the best fighters of the fights. Yeah, like the dude was tight. Like, why are you talking about the girls, bro? What you on? What you on? You don't like girls, bro? You don't like girls? Costa Valle kind of fine. You don't like girls, bro? 
know what I'm saying? Dudes is weird to me, bro. It's settled now. Nah, your your audio is settled now because my mic was always good. That's y'all with that McDonald's Wi-Fi. That's not me. I'm good over here. Look like they got a good turnout over there. Looks like they got a good turnout for the match. Ow. You know what I'm saying? It's very simple. From the very beginning when I started this channel, I started it to talk about the fights and the fighters that I was interested in. For years, I was just editing videos and uploading content without monetizing. Without, I was just doing it as a hobby. I wasn't even doing it for money or anything like that. And from the very beginning, it was always the fights that I'm interested in, not nobody else. And I still do that now. Now, if you don't like the fights and the fighters that I talk about, go watch somebody else. Very simple. Shout out to Caesar Cruz is my female favorite boxer. She is the Mexican Rocky. I hear you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like all the fights. I've been saying that. I like all the fights. The girl fights, the guy fights, the different weight classes, the little ones, the big ones. I try to talk about as many of them as I can. I can't keep making videos about the same thing over and over. Talking about the ladies gives me a chance to diversify the content and add something that perhaps you can't find somewhere else. Now, if you don't like that, you get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to watch me. I'll be all right. Be all right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, Alejandro. My thoughts on Ben Whitaker. Uh, I don't mind that he's flashy and confident. But the showboating seems like overkill to me. That's without condoning or condemning because I don't complain. But to answer the question, you showboating on no hopers, bro. Them dudes, those dudes, you supposed to beat them dudes. Now, if you showboating in like a real fight with a real guy that's supposed to be difficult, then it'll, you know, I'll receive it better. But right now... You showboating against dudes that are literally there to lose. So it's not having the effect for me that, you know, it's overkill. Like, bro, we already know you supposed to beat that dude. So hurry up and beat that dude so we get to the next one. Stop playing with your food. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Napoli. The fight junkie in me wants to see Madrimor versus Bohachuk. Also, I think Nazarena Romero is a cutie. Shout out to Nazarena Romero. El Capricho. From Argentina. You know what I mean? And yeah, yo, like, I don't mind that he does it, but it's just like I said that it, it's not impressive. Like, to say that, to, my reaction to it is, well, nah, I'm not really impressed because these are developmental fights you're fighting in. When Billy Joe Saunders did what he did in Canada, when he went over there as an underdog, to defend his WBC, WBO title, that was impressive because he was favored to lose. He went in as the underdog, and he was on away. He was the away fighter, even though he was the champion. So what was impressive is that not only is he winning the fight in lopsided fashion, he even did a little bit of showboating. So that was impressive to me because, yo, you in there with somebody they think supposed to beat you. Instead, you clowning him. If you just doing that to be doing that with dudes you supposed to be, you know, that's not impressive. You're just wasting time. Like, hurry up. Finish him then. If you got time to do all that sugarfoot shit, then you got time to knock this motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? Let me link Michael. Shout out to Michael. You know what I'm saying? I talk about all the fights. If you don't want to hear about that, then go somewhere else. Stop complaining. Nobody told you to come to this channel. The fuck? What you think? I'm going to miss you? I'm not. I'm not even going to notice you. If not for the complaining, I wouldn't notice you. I talk about all the fight. The girl fights. The guy fights. All the fights. Because I'm my mic, motherfucker. I'm here. Man, where'd that come from? <laughs> not, I, did a video, I did a video earlier talking about Estrada Valle. And it was some some crybaby. Are you talking about the girls? And you, man, get the fuck off my channel, motherfucker! Like, literally, if you don't like it, 
Like, click all. You don't have to it's watch like a hundred people. It's like a hundred boxing channels these days. Go watch one of them. Very simple. Like for real. It's like a hundred of them shits. And they all talk they all talk about the same shit over and over. It's the same shit over and over. If you know if you want to hear that, you could go hear that. You know what I mean? The women but are I get established, never mind. You can't ignore but, them. Yeah, like I, you, but but the no, the main thing is it's not even legitimacy, it's not even virtue signaling. It's simple. When I started this channel, I literally started it to talk about the fights I'm interested in. That could be, I might do a breakdown of two cats fist fighting in the alley just because I'm interested <laughs> in that. I want, I want to see if the pigeon going to beat the other pigeon. I might do a breakdown on hey, that. Man. It's your channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? There go my man real talking shit with the cocaine. Shout What's out to up, real ladies? talk. ladies? Happy Easter. You got the cocaine. Jesus yeah. has risen. Jesus has risen, Michael. So turn over your life to Jesus, you sinful Jesus has bastard. Risen. It's time to start eating ass, bro. Stop bullshitting. Let's start eating ass, bro. All right. on, on Easter Sunday, you guys are going to talk like this? Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, yo, uh, for like those that didn't day. see, for those that didn't see, yo, that, that Steven Robinson dude, bro, he got the shit beat I told out you of that him, was bro. Gonna happen. He's too slow. He's way too slow for Bobbitch. Bro, Bobbitch beat the shit out of that dude, That's bro. That's an easy like, one, though, because that guy's ass. Yeah, but, like, yeah. I don't want to say yo. that. I don't want to just say that because that's sporting icons is man, so I ain't going to play him like that. But, yeah, he got his no, ass he's beat, ass. bro. Um, is he... Wait, so was that a bridge? That wasn't a bridge away. That was heavy, right? I think that was heavy. And then, you know, maybe the winner, now that Bobbitch won, maybe he can move down to Cruiser. Well, not Cruiser, Hi, Bridger, Cody. right? To Bridget. fight Okoli if Okoli wins, but I, yo, being yeah. real, I don't know if Okoli gonna win Ocoli, that fight. I'm not even playing. He don't win that fight. He don't win that fight. I ain't watching. Nah. He Bridget. don't win that fight. Bobbitt can replicate exactly what CBS did to him. Want some real yeah. shit? No, not even the Bobbitt fight, bro. The Rosansky fight. Rosansky. Oh, can yo, pop, man. oh yo, I forgot about that, yo. Bro, I don't Rosansky know if he. I do bad things to him, bro. Paul I'm saying if he Holy can't God. keep him out, if he can't keep him out, Rosansky will fuck him up, bro. Like, yeah, he will fuck you up, bro. You got to keep him at the he end of the will jab. Hurt him. He will. Yeah, hurt he ain't him. lost yet. Rosansky hasn't lost yet. He's an unbeaten yo, guy, so he don't know how to lose yet. Like, yo, I'm tired of guys winning, and the guy you won against, the loser, comes back before you. Like Rosansky, yeah. bro, get out here, bro. You should be on this card for real. No, no, Rosansky got a. The, the fight is done, bro. The fight is made between Rosansky and Okoli. So but, you know, like, why isn't he getting out there, man? Like, how old is he? Because it's He's bridge. Because like... it's bridge away, bro. Like you know, ain't no money flowing through bridge away. It's bridge away. Okay, oh, what's so the wait, wait limit for that? There. Is, is it? Get ahead, right, wait, wait. Get ahead. Y'all don't hear Ryan, bro? What the no, fuck bro. wrong with y'all? The He's fuck? Polish too, man. Oh. I mean, it's not like Poland's got a, like a big boxing economy. Yeah, they don't. They like they have a respectable boxing scene that they it's insulated. They do do a lot of their own shows and they do a lot of cards. But yeah, it's not like the British boxing scene. Like it's not there where there's always a fight. There's always a fight at any given time. It's not like that. But Rosansky might fuck him up, bro. It'd be what would be funny is if he did come to the UK, he probably would get a following because there's so many polls here, and polls support their own. But because mm -hmm. he's based in Poland, he won't get the shows in Poland to fight. But if he was based out here, he would. It's like Babich. That's why Babich is in Britain. Yeah, and it, it at least for a little while, it was a smart move for Babich because he was gaining a following. He Like, he was. It's just we all knew this dude is on borrowed time. You can't fight everybody like that. You can get knocked the fuck out. Like, and, and he did, you know. But he still, I, I would still, I would still tune in. Like if you told me, for example, Bobich versus Richard Torres, sign me up, bro. Oh yes, Bobich versus Richard Torres. Nah, I fuck Yo, with some Richard Torres, bro. I fuck with some Richard Torres too. He that beat the shit stash, out that dude. He got that porn stash, bro. That 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 seventies. I got chlamydia stash. You hear me? Shout out to chlamydia. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's you just shouting out the dumbest shit, bro. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This nigga here. But the chat, the chat has asked a very important question, and I feel it deserves attention. Since Raleigh lost, does this mean he can't be the delivery truck driver for Amazon anymore? Nah, bro. No, he got to work the graveyard shit. Through. Nah, but I mean, where does? Uh, all right, I'm gonna go. Let me go to. Let me go to. Um, Michael. Michael, where does Raleigh go from here? Hell. Who the fuck cares? 
Come on, Michael. This is boxing talk. Who the fuck cares? That's not boxing. That's just a circus shit. No, no, for one. Yo, uh, Michael's I'm not. not no, no, wait, wait. You asked me a question. Honestly, if I'm being serious with you, the best thing he could do, if he wants to make money, right? All jokes aside, go to Misfits, bro. You're slightly above. <laughs> No, 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 hey, I'm not no, joking. No, no, I'm not joking. No, that's real I'm not joking. I'm not joking. That's a bad idea. I, no, I'm, no, being, I'm being dead serious. One second. Yo, yo, y'all got to let Michael talk. Go ahead, Michael. I'm, I'm being dead serious when I say, like, his skill level, it might be on par to slightly above those guys. No, nah, stop talking. Above enough. Guys out. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? He can, he, can, he can go there and mess with those guys and make some money. He'll make Ignacio, some money what you think about that? Where does Roly Romero go from here, bro? Um, yeah, that's tough. I don't know how many people uh, the PBC has that 140 that he could beat, but he's going to have to get way the fuck back in the line. Uh, I'm not sure where they go with him from here. Yeah. Now I, I'm not I'm not mad at all at that shit. I'm like, yo, y'all, t- y'all got this clown. Y'all really trying to sell us this clown. Like, it's crazy to me that they really trying to sell us that dude. Like, Y'all serious? Hey, so, but we all know where Cruz goes next, right? No, yes, it's sabe. No, yeah, so, it's sabe. Come on, bro. Yeah. So, it's sabe. They yeah. got to legitimize I mean, that little garden home down there at 135. Yeah, bro. Lo, lo más malo, tú sabes lo que es, que hay una pelea ahí. Puerto Rico versus México. Subriel Matias versus Isaac Cruz. You could sell that, man. You That's can totally fire. sell that fight, That's man. That fireworks in the ring, bro. But but they're not gonna do it, bro. Like you you know they're not like they're, they're allergic to money, shit. bro. Yeah, they yeah, they take <laughs> on some real shit. It's it's all about it's all about getting it's all about the Javante Davis at this point. No, so yeah, that nigga Al Hamas see a big fight, he starts sniffling and sneezing and shit. For real, he allergic to them shit. So. That's why we don't see that nigga, bro. There's too many good fights over there at the PBC. He just sick all the time. For real, that dude got hey. fucking hypochondria and shit. The only no, place where only has to go first <laughs> is pro- concussion protocol, and then it can go to misfit boxing. I'm saying, bro. Like, I, I, I personally, I honestly think, not to even joking, he should probably go to bare knuckle. You know, Austin no. Trout went to bare knuckle, and he's been winning. He has a belt in bare knuckle because it's like, Brody, you're not beating nobody at 140, bro. You should like, go to speech not. classes. Well, real. worse than that. Worse than that. Steph, Stephen Fulton hasn't had a comeback fight yet, and they invested, you know, just as much into his career, at least over a period of time. Bro, like, he knew he will have fought. He knew he will have fought two times since the Fulton fight before Fulton even comes back because Fulton's supposed Wait, to be coming back saying. in the summer. He's supposed to be fighting in a non pay per view fight on Amazon in the summer on the same card as. Boots. That's Wait, when he's supposed to be coming Fulton back. Didn't get knocked out? Yeah. So but per that the was PBC, the sum- um, per the PBC pattern, he should be fighting for a title in his next fight. Bro, tonight. you know they probably gonna put him in there with Ray Vargas. You know that, right? They probably gonna put him in there with him. Ray still got his WBC, so they might put him in there with him. That's that's how they do. If you yeah. lose and get your ass beat, that gets you a title shot at the PBC. You know they you backwards. Hear me? You, hear me? you better lose your next fight. You know what I'm saying? That's how if they. If you want that's that title, they, you better get knocked the fuck out. You better get your ass playing beat. with me. Stop playing. Just you know what I'm saying? Respect me looking like Rolly the retard. For real, yo. Fucking Spence and his. Yo, Spence came out with yo, that little girl ass. He came out with that little girl ass hairstyle. One of my classmates Bro. used to wear her shit like that. <laughs> yo, and his like his yo, did he get new teeth? Bro. He, he definitely got new well, teeth. Well, you know he probably got... He got vibranium teeth now, bro. He got Captain America shield America teeth, bro. Shield, He's trying to grow teeth. them out so Yellow Beezy can pull on them. Bro, I, yo, I seen that bro. dude yesterday. I got irritated. I'm like, yo, you, you really a sucker, yo. Like, for real, though, you really a sucker. Like, I don't uh, care. Yo, he couldn't wait to get in the ring. He got excited and she was all happy. Cause he all, yo, he a whole ho. Like, bro, you really ain't want Crawford to fuck your ass up. How you duck the... Re- like, yo... You you really didn't want Crawford to fuck your ass up again. That's what it was. Duck this nigga for five years. You got your ass beat and then duck the rematch. And then his homosexual ass fans get they they little dicks is getting hard now that he back. Like yes, Bro. it's Spence. Spence is straight up, and I don't I never say Fucking this lightly. Homos. But but Spence is straight up bitch made, bro. 
Nah, he is though. Like I, I like I don't even say that on, I'm not trolling when I say that like for real. You a whole whole why, though. Why, like you why are, would I go the hard route when I go the easy route? Bro, that was why would, that, why would I go the why would I go the hard route where I can fight you hard or like man you go boom how we're ass small yo <laughs> no bottom in here boom how we're ass <laughs> Why would I? 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 I'm telling you that dude, Riss is like, I even, yo, the real, I, I said, Michael knows, I've been saying that for at least a while, like, yo, dog, like, the real reason they like him is because they either want to fuck him or be <laughs> fucked by him. That's yeah. what that shit really is, nice, like, bro. you don't like boxing, because how you going, it's not boxing, like, the shit you got going on with Spence, that ain't no boxing shit, your man just got his ass beat, and you all happy, your little nipples is getting, Spence! Big fish and Fuck bro, why be acting like you you want a title, bro? If Crawford decides to stay at this weight and goes for a three time run, you won't you won't get a title. And if you do get a title, you're gonna you're gonna vacate that shit. You, bro, you will I not hate, fight that man again. I hate Spence. Like I really I I hate them dudes. Like they like that girl that watches the NFL but picks the team based on the colors. Like, <laughs> I like those uniforms. <laughs> like those uniforms. Y'all sissy ass motherfuckers, man. Fuck y'all, man. Weird and ass motherfuckers. Part, and the worst part is that Spence actually got a little bit of goodwill from his initial reaction to losing. But no, he wasted all that because it's clear. You ducked Not because he, he found out what he was running from. Like, yeah, I ain't fighting him again. <laughs> I ain't doing that again. Fuck that shit. <laughs> He also but made still... excuses as well, though. I mean, not. Fun. Yeah, he had he had pink eye on the night. He had pink eye. He <laughs> he forgot where he parked his car. The fucking <laughs> motherfucker, yo. They really say, yo, he had neurological damage. It was a fucking doctor, like I believe that Errol spent. So did the neurological damage? They put a band aid on it. That it's all of a sudden gone. The neurological damage. Apparently right? he what they... apparently he must have had a lobotomy, Jules. <laughs> Or did, no, they, they, yo ponieron, no, yo ponieron, ponieron mentol on the neurological damage. Le ponieron yeah, mentol, no un Vicks Vapor Rub, bro. How, how the hell did you lose that? Lo, no. Por eso, es que yo, por eso es que yo odio los, los fans. Porque ellos son unos fucking pendejos, like pura pendeja from puro fucking pendejo, coño. Gente más cobarde. You, how do you, like, how do you even, I don't even know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But shout out, shout out to neurological damage. Man, fuck Spence, yo. I'm just like, I see him, I'm just like, yo, shut up, man. Like, shut he says up, shout man. out to neurological damage. Well, neurological. How, did, like, how the hell did he like reverse that overnight? You know, if he has no, nah, you should, you gotta ask them, bro. They they was like, yeah, he damaged goods, bro. He, he, yeah, yeah. And as soon as he come back, what happens? They little nipples get hard. Spence, he's back. <laughs> Country, you know as well as I do, it was Robitussin. Robitussin fixes everything. Yeah, they gave, yeah, they gave him Nyquil after the fight. They gave him Nyquil well, and it went Nyquil. away, bro. I remember they, that. <laughs> gave him Nyquil, bro, and he was good the next day. I want to know you what see, Crawford you, does now. So, do we get Crawford for his front door? You think so? No, dog. Like, you got to stop dreaming. You smart, Michael. You think no, Samson going to make but... that fight? No. Okay. Samson not going to make that shit. They going to so drop they, that so, belt. So they, okay. Like, like I, just, does, I just Sebastian told the dude. He doesn't want to. So, do you think Sebastian controls his career? <laughs> Samson's the promoter or manager. I forget what. I my dude. Wait, I'm just, wait, 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 I, I know. Hey, no, Michael. I'm asking, no, all right, I'm Michael. All right, because I'm trying to tell you, and you just want to keep this. So you just disagree, question, bro. bro. All right, it's cool, bro. Just answer the question. I just, I just like before we shit on Fandora. Samson, I, Samson, I look. Him. Why, bro? Because you know. He's because never of done, what? He's never done no wrong so far, Fandora. It's oh not. It's not God. cool to always assume a fight is a duck. Or it is like cool that. to always do that, cause I fucking always do that, <laughs> all the time, <laughs> always. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that until they show me that they are. So, all right, bro. Then, no, no, no. Then you keep. Then you keep doing that. Then benefit of the okay. doubt, ass. I'm telling you, you, 
You really think this? You think he gonna fight like, bro? Like, nah, they he not gonna fight Crawford, bro. They don't. None of them yeah. want to do that. Oh, none of them. Then who does Crawford fight He's for Crawford, the belt? Bro. Then? Who does Crawford fight, fight for the belt? Then? Who's ne who's next in line? Yo, I gotta get, I gotta do an interview with Terrence he'll Crawford. I gotta I gotta ask belt. Crawford they like, yo, belt, does he, do, do you get mad that you in a generation of bitches? Cause you like the real one. You like the one, bro. Like I'm not even from Omaha, but when you fight, I'm from Omaha. Do you get <laughs> mad that all your contemporaries is bitches and they scared to death of you, yo? Best that shit sound good at the press conference. Read between the lines. They figure it's more money in a Spence fight, so that's what they're gonna do. It's not complicated. These are this generation of American fighters. I'm gonna say it. I don't even care. They don't believe in themselves. They none of them. Yeah. Nah, because y'all move crazy. Y'all move crazy. You see this kid, Fabio? He don't have no Olympic amateur background. He don't have that to fall back on, to draw confidence from. He still fought David Adelaide. He still fought him. He's still here fighting a fucking Olympian. He's still fighting him. It seemed like all the fighters they got heart is from outside of America. That's what it seemed like. All the Americans want to do is be in the shade room. But then you can you see said, that in what? the NBA. You better not talk about me, son, because I'm going to tweet at you, son. Oh, whole ass shit. But, Jules, you can see that all the way through American sports now. If you look at the NBA, when was the last time you had an American MVP? For real. Like, For real. It's now, like, yo. And there's a Welsh rugby player that's now in the NFL, too. He's, for, he's playing for the Chiefs as a wide receiver or a running back. You know what I'm saying? Like, America lost its heart. Well, I'm going to say that it lost its pride. It lost its pride, its sense of self. And when you getting excited, when your nipples is getting hard, that Henny Spence is back, that he crawled out that Hennessy bottle, and he mm -hmm. put some little girl hair doing, like, you know, that's a little girl hair do, right, Spence? Like, literally, that's a little... <laughs> My daughter used to wear her hair like that when she was a kid. I was like, what is that? Well, what is this shit that grown men want to wear little girl hairdos? Like, that's some shit for a little girl, bro. It's literally, that, that was a maintenance hairdo that my wife used to do on my daughter. That, you know, if you don't want to have to keep doing her hair all the time, just put it in sprays. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, I, I, don't, I can't stand that motherfucker. Like, and his fans, like I said, B, all y'all know what it really is. Y'all don't like boxing. Y'all know what it is. Look Jules, he looked like Raggedy Ann. <laughs> Bro, I see him come out with that little girl ass hair. I'm like, yo, that's really the shit my daughter used to wear, yeah. bro. Yo, they Fuck have out to, of here, B. And they have to like, have a little bitch haircut for a couple of years, and then they get free of the contract like Wilder. That's what the oh. pyramid and eye people make them do. <laughs> They're going to do everything they can to resurrect his career, bro. I already see it. They're going to do everything they can to resurrect it. But how can they? As soon as he comes up against someone who can throw a good punch, he's gonna get fucking mauled. No, yeah, like, like, don't even get it twisted. Not, not to you know, big up Sebastian, but I'm just saying that the Spence I see, if a solid shot gets in, he'll see the white light. That's yeah. where he's at. If a solid shot gets in, even if it's just a jab, his eyes is gonna roll in the back of his head because his brain is loose. Who doing yeah. that? No, who the fuck who... is doing that? Who Tim does Zoe. Crawford fight for the WBO? Tim Zoe. He'll fight soon. Yeah. Tim and Bud will probably be fighting for it, right? Probably. Somebody was eating a bag of chips I was, or something. I was yeah. wondering that, like, well, how would that would work out, though? Because, you know, would, I don't know if PBC would pay for it. Would it be a no limit? They take it to Australia and then they try to find somebody to buy the rights. I just don't know how I mean, this going to get, play out. To get Crawford the money that he want, to get him the money that he want, I feel you would have to go to Australia. Whether or not Crawford wants to is up to him. What's damaging about the whole thing is Fundora is not worth no money anyway. He's not worth no money. There's only one dude that was there that is there that is worth some money, and that is Tim, Tim Zhu. So yeah, I, I just wanted to make it just a friendly announcement that Errol Spence is a fraud. Errol Spence is a fucking queen, bro. Like that dude is a. You got to have faith, the faith, the faith. Uh. Jules, the thing that, that really, that, that I just look around and like people are celebrating this. So I'm like, you're, you don't understand that you are rewarding losers. Yeah, it's one but thing motherfuckers, to lose. motherfuckers been celebrating weak shit since the PBC's inception. Like, I'm like, yo, y'all motherfuckers ain't got no pride. You ain't no got no pride. pride. You know what I mean? Like, you don't no. got, as a man, you don't got no pride or nothing. And, 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 and listen.
And if this was the other way around, if this was Bud doing this, oh my God, they'd be losing their shit. They'd be losing said, their you shit. You already said these Medea ass motherfuckers. Sister Child Spencer's back. You fucking man, get the. I don't even got. I don't got words. I can't insult you. You know what I mean? Cause I'm I, doing I seen, it for you. Like, <laughs> these old Sister Child girl Spencer's back. Like man, y'all motherfuckers, man, y'all just suck mad dick all day, b for real, mad like, dick. <laughs> I know. I watched that Steven Espinosa interview again when he said that Bud was acquiesced and was giving Spence everything he wanted. And Spence basically kind of like with the other direction with this eye patch and his surgery seven months after the fight. And then he pops up out of the blue. And he, I, I got a dude in my <laughs> comments. So I, I got a dude in my comments already. Uh, like, well, Spence wanted it at fifth. Listen, motherfucker, Spence lost. What you not understanding? He lost. The contract says the winner of the fight chooses the weight. So do you want to fight? Nah, right? And you celebrate the weak shit. I can't. Ain't, ain't words for you after that. Now, I'm going to tell you, shit like that don't prosper. That's why the ass beating that he got was so bad. That's why weak shit and bitch shit don't prosper. So if you think he out the woods because the Crawford fight is probably dead, he's not. And neither are you. It's another ass whooping coming. Shit like that don't win. Being a bitch, being a bitch don't win, bro. It don't. You you Steve, not gonna win. Being like that and having that mentality, yeah, you not gonna win. Steel sharp and steel, and he's like being. It's always like, been that way. Been fucked up, so I mean. It's always been that. If you want to be the best, why you think Hagler was such a real dude? Look at what he had to go through just to get mm -hmm. one title shot. Just one. He had like thirty something fights beat, and they robbed him. In the in the anti fermo fight, but and then when he finally better. did win a when he finally did win a world title, Jules, the British fans threw fucking beer cans and all kinds of crazy shit. He had to run for his life. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I'm saying, but he was, but that's why, yo, that dude right here, Bi guy Hagler, because it's like, yo, they really was trying, yeah, they really was not trying to fight you. They was not trying to big you up, like, yo, that's a real one. Not this fucking clown. Like this motherfucker literally crawled out a bottle of a wild turkey. I won't get tired of shout. Like I get tired of shout. Let's be serious, man. The duck the duck Wild turkey. He's from Texas. Uh, uh, Jules. He was probably drinking moonshine. For real. <laughs> like I, For I right? thought people were ducking Golovkin, but it wasn't like until the Spence situation. Until you saw Crawford run through that whole crew, then you realize just that is possibly the worst ducking. That's ever been that motherfucker rolled out a can of cobra. I'm gonna fight Fundara for Fundara. I fought him. Fucking sis. He was drunk at that moment. Bro, he was probably drunk at here. Come Polo to talk about how uh, here Fundara. We go. Oh, here we he go. be glazing. Here we Polo go. be high key glazing. He's sucking dick all morning, bro. <laughs> Like he be blazing, like it's like what we we posted, like what what we gonna do? We gotta pretend. Hey, shut up! We gotta do pretend that it wasn't a cut. It was the boxing scales. What is that? What we about to talk about, Polo? But back back to the hey hey, see you can't answer the question, Polo. What we supposed to do? What we supposed to do? No 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 no, Rick. I'm not. No 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 no. Hell of a hell of a. What we put? Yeah, it was Fundora's jab, yo, bro. That dude was getting his ass beat Man, for two I wish rounds, bro. I wish I knew Spanish. So I can curse but bro, do They should bro. rematch, but here's why I'm laughing, bro. They're not. The they're team. not. That's why. Fuck the should. They're not. And that's why people are mad because this is not good for the division. And most people don't see it yet. Y'all don't see it that all this nut ass shit they was doing at 47, they about to do it again at 54. 54 was good before last night. It was good. Like, yeah, people going to fight, man. People going to fight each other. Title's going to get unified. Not now. Uh-uh. He going to drop that B.O. He going to drop that B.O. He going to fight Spence for the B.C. He going to do that. They going to have Bo Hachuk. That's why I said it yesterday. Bo Hachuk, you better leave 154 because they not going to fuck with you. You not going to get to fight nobody, bro. You not. Go to 60. You're not gonna get you're not gonna get that title shot. I you think they're gonna let a Ukrainian with a bad haircut stand in the way of Fundora versus Spence? No. You're gonna be you sat there just like Carlos Sadamas. That's gonna be you. Jules, but Bo Chuck looks biggest... like Remy from Higher Learning. <laughs> bro, that motherfucker. Me, bro. That motherfucker yeah. looked like a burn patient. It's a tragedy. 
because Madrimov is fucking they're gonna be like this. He's they're gonna be like He's not going to get the chance to really show how good he is. Because His only chance, Madrimov's bitch. only chance, is to get the winner of Murtazaliev Kolke in the ring. That's his only shot. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, him, he failed him. That, that's his promo. He can get him because that dude's not signed to anybody. He was just fighting on PBC because he was a manager, and then they didn't even, you know, like, they were just like, whatever. If you be, I think he's going to be Kokole. And then if Eddie's smart, nah, I don't think or, he's going to be Kokole. Oh, you know them Nah, bro. You know them Germans love to rob people, my guy. Act like yeah. you know. Act like you know. If, if Kokole gonna, makes uh, it mildly... Comp he, bro, Kokole already robbed Abbasaru. Abbasaru should have fucking won that fight. They robbed his ass. Germany's not had the world yeah, champion for a while as well, dude. They just had a champion. What are you talking about, bro? Janabek just beat uh, Unified with what's his name, but... Uh, oh, Gualtieri? He's going to win, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kokole is going to lose. Mark my words, it's not going to be competitive. You think you think Kokole is going to lose for real? Have you seen that, dude? He's actually decent, bro. He comes from the uh, same... Bro, uh, you, all right, you confusing me. Are you saying he's going to... You said he's going to lose. Have you seen him? He's actually decent. So is he going to win or is he going to lose, bro? Max Zagreb is going to win. That's what I'm telling you, that he's going to You think so, really? Him. Yeah, he's going to win. Even if it's like, say that they try to rob him, it won't be enough. They'll, they'll make it like close, but he's still going to lose. It's going to be one of those. Nah, I still, still got close. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Go you, you You've know, never seen German I mean, judging, dude. You've never seen her back. I still got close. So long as Cole K could make it mildly competitive, just yeah. mildly, he'll win. They, unless Mertazaliev knocks him out. That's the, I, you not winning a decision in Germany, bro. Like, nah, son, it ain't going down. They love robbing motherfuckers over there, bro. The only chance you have is if you're a British fighter you're, or an American. I just wanted to see. I mean, you're right. I mean, that, that's everywhere, though, bro. Even in America, has some crazy. Mm, not shit. like Germany. Shout out to my man Victor. Zolani Tete. Zolani Tete. Hey, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to do the chant. Shit. Back what I was saying, but back to what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, like the Didn't Germany. Didn't the judge have Rolly up yesterday? We talking about crazy judges. What judge had Rolly up yesterday? Did you see that scorecard? Rolly was winning the fight. That's madness. He didn't win a fucking single round. How how could they even give Rolly one round? Rolly was getting 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 sparked out and beat on the whole damn fight. Every round he was getting hit with something that was extra pepper Brother. on his on his on his food. Did, Brother, did you guys see you the saw. video of Oscar and and um you know Bernard laughing? Yeah, laughing. Yeah, it. laughing. Yeah, because he uh, lost. He, he he turned down more money to be a Amazon pay per view star, right? And um. And you, they taking advantage of Roly, man. He they he shouldn't even be a fighter, man. Seriously, he shouldn't be. <laughs> Yo, country, remember though? I told you why Roly became a fighter. He didn't want to get a real job. <laughs> but to answer your question earlier, uh, how they could possibly, how one judge could possibly have him winning, we're talking about the same guy who knocks somebody out without landing a punch. You really think it's out of the realm of possibility for him to be up on a scorecard? <laughs> One judge had him up, I heard. Yeah, he did. <laughs> hey, Julius, you know why I'm laughing? Because the, the Spence fans that think he's back, it's going to be hilarious when Spence, when uh, Fandora knocks him out. So that's why I want to see. I'm, I'm going to laugh. I hope like, he knocks him out. Listen, I am on the, I am going to scream from the highest mountaintop till my face turned blue. The Spence is a fraud, bro. Spence, I used to be a fan of this guy, and I'm ashamed to say I used to be a fan of this guy. That's how real it is. I, I just don't like his fans. He's all right to me. I just don't like his fans. No, he's not all right to me. I'm sorry. You don't go in and talk about you make the okay. First and foremost, PBC was, didn't want to make the fight. Floyd Mayweather said it. The only reason why the fight happened is because he finally grew a pair of nuts, right? And just stood up and said, I'm gonna make the fight. So that was my first issue that he let them offer no guarantee. Then two. When you get in the ring, you get your ass whooped. You make no excuses. So I give you your respect back, right? Then you then you turn around. Seven months later, you come out with an eye injury. You're having a surgery. What the fuck was the other six months? Not, why didn't you do it before the other six months? And then you make an excuse. Hold on, let me finish. Excuse. I want to get this bars off real quick. Then you make an excuse that you said you never would make. More fraud behavior. 
Espinosa says Bud actually was acquiesce. If they was gonna fight, it was gonna be at one fifty four. Bud actually was was accommodating Spence. Spence goes the other direction. Basically, he's going the other direction, wasting his time. And and, and Espinosa said we couldn't hold Bud any longer, have him holding up his time. So he didn't wasted seven and eight months of of his of Bud's time. Then all of a sudden you pop up out of the woodworks talking about I want to fight the winner. And then you hop it in the ring, getting rewarded after getting your ass whooped like that. You can lose a fight and still be able to move on and do championship things. But to lose in such a fashion and be dominated and to be rewarded over the person that is winning is all fraud behavior. Take the truth out your motherfucking name. Errol Spence is a fuck. I'm telling you, Al Heyman is doing <laughs> and there was a what life. Daddy is doing, man. Al Heyman no got the reason. Like, how the fuck does he exert <laughs> so like... much control over them? He has to be doing something like that to them, man. And like you say, and on the Spence, top... a plant. He was given every opportunity, every like every possible advantage he had. I agree. I've, this, just, I've, I've actually, I've never understood how much, like, why does Al Heyman have so much power over these guys? Yeah. I'm, it's always been odd to me. It's like, damn, there has to be a reason for this. Exactly. Yeah, look, 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 at Yonis. In the look at Stan Look at Stan Yonis. Stan Yonis hasn't fought in two years, and he's not allowed to fight still. It's because he actually takes care of some of those guys. And, he, and so he, he, the low T game, you know, I mean, and which in boxing that happens with all the promotional companies. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, PBC is the only, only one doing it. But my issue is you don't reward this type of shit. Yeah. You just, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, oh man. Unbelievable, bros. Unbelievable. When, when when Prima Donna behavior. Got, no, when Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez, a guy he beat twice before that, his next fight was against Brandon fucking Rios for some, like, international vacant belt in order to see if he still had it after getting viciously knocked out. Spence is going to be a chance to get a world champion on the get-go. It pays, man. Cash. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? Do you think Oscar De La Hoya is going to finally take the protection uh, gloves off? Because he's up here tweeting, telling me he can't wait for the biggest money fight for both guys, Virgil Ortiz versus Terrence Crawford. We know that Virgil oh, Ortiz team I'm held him back twice. No, he's not gonna. He's not gonna put him in there against him. He's gonna. He just did. He just did the same shit with the last week with the Zapata Shakur shit. He just did. It's literally just clout chasing. That's all he's doing. That's all he's doing. <laughs> Hey, yeah, with Virgil, going? he's got him fighting fucking Dulorme. Until he puts him in there against a, a legit guy, I'm not buying it. Hey, where'd Jules go? Did he disappear? He probably went to grab a cigarette. Yeah. No, I went to Long put my coffee on. Out. I went to put oh, my what? coffee on. Uh, shout, 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 let me see. Let, let me let me uh, read the super chat. Shout out to Napoli. The PBC's trying to distill Spence's career like they're trying to turn pop off vodka into Tito's for real. Like. It's not the reason I think the reason I'm not I'm not too worried about it or too bothered about it is because his brain has been knocked loose. I could see that whenever Terrence touched him with a jab, his eyes would roll in the back of his head. Now you're at 54. There's there's no reversing that. There is no reversing. There's nothing you could do. You can put on weight. It's not going to do anything. So you're maybe one or two fights away from your next devastating loss. One or two fights away. I mean, I don't even think it's a foregone conclusion that he beats Fundora. I'm just saying that now because it's very early, but I don't actually think it's a foregone conclusion that Spence beats him. I don't think it is. If that kid stays on his jab, uh, or or if you guys trade punches on the inside, I don't know. Could go sideways. So, eh, we'll see. Nah, but if the, if, like, let's be serious, like Fundora, he got so really. lucky with that cut, man. Like yeah, but it's just, cut, it's also can... stupidity, like, in hindsight, it's also stupidity from Tim Zhu's team. Like, you took on a late replacement who was the polar opposite of who you were going to be fighting, and you yeah. didn't think to put a rematch clause? You didn't, yeah. you didn't, it never crossed your mind that this, this is not who you were getting ready for. Even if Tim, the fighter and the macho man, yeah, he's the macho man. He's supposed to do that. Where is the management? Like, yo, y'all supposed to look out for him, though. He's a yeah. champion going in. He's fighting a late replacement. And you've seen this backfire enough times that you didn't put a rematch clause in there. You got a verbal rematch Bro. clause. 
They don't because they, don't they know just what they're riding doing. the wave, Julius. They just riding the wave. They just rolling with Tim. Tim talking his shit. They falling yeah. in love with it. Tim believing all the hype that he's getting. I don't need a rematch clause for this guy. This guy just got knocked out. He's nothing. And wow. Because well, let's be honest, man. On some real let's shit, be that's, that's exactly what it was. Riding the wave, like yeah, like y'all gotta, yeah. y'all gotta relax, y'all don't. And I've been saying that, like you know what it is with Tim. You start, oh my god, yeah, y'all <laughs> talk. I gotta look at Natasha. That didn't need. Oh, oh, Natasha's on. Oh, you can check Natasha. Hold on. I don't even hey, see hey, her. Hey, 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 Julius, look at the bigger right picture. Though. Pandora beats Spence. No, 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 no. You, you look. You go look at the bigger picture. I'm gonna go look at Natasha. Okay. Hey, hey Jules, how do you get the Sky Sports app, man? Because it says it's not available in our country, man. It's when on I Peacock, go. bro. It's on Peacock right now. Okay. See, yeah. that's why you need no. See, that's why you need to watch the bro, fucking relay, country. Hey, shut no. the fuck up! I'm in the middle of a sentence. There's a, there's a, there's a crowd fight. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> For those that don't know, all the Sky Sports shows are shown free on Peacock. If you get the app, it's it's free on Peacock. Like you, for those who want to see those shows now, I got the app at a discounted price because I got it during Black Friday. I don't know what it is now, but it was like dirt cheap. It was like five dollars a month or some shit like it's, that. Five ninety nine a month on, if you just go for the the premium. I know that. No, you don't know that. I, I just told you that. No, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. No, you're not phone. looking at it. Just be quiet. No, you're not looking at it. Yeah, you be mad. quiet. I'm looking at it. I'm yeah. telling you. You're not fucking <laughs> looking at nothing. <laughs> hey, Jules, Natasha is cute. Yo, Natasha, Natasha is cute. She is <laughs> gorgeous, bro. Like, my God. For 37? <laughs> She's George cute. George trying to grow a man bun. Oh, my goodness. That's shameful. Oh, my God. <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, Zoo, he fell into the trap that a lot of these young fighters fall into. They start believing the shit people are writing about. They start believing it. Honestly, yeah, like because that was just foolhardy that you were getting ready yeah. for a guy in his mid-30s who's smaller than you are and moves around. Then suddenly you have to face the exact opposite of that guy. And he's a southpaw. Exactly. It's like there's enough there that you, you should be like, yo, I need a rematch clause just in case. Like I ain't just going to be doing this. To be doing this like the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Now, now here's my here's my take on this, man. What I think he should do now, if I'm Bud now, right? Because believe me, I think the WBO is gonna stand behind their guy and they're gonna strip this dude. I believe they're gonna no, they, they will no no, they will, they will. But the thing yeah. is that the, I guess the real question is if they strip him. What happens to that title? Now, Paco, I don't know. I don't know, personally. I get the sense that Paco is of a like mind to us. That he looks yeah. at that like, yo, this is some bullshit. And this is some right. sucker. Because he complains about a lot of the shit that we complain about. Like, when the WBC made Bridger wait, he's complaining. Like, the fuck is this dumbass shit? When they came up with the franchise, he's like, the fuck is this Palooka Bell? Like, the fuck is this dumbass shit? So, I feel like, yeah, he going to stand on business. He gonna make him vacate that title, and they will. And then I guess that's Crawford's chance to fight for a belt. It's just a question of with who. Josh Kelly is I'm not good. gonna fight him. Josh Kelly is no. not gonna fight him. But Erickson no. Lubin is ranked at number two. He is. Nah, so can sue, man. Honestly. What about what, if, what about what Zoo in Australia? What yeah, about Zoo in Australia? Yeah. For the bread, yeah, I could see. For the bread, I could see that. Yeah. For the bread, like yeah, yeah I could see that. Think about how the fight ended and shit, man. Now, that's a very unsatisfying way. Sim, uh, Tim Zoo brings all the money, so honestly, of course, they're yeah. going to put him versus Crawford for a vacant title. Honestly, yeah, it makes the most sense. You Shout out what? to Mr. Calderon. Tim needs to fire the management around him, he has potential to be a megastar, and they treat his career like, honestly, yeah, like the, for real. Why, why are you, why are you even? Like signing they, to fight a they don't know they bro they wow. don't know what they're doing. You have a guy who has a country behind him, and the first fight of the PBC deal was in Minneapolis at the Armory. What what the, the I, fuck are you no, doing? No, 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 but wait, but wait, dude, that, that's even worse. You were crying for the belt for like almost two years, and your first fight, you're not even defending it. Paco wasn't gonna sanction that shit. It was gonna be at one fifty five. You're not even defending the fucking belt. The like, ideal you know what that you. You know, Ryan, what the shit is like, that's like if you have, that's like if you have Crawford fighting at your call. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, let's, let's, let's get him away from America. Even though he's talented and all this shit. 
and let's have him ha let's have him fighting at the copper box in the uk the <laughs> like what the fuck like bro what the fuck are you doing bro the ideal situation for tim zoo is for eddie hearn to put on a, a jai opatai uh homecoming fight and for tim zoo to get himself free and be on the, the uh, co-main event agreed because then agreed. hearn will show them what it's about he'll show them the power games he'll show but his side, this is how you fucking manage people. And then Tim yeah, will probably end up signing with him. That shit don't make no sense. Like, I'm just like, I'm almost, I'm almost, if not for Devin, right? If not for Devin and having faith, because Devin is making things interesting with the way that he's moving, which is good. That's breathing life and opening doors for different fights at 140. Um, um, big step of Devin. Shout out to Shakur. Look, I know that he's he's not everybody's favorite right now, but I still got faith in him. But other than that, man, I'm almost I'm almost done with American fighters in the American boxing scene because it's so not interesting. It's not interesting, bro. Like it's just a lot of bullshit. Like, but where are they? As well? Julius, can I ask the uh, panel two questions? Got. I want to ask the panel two questions. Number one, first question is. Did every was I the only one that saw the rest of uh, Brian Mendoza's career get beat out of him yesterday? Oh yeah, bro. no, oh, he, he definitely, yes, he was definitely going to be. That took two at least two years off his career. That fight last Mike night, two years off his life. I messed up. Yeah, right. he got smashed. And the He's second the question is: corners. Am I the only person that's happy with the end of the Roley experiment? Yeah, mm, no, you know we all cheered that. <laughs> <laughs> not nice to see someone with cerebral palsy get beat up. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. That's well, like that one you said, what was it? Down syndrome? <laughs> yeah. uh, Down syndrome that versus cerebral palsy. So many levels, cerebral palsy, nothing. That shit was funny. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and, but this is the problem it. I have with that fight, though. But this is the problem I have with that fight. Now, they let Mendoza get the life beat out of him in that fight. And they didn't stop it. Roley gets tagged with two or three good shots, and they stop it. He I got tagged with two or three good shots every round, though. Yeah, but Mendoza got beat to death every round. And they didn't yeah, stop Mendoza's, that. Mendoza's face got rearranged. He looked like he had a busted jaw at the end of the fight. Yeah, that was it. the metal in his cheek that was expanding from, you know... That's what you that know what I'm saying? So, what's the, so to explain to me, anybody on the panel, what's the difference? I mean, if you don't stop that, but you stop the Roley fight? Probably because Roley, because no, Roley, Roley's the original PBC <laughs> fighter, and Mendoza's a guy they picked up. That's probably yeah. they're more loyal to Roley <laughs> than they are to Mendoza. For real. They probably think misfit type of situation. There might be some money in rolling. So that said, he should. Michael says he should go to misfit, yeah. which I agree with, or go to bare knuckle. Austin Trout is old as shit, and he's in bare knuckle and he's winning fights. You know, he's he's winning. So, hey, go to bare knuckle, bro, because he ain't beating nobody. Like, come on, man, Roly not beating nobody, bro. Let's stop playing like that, dude. Is Come on, he's terrible, bro. He wouldn't beat the British champion. Never mind some sort of fucking fringe he world. Beat nobody, exactly. <clears throat> like, come on now, like his 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 like he he really let them because that he was able to parlay that loss to Gervonta into a you know a title shot that you even got a title shot is incredible, right? So you could have turned that into a big payday with Ryan, and you really let them talk you out of that. Like what? Like you can't be this stupid. It's not Jules, possible, but, he, bro. but remember, he's not the only one. They've done it to other guys. Wilder, Ortiz, the list goes on and on. All them dudes That's have gotten called. Called call Naki got screwed out of a huge payday. I mean, come on, Roley's not the got first one. We got my man Aladdin in the building with the secret. Shout out to my man Aladdin in the building. Was good, yo. Good. How are you guys doing? What's up? He was just. He's okay. just talking about how fucking stupid Roley is, bro. They're like, yo, you really let them people talk you out of a title shot to get your ass beat by Isaac, bro. And then why do you fight that way? Like, I, you guys know better than me, but why are you fighting that dude's fight, too? Sitting there, like, at least try and box. Not that you can, but at least don't sit there. Let him walk you down with no jab, everything. No, but he did. He did. He just, he just did it in a very Roley way. 
it was just bad overall. Like he just he's just not good enough, bro. He sucks. The thing, the well, thing I, that I'm laughing at though, because I see a lot of pro black power people all of a sudden hit me up that now this makes tank resume even better because it's like how look, well, <laughs> because, exactly exactly how because you, you what you Isaac Cruz Pitbull beat Roly so now that makes you look better whatever yeah, I like, 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 like that bro I you know me okay yeah, so y'all like, both beat Roly that, that somehow makes it good. <laughs> like how? Bro. Like like cause 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 two ain't shits. All right, so congratulations, Isaac. You ain't shit, but he's less ain't shit than you ain't shit. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, oh, bum A versus bum B. Bum A wins. So now <laughs> do we put bum A in? Do we put bum A in with the old man? All I'm no, nah, no, nah, they're, they're not, bro. Trust me, they're not they're, they're gonna freeze Barroso out. So he's too dangerous, Barroso, that he's going to come to fight and he has power. So they, they don't want to deal with that guy. It almost went sideways for them putting him in there with 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 Roly. So they're not going to they're not going to do it. It's, it's going to be Javante Davis next, bro. Isaac is going to oh, sit yeah, out. Isaac's going to sit out and that's what he's going to wait for, bro. That's, that's what he's going to wait for. But he's supposed to be so like, tough, like, right? He's Pitbull Cruz. He's a tough guy. He could take any shot. Tank couldn't knock him out. Why are you afraid of a 41-year-old man? Bro. It's, it's just, like I said, the American boxing scene for me is almost yeah. all but dead. The only American fighters that I've still invested in their careers is, is Devin. Shakur, Floyd Schofield to a lesser extent. We'll see how he pans out, but so far, so good. I like what I see. Uh, Richard Torres. I gave up on Jared Anderson. Like, nah, dog. You just... Rick nah, Morris, he's not bro. it. Yeah, he's he stayed in it. trouble too much. Not it, bro. He Yo, stayed wait, in trouble Aladdin, too much. Aladdin, you said that uh, Murata is going to 40 now? Yeah, he's going to 40, bro. He fought yesterday's fight, night, yes people. Yeah, yesterday's fight wasn't at lightweight. That was above lightweight, bro. What about yeah. Ray Ford, Jules? I like Ray Ford. Uh, I like him. I like Oshaki Foster. But these are not young guys that have years and years and years of boxing to give to the sport. I feel like Oshaki Foster versus Oscar Valdez is the best fight to make it that way. Uh, honestly, it's a tough fight to edge. Tough fight to edge, to be real. But we'll see, you know. Wait, who? Oshaki and, and Raymond Ford? No, and Oscar Valdez, bro. Oh no! I got Osha I got Oshaki. You know, I feel like around. yeah, but Oshaki's struggling to make the weight, bro. He said that he in the last fight, 35. bro. But he's the one that wants he's to move stay to there. 35. He's moving to thirty-five, bro. He's but, the one, uh, he said he's staying at one thirty. He give me a, give me a second, fellas. I gotta watch this Whitaker fight. We'll see, yo. We'll see. But it's not, it's not, I'll put it this way, to answer the question, while I do like Raymond Ford and Oshaki Foster, I don't see years and years and years of boxing. Whereas, I, you know, when I think about it, yeah, Devin's very young. He's got many good years. Uh, so does Shakur. So does, so does uh, Floyd Schofield. Richard Torres is just getting started, you know. So when I think about them, like, yeah, they got many, many good years to give. Yeah, but, but Oshaki... Like what? 25, 26. Young. He's young, bro. Yeah, he's only 25. Do you think, all right, so then, uh, Michael, I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you see a pound-for-pound -pound fighter or a pound-for-pound -pound potential? No, but you'll be bro, in wait. the run. I don't know that after winning one world title. I have to see you win, beat other champions first. But we'll I see. see skill in him, bro. Like, I, I think he could do something at one, one two. He has about one, two, six, right? Yeah. I see toughness more than I see skill. I see toughness because that's what he put on display in the Kolmatov fight. Let's not act like that was a landslide. It wasn't. Kolmatov yeah. was on his way to win that fight, but Raymond caught him with a good one. That's that's really yeah, what it he, was. He does have enough skill to carry him. He is good. He decided to fight that night. But he if is he good. Wants to box, no, he no, can he, box. he is good. I'm telling you, I don't know if he's great. I'm not going to say he isn't no, no, great. No, no, no. I'm saying yeah. I don't okay. know if he's great. At 130, I'd pick him to outbox Oscar. No, I I seen Cro All right, hey, let me tell your ass one thing. When I seen Crawford ages ago, I knew, yo, this guy is the guy. When I look at Devin, I see that, you know, in his, in his own unique way that, like, yeah, this guy, he's got longevity, professionalism, skill. Uh, good dimensions to not just be at 140, but one day at 147. Same with Shakur. You could kind of tell right away. Yeah. But, but I don't but really wait, see that Shakur, on Raymond. Shakur, I agree. But with Devin, it kind of took a little bit of a while before. Nah, moved. the buzz around Devin was like, you. there, there was already a buzz around Devin before he did anything, bro. 
before he did anything. Like you knew this guy, like it's a serious guy. This is a serious blue chip prospect, this kid. Like you knew. Raymond, I'm not gonna knock him. He's doing well, but I don't know if he's that kind of a fighter. Let him show me. I'm not mad at him. Let him prove, you know, show me. Who, who, who's Maximava keep... 130? If he goes to 130 next, well, he said he's saying it. Cordina. For his next fight. Cordina. Cordina. But Cordina wants to go up, too. He's struggling to make weight. Yeah, yeah if he, he goes is. up, he'll get his, fucked his up. His next fight, him. his next, yeah, he can't be at a lightweight. He, he can't, can't be at 135, bro. They'll fuck him up up there, man. They will fuck him up. If got my man up, Rico. Man, got my man Rico El Chico. Zoo can't fight Bud now. Tim is good, but Tim is but Bud is great. That's a sure loss. Back o back o back L's will bury him. If his management approves that, they're sabotaging. That's that is a good point. That we want the f we want that fight as fans. But uh on his end of it, I think we all agree Crawford beats him. I mean, yeah. I'm yes. fairly confident yes. Crawford beats Tim Zoo. Like that's not a hard pick at all. So you know, if they put him in that fight, they must not like him. You yeah. Know? Would have been different if he would have won yesterday, but nah, you lost, bro. <laughs> Put you in that fight. Shit. Shout out to Mr. Classic Metal, who says, agreed. Richard Torres has a long, productive, and award-winning career ahead of him in the sport, in the porn industry. Yeah, shout out to porn. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Richard Torres has a long career, honestly. I do. He's too small, man. But I, I do I because see, he showed me he showed me something special. He showed me something special yesterday. And it was angles yeah, that he's light on his feet. I don't see a world champion, bro. I don't. I do. Think bro. about how badly he was knocked yet. out, man. Yo, he Richard, shout out to yo, Richard. Fight. Fuck the haters, bro. Fuck Michael. Shout out to Richard in the porn stash. I believe in your ass. <laughs> I know you could do it. I believe in you, bro. <laughs> Jalalov just about killed him in that world amateur final, man. Like if you're getting knocked out like that as an amateur, imagine what happens when he fights someone six six. That's yeah, I know, but that's bro. bro, I know, but that's the amateur. Like, like I, I do understand what you mean that that would be a difficult fight in the pros, no doubt about it. But he's making his bones in the pros by fighting fighters that are a little taller than him and are a little bigger. So I'm gonna give him that chance to develop because I see a guy oh, who can you. fight on his toes, cut angles. He's faster than your average heavyweight, but he still has heavyweight power. That makes him dangerous. Here comes there Ben Whitaker with, with the dumb shit. Yeah. Oh, I fucking can't stand Just it, wish but... he had a heavyweight chin to go with it. Yeah. Dope, well, it could bro. just be that Jalilov punches like an absolute evil person. That like, just makes that just makes Ben seem annoying to me. Like, bro, you trying exactly. too hard. This is a this is a developmental He's fight. You acting like yo, I was just gonna say, like, when are they gonna move him along quicker? You're, you're yeah, because you starting you. It's like you dunking on kids, and, and you know what I mean. Like, yeah. like bro, <laughs> yo, he's an Olympian, for? and he's he's still doing eight rounds. Like, fuck, they're taking their sweet ass time with him. They just want eight. more. They want more people making oh. TikTok videos about his. That's why. Listen. I don't. I'm not wishing bad on him, but if not he this. get knocked out, if he get, <laughs> they not gonna be nice to you, bro. They are not, cause you doing too much. You doing in Britain, too fucking. Man, that, that shit doesn't go down well here at all. Like, you're always supposed to respect your opponent. For real. If your whole thing is yeah, look at my dance moves while I box these nobodies. I, I don't end up like Josh Kelly, bro. You see, Josh Kelly don't shake and shimmy in his fights no more, right? Like, you better box. Exactly, yo, he stopped that shit real quick. Stop that shit yo, real fucking fit. Like, you better right, cut bro, that like, shit like, out. No, nobody knows the names of these guys you're doing this shit to, bro. Like, like get in. You knocked them down already. Just knock them out so we can get to the main event, bro. Like, fuck. It's annoying. What I will say about Ben Whitaker that I do like is he has very good dimensions for the weight. He's He's... Got a wide frame to really manage the distance. I just, I don't like the playing around. Like, show me what you do on boxing. You know, your boxing shit. I don't need this. I don't need you to hit the taunt button over and over, bro. Like, just, that's, that's, see, that's good shit. What, he, he, two ones and a two and then hit him to the body. That's good shit. Like, box, bro. Like, stop playing around, bro. He's just trying to be Prince Nassim, man. And there'll never be yeah. another Prince Nassim. And you and that was what's so that was what was so wild about Nassim. You you didn't see nobody like that. Like yo, this dude mm -hmm. is the showboat and master. Like this dude right here. Like he was just shaking and shimmy and doing all his bullshit. It wasn't really nobody like that. Now everybody trying like do his thing. Like 
And, and it was perfect, too, because it had a perfect divide of people who loved it and people who wanted him to get his fucking ass beat. It was, that's, just what, it was that's what I was going to say. Like, but in Britain, at that time, you have to remember, like, his demographic, the Prince Nazim's demographic, really isn't that well liked. Whereas Ben Whitaker's uh, demographic is. You know I mean, that they are the ones that can that caught the uh, historically carry boxing in Britain. So he doesn't, mm-hmm. he won't get the same level of hate that Prince Nassim did. Yeah, because Nassim, I know in America he was huge, bro. I know that, like, I know, like, we was talking about him in the streets. Kids was talking about him because he was well, he was well with his shit. Like, like, yo, this mm. dude is bananas, be like, but he nice though to be doing all that shit. It was well received. It, I can say wholeheartedly, it was well received by Americans. It was. Yeah. When you've got power like Nas as well, though, I mean, you can get away with everything if you leave someone unconscious. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you guys see for Ben? Though, do you do you guys see a champion? He's got all the I mean, talent. I mean, I don't just, know because he's fighting trash cans. I don't True. know, I, I, but I will say he does look <laughs> fun, fundamentally. He looks good to me. I like you know, he goes upstairs. I mean, he does go downstairs. We'll see. I can see British, you know, light heavyweight championship. I don't know about world. The thing is, you have to remember that the future of the light heavyweight division is British. The whole future of it. Lyndon Arthur, Anthony Yard, Joshua Buatzi, Callum Smith, Zach Parker. All the money at light heavyweight in the next cycle will be coming from Britain. All of it. Mm. When you put it like that, Yard versus him, I think, could be a really interesting fight. We don't know how hard Whitaker really punches yet. Yeah, because the way it is, if Artur wins the fight, he's not staying at light heavyweight. Now, if Bivol wins the fight, he might, but they'll duck him. Like Joshua Boazzi ducked him, they'll duck him. Mm. They won't fight him. They won't fight him. I can see Callum try. Like Callum might try and fight him, but oh yeah, because Callum has fucking moxie, bro. He, Callum yeah. and Anthony Yard would try to fight him, but not not the prima donnas, not the princesses. Yeah, you know, I had a conversation with uh, his manager yesterday. Michael was there. We all did. And in so many words, what you basically saying is you didn't fight Bivol because you wanted a rematch clause? <laughs> <laughs> Word? You supposed to get a rematch clause as a mandatory? Aye, homie. Whatever See, you that, say, dog. There's yeah. that entitlement that you keep complaining about uh, American fighters having, the Britain, British fighters have it too. Well, it's his entitlement funding. comes from him being an Olympian. You know, what... what the fans don't always realize is those amateur standouts when they come out of the amateurs they're so used to having the red carpet rolled out for them they think it's supposed to always be like that and like nah homie this is the pros you uh, just a challenger it's definitely you know, like actually, that but also if you come from london like you have a certain level of entitlement when it comes to anything mm. sorry for talk speaking over someone there whoever this no 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 it's okay i, I just wanted to say that I actually pitched his idea to a Ben fighting Bellati for the British, you know, BBOC title. And it's like, well, he's not ready yet. But it's like, I look at this guy and it's like, hey, if you're good enough, you're, you're you know, you're, you're, you're old enough to, to fight. I don't care about this regular yeah. shit. Medalists, yeah, they right. get fat, they, they, Olympic medalists get fast track to, to world titles faster. They do. That is true. I reckon he probably could beat B- Bellati or at least be competitive. But He could embarrass him. Yeah. He looks more powerful than Buatzi. I don't want to be, I don't sound like a hater, but I'm kind of with Mike on this. Like, dog, I need to see you fight a live body first before I can really assess if you have a future here. Right. Like, bro, who are these guys, bro? Like, who? I don't know, bro. Nah, it's just Journeyman. That's what I'm saying. Ryan like, Garcia looked good against Journeyman. This guy, just, on... did, this guy just did seven one twos in a row and didn't make you pay for it. Like, this guy's a trash. This guy's is bums, bro. I hate to say that, but oh, Kaya says PBC creates hype kings like Pitbull. Yeah, like they, they just hype masters, bro. Shout out to my man Mario Fernandez. If Seb pointy elbows Fundora can, Whitaker will. Well, that's a good point. If Sebastian yeah. Fundora could become a champion, why not Ben? I mean, Sebastian Fedora has like what? He's a giant in that division, so he has he has. No, yeah, well, that, is, that's not actually... a fair comparison, Jules. Uh, Fundora's a fucking anomaly in a smaller division. Like you don't see too many six foot that... five guys Sorry. fighting at one fifty four. Damn, yo, I, I don't get it. Why is it when this guy's looking at the crowd, this guy just stays there? Like, just push the motherfucker. 
That would be the funniest shit on earth if when he did that, he got punched square in his fucking mouth. I'm waiting now. I'm, nah, I'm waiting. I know it's going to happen. I just know. It's like, you play too much, bro. Like, what are you doing all the... These is developmental fights. Yeah, he's getting hit. Yeah, no. He Where gets we go? Like... Bro, this guy's the slowest moved Olympian I've ever seen. He's been pro for how long? Three years now. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Joshua Buatzi's career is much slower than his. Mm. Much slower. Bro, oh, he damn, debuted yeah, in like true. 2016, that's true, that's true. bro. That's true. That's true. You're right. You're right. You're that right. dude ain't even fought for a title yet. That's but it, crazy. But it has slowed down the last three years. Even slower. <laughs> yeah. I would do want to see this fucking arsehole get knocked out, though. That's where I'm getting with it because you're doing too much. Win the fight, bro. If you have time to act bro. stupid, then you have time to throw punches. No. Like you, 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 you dropped him. He dropped him in the first round. Like we could be on to our next fight already. No, no, he's practicing to be a backup dancer for the next Smooth Criminal make uh, he's, remake. He's, like, trying what to, the fuck? he's trying to promote himself. He wants to promote himself. You know, how you promote yourself. You fight good people and you knock them out. It won't work in Britain, man. Like, honestly, British fans will not take to him for this shit because they know enough to know that that other guy is a journeyman. This is a yeah, learning yeah. Look at that. He was trash. Yeah. Just but, you know, but you know, Ryan, I don't know because, you know, this generation just is, is always with the sucker shit, so I really don't know. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Now, nah, but bo- fighting. Like, are still old. Like, the fans in boxing are still largely old heads, man. Huh? And you have to understand that, like, arrogance and overconfidence isn't something that's tolerated in Britain. You have to earn your arrogance. It's not like in America where you can front. Yeah, because in America earn... they're big fans of fake it till you make it here, and yeah. I've never, I've never respected that mentality. Like, nah, homie. Here you I don't respect your arrogance. that shit. Like, I don't respect that shit. Like he is proper hated. Like people do not like him. I'd love to see Callum Smith or Yard render him. Oh, I would. Uh, yeah, I would love for you. Oh my God, I can't. Like, but we'll see. You know what I mean? We'll see. All I can say Yo. is that. All I can say is that I don't necessarily. I don't know. I don't want to wish that on him. But this kind of dumb shit, it's not a good sign. I'll say that. Like, yeah, that's not a good sign. We got time for Yo, that dumb shit. I didn't even get to ask him. I, I wanted to ask him, but the the manager yesterday, right? What was his? What was Josh's choice for going to boxer when your only good fight over there you can get is probably Dan Aziz? Oh, he cracked him. I'll oh, tell you mind, what, Michael. Mind. Michael, why, this why is not the... Queensbury? If you're gonna leave match him, why not go to Queensbury? Michael, that's why I said that I don't do media because I know you're just about to tell me a bunch of bullshit. I already know why you left match room for boxer because Ben offered to overpay you for domestic level fights. That's why. You don't want to fight guys like B Vol and then lose, but that's the only way you're gonna get at that kind of money. So what you do is you Ben starts whispering sweet nothings in your ear, and you went with it. It's not complicated. It's not a detailed explanation. It's actually very simple. They're willing to pay you big money to fight domestic guys at at boxer. That's all it is. You, you don't rem- want the big smoke. You have to remember too that uh, Buatzi is an immigrant from Ghana. He came here from when he was twelve years old. So, like, money is obviously going to be a massive factor. I don't mean that to be nasty, but like, no, but it's the tr- it's just the reality of it that yeah. it's not a deep it's not a deep mystery why Buatzi crossed over there. It's because they're offering to pay him yeah. more money than Matchroom for easier fights. When you think about it, Matchroom offered you Bivol. They offered you Dan Aziz, and who was the guy before Dan Aziz? That he fought because he fought one other guy over there. It was like it was, a classroom teacher no guy. Yeah, like like he's getting the he's getting good money for easy fights. That's why he did it. It's simple. It's simple. Same reason Lawrence O'Coley went over there. You know, Ben Ben uh uh Ben what fuck up Ben Shalom. He starts talking that shit like, yo, we'll make you the face of sky. Of course he's gonna go over there for David Light. And why would you, why would you want to choose a Coley of all people to make the face? Why not React Poor, bro? That guy's entertaining. Bro, like, React Poor, yeah, like React, like, he gonna fuck up Chris Bellum Smith. I don't yeah, have that, that in my mind. Like, bro, they're even doing React Poor dirty, bro. React Poor's in his thirties already. He's like thirty two already. They Blake, saved that bro. man. Nah, they if we gonna be real, they saved that man life pulling him out of that Jail Pataya fight. If they don't. Bro. Yeah, he no, got fucked up. No, but he, if, if, if there's anybody at Cruiserweight that can do it, it is him. He's second wow. best. He's second best, but, like, I don't disagree with you. Yes, but there's still a gap. 
that yeah, think, he's yeah. number one and you're like number two, we could say, or you have the potential, but yeah. there is still a gap between you, you know, where he it's is okay. and it's where okay, because I'd I prefer seeing a unification between those two. It'd be really interesting. That literally fucking is number one, and number Florian two. Florian Mark, who's another fucking critical thinker. Yo, he actually had a buzz when he was on Matchroom. He had a buzz. Albanians yeah. are showing up. I ain't seen this motherfucker fight in a long time, I've seen, bro. I've seen it one time since he left Matchroom. One time. And all I've I been hearing you... is he's looking like shit. It's so, so stupid, man. It's so obvious that Eddie Hearn is the best sell in boxing. So why would you leave Eddie Hearn for a mumbling fucking idiot from Manchester who you can clearly tell is a Muppet. Why would you leave Hearn for him? <laughs> what it really was is upon Matchroom's departure from Sky, that opened up a lot of money that they were spending on Matchroom shows, which then opened the door for them to overpay for talent because that's what he did. You know, he overpaid Lawrence O'Coley, overpaid Joshua mm -hmm. Buatzi. And, and to sign the people that they signed, they offered them big cash. You know, Lauren Price. Remember, Matchroom was courting Lauren Price before she went to Boxer, but ultimately she went to Boxer. Why? Likely more money. They paid to bring all they paid to have a solid stable. They were willing to overpay in excess of the fighters' commercial value. So that's how they funneled all those fighters over there. But you see that things kind of thinned out. There were fighters who were with them that are not with them anymore. You know what I mean? Have you heard Hearn ever discuss Ben Whitaker and how he, like, Hearn, he, Ben Whitaker really wanted to sign with Eddie Hearn? He took him the deal that Sky had and he said, if you can equal that deal, I want to sign with you. And Hearn had to say, like, nah, I can't do that. Just sign with them. And he said that Whitaker was almost crying. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he really wanted to be him <laughs> Please, Eddie, give me that money. Please. But I want like, that money. You, so he has one more fight with Ben after that. Then he'll go to Eddie. Tell, he, no, no, yeah, he'll go to Eddie. Because yeah, remember, but, Shannon but Ryan. Been, Shannon Ryan but, went to fucking match room, but she started out with them. So, yeah. Doesn't, um, doesn't uh, what do you call it? He have matching rights? Ben Shalom, no? I don't think so. I'm sure they I don't would think for this so. kid. For this kid, I'm sure they would. Yeah, but even but if honestly, it's match fights, that's just for one fight. To move along better? But, yo, Mashroom's going to throw this kid in the deep end kind of quick. Man, nah, we could get to see his ass part. getting knocked out. Yeah. And then when he does get knocked out, they're going to blame Eddie. Like, yo, you challenged him This too is hard. all Eddie's fault. Why are you he, doing that? You challenged him too hard, too quick. What are you doing? He's oh. supposed to be slow. I remember when that dude, that uh, uh, the British dude... After Josh Kelly had got beat, you know the dude that he has a YouTube channel. He was an Olympian. He medaled in the Olympics. He won one. Tony Jeffries. I, Jeffries, right? He was all mad. They matched him too tough. He's but bro, he's a fucking Olympian, bro. Josh Kelly is an Olympian. What the fuck you want him to do? Feed him applesauce? Exactly. The fuck? No, you can, you have to put make sure every opponent only has like. So much punching power. Like, they go to those little punching machines, nobody over a 50. Bro, this fight's still going on, bro. Because he plays with his, because he plays with his fool. No, he's That's not what even trolling this time. Like, he's actually trying to fight and, like... Now he's still tro I'm watching yeah, he's him. Still, he's still he's trolling. Still he is, he is, he is, he is. You're right, like, Michael, he is slow. And shout out like to shout out to Kyle. Tyson Fury needs Fundora sharp elbows for Usyk for real. <laughs> shout out to Jesus Jules. What do you think about Vidal Ridley? I think he has a future. To be honest, he has a future. Uh, no sharp elbows won't help Tyson Fury against Usyk because Usyk's corner has um oh what's this thing I'm thinking of oh a brain, a brain for real. Yo, um, fuck Usyk does have oh good. man. Shout out yo. to my Albanian brother Florian Mark, who you sell drugs, I sell drugs. Shout out to selling drugs. <laughs> I said Albanians is the Dominicans of, of Europe. Like, oh, y'all sell oh, U.S. too, bro. Shout yeah, out to y'all, yo. So if you ever in Europe, you know who the weed man is. You know who the Pac-Man is. <laughs> right. Local Albanian. If you're Albania. looking for Pac, you have to go to the Turks. They control it all. I got to go to Europe and start selling drugs. Man, Tim got yeah, done dirty like, yesterday, man. That show's bullshit, bro. That show's some bullshit. It's so bro. infuriating. I, like, Joe, seriously, you I have to come was... here, man. Being the Anglophile you are, you have to come here at some point. Like. I do. 
broke and was swelling blood from round three. He was damaged too. Why are we crying for Tim? Why are you so mad about it? I notice you like to say a lot of hater shit. Ah, but no, 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 Luli. He always say the whack shit. Like I, he, these people think I don't read their comments. You always say some whack shit, bro. <laughs> Yes. No, like, be, what you no? Hey, sh sh what do you want to be different? You want to be on the edge? You want to be edgy and shit? Fuck up, bro. Yeah. Since Leo, when does he, blood from your nose go into your eye? You fucking retard. Learn some basic. He, he, just, he gets off. He gets off saying stupid shit, and he thinks I don't read it. Like I read the stupid shit you say because I notice that you say a lot of stupid fucking things. What we're gonna pretend that the blood didn't get in his eye? Like literally, are we gonna act like we didn't see that shit? Y'all motherfuckers, motherfuckers need to grow up. The shit is, the real shit is, you don't even, like, I, I already know what it is. You don't like me or, and you don't like this channel. Like, I know you don't because I read what you say, but you have this obsession with people that you don't like. It's a, the weirdest thing I've ever seen. If I don't like a channel, I'm not going to fucking follow it and watch every video to say some stupid shit. That's what, that's literally what that guy does. You could go to his comments and see, he always says some dumb shit. You can bitch, literally uh, block you yeah. on the YouTube, Jules. Like, there's a feature on YouTube. It's like you can block this channel you don't like. We're gonna cry, Tim or Riven? No, we're gonna read your stupid fucking comments. That's what we're gonna do. Like, he literally, you could see him wiping the blood out of his eyes. You know what, every it's, round. It's, this, it's this bizarre game that, like, so we're supposed to act like he wasn't winning the fight before the cut, or we're supposed to act like blood pouring down his face into his eye. That has nothing to do with anything. I've seen him wipe it with his forearm. I've never seen that in boxing before in my life. Bro, Tim is a better Bro, fighter wipe. than that guy, man. Bro, the real shit is, I'm going to tell you what it is, and I don't even want to do it, but what it is is he beat Tony Harrison and Terrell Gachet, and that's why they don't like him. That's all it is, honestly. Tim doesn't talk much, so how could he be a polarizing figure? He doesn't fucking say anything. He barely talks. So it's not the polarization of a fighter or a fighter that said or really did anything. All it really is is he beat he beat Terrell and he beat Tony, and that's why you don't like him. Anyway, or, 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 or even worse, you see that I like the fighter, that I think he's a good fighter, and you have some kind of fucking problem with me even though you watch everything I post. You have to admit, though. Always the something fucking stupid, bro. I just, I just get tired of the stupid shit, like. Yo, like, Ike, shut the fuck up. The militants, Sorry. like, they must fucking be go, go to bed crying at night because they just keep losing every fight. Every fight, fighter they hype up ends up losing. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's always the same, too. Oh, I don't like the... Yeah, sure you don't, bro. I hear you, bro. I totally believe you, bro. Real Talk said, I've said several times, Fundora won, but he didn't beat Zoo. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah like, that Fundora did enough to get a decision. I, I, I'm not denying that. Like, yeah, he did. He he fought. Honestly, he fought the best fight that he could have fought. Long range, behind the jab. Just keep the jab working. Don't even engage because he needs to get close to you. So, did Fundora win? Yeah, he won, but it's still yeah. some bullshit because it's because bullshit, of the cut. Yeah. It's literally because of the cut before the cut. He busted your mouth. And your nose in just two rounds. Yeah, he busted he your mouth and after. your nose. He was getting him that straight right. He in the first two, three rounds, he got him with the straight light or straight right like six, five times, bro. Yeah, like, like, like so time. it's not even like like the whole thing is you're calling you're saying that we're crying him a river because we think he would have won because of the cut. He was winning before the cut. He was. The fuck you want me to say? It's because you don't like him. And I, and I don't I don't even know what the fuck he did to you that you I, I don't know bro I I don't know bro I don't know. Let's remember as well that the only damage Sue had was from an elbow. Yeah. But Pandora's fucked up mouth and nose was done by punches. Like, Honestly, like, like I, I read I read a little exchange between him and Tim Zhu is overrated by who, bro? Is he on somebody's pound for pound list or something? Because he's not on mine. Who overrated him? Because he gets a cut on the top of his head and the blood goes into his eye. You fucking losers take that. You see, I always told you he was always over. Hey, what's wrong with you, dog? Like, even if brilliant. you like Fandora, even if you like Fandora, I don't know how you could like this fight or this performance because he didn't fight like Fandora usually does. The Fandora. He did boring behind the jab basic shit. 
I'm going to say, well, just say what it is. They don't like the fucking dude because he's a white guy. It's always the same fucking shit. It's always yeah. the same. And and you know what? If you don't like him on that premise, that's between you, God, and everybody else. That's Don't bother me with it is what I'm saying. Leave me alone. Leave me out of it. It must have gone so shit. much that the best black fighter is also just a down-to-earth guy who doesn't play racial politics or anything. That's probably why they hate Crawford so much. Yeah, because I'm like, how the fuck is Tim Zoo getting hate? That dude don't even talk. He don't yeah. say nothing. Yeah, I'm Tim Zoo and my father. I'm Tim Zoo. That's it. The dude doesn't fucking talk. The worst I've ever heard him was just this past week where he said Samson, Samson is a little bitch. Yeah, that's he it. He didn't say that. He didn't even say that. He called him a weasel. And You're right, Jules. His hand. You're right, Jules. He barely says anything at most of the time. <laughs> like, like, like the motherfuckers. Like, look, look. Th- there was this. It's always the same. And I, I don't like the. I'm just watching boxing. I'm not into this. You versus me versus. I'm not into this fake war you're in that you think you're in. Like, you, mm-hmm. like, you know, I, I'm not in that shit. I'm just watching box. I'm like, what the fuck could Tim Zhu have done that he has haters? Because I'm like, I don't. I ain't really see what he. What did he do? It, it don't take much, <laughs> Jules. Come on, it don't take much. Jules. <laughs> it's because, like, it's because he's not an American. Notice how they fucking love Caleb Plant, even though Caleb yeah. Plant smacks the shit out of the Charlos. <laughs> no, not even. He knew he is another example. The man doesn't even speak English, and there's people that. Sh- I'm like, what is there to dislike about Inui? I, I don't. Yo, now that what? P- now that PBC has a belt, belts, my bad, Puro. At 54, it's cooked now, it's finished. Yeah, it's a wrap. That was Anytime a fun division. Anytime PBC gets involved, bro, they ruined the whole fucking division. You see there. fucking middleweight, bro. That shit is a... It's ghost. The ghost town, bro. It's done. It's Yo, you have a unified stuff, champion like... right now in Yanni Beck. And nobody gives a fuck that he's unified. Nobody, like, nobody fucking knows. cares. Even, nobody yo, cares. I ain't even gonna lie. Even I don't give a shit like, bro, you don't yeah, have nobody too. to fight. Bro. Yo, like, I'd even watch that unification fight. I'd even watch I watched that. Yo, I watched that sad ass. That shit was sad. Like, damn, dog. Middleweight. Yeah, Galtieri was, was trash. I was gonna terrible. Say, yo, Yanni Beck he was. the most forgotten about unified champion of all time. But, this boy, fight is but, still going on. Bro, even the Banana Man, even that guy was more, like, you know, known, more interesting. I would say he's more interesting fights. Middleweight is... Yeah. Yeah. I've got a question for the fa- for the panel. I think it's time that the weight classes be addressed because they're based on the sizes of adult humans 100 years ago. And you can see yeah. how they shifted. Super middleweight is old middleweight. 140 yeah. is old 135. So I think the yeah. weight classes do have to be changed. And I think they have to do mm, it. I don't think so. I d- I'll say this. People are built differently. You know what I mean? People are built differently. When you look at a fighter, when you look at Zerto, and I got to give Zerto a lot of credit. I did pick him to win, but I am surprised how well that he boxed. He improved. And when you look at Zerto, this is a guy who fought at 68. This is a guy who fought at 75. But that doesn't mean that every guy who was at 68 could go to cruiser so you know different people got different body types like yeah he's a very fat cruiser weight very fleshy pudgy cruiser he looked weight. like a teletubby jules keep it real <laughs> he looked like a fat kid he looked like no, a fat kid in the gym if, class, there's, but... if there's any weight that needs to be discussed seriously it's not like the bridge weight. the real bridge weight would have been in between 75 and cruiser weight yeah. That's a big gap. I don't know why you wouldn't make a division there. You Absolutely. can make a division there. Absolutely. Like, I agree not a lot with of these, Yo, imagine... I, yo, honestly, I, I don't see... I don't think B-ball, you have to... I don't see a B-Ball going to cruise away. I don't see him... Bro, that's the same thing. I thought that, like... The only reason Artur might be able to do it is because of the power. that yeah, He's got enough power. He'll hurt guys up there. But realistically, it's a huge jump, bro. From and, 75 and... up to 200... Yeah, that's, and what that's about these lot, guys bro. that debut like Bevo? You debut at 175, but you can't go up and you can't go down. You can't do anything. You just have to make 175 for your whole career. That Basically. gets really hard and draining at one point. No, I think they should have. They should have made a division there. You like right. That, that is the bridge weight division. You can make one. What is it? What you do? It's what's the weight limit for cruiserweight? It's like 190 and up, right? 200. It's, it's about 200. It's 200. But it it's used to be 190. 
So make it like one, yeah, like what, what, one eighty? I think one eighty. I think one eighty to one eighty three would have made sense. Somewhere at yeah. or around one eighty. So one eighty four. One eighty four. Fuck it. What I would do is just shift every weight class five pounds. So I'd make middleweight one sixty five, uh, light heavyweight one eighty, because mm. people are bigger now. You know what I mean? We don't need to like redo everything, but you do need to increase the weights because super middleweight. Because it's a super division, it doesn't get the the fucking glamour that it deserves. No, but, well now it no, but now it does. Like you you see it that the super middleweight division is by and large a more talked about division today in today's era of boxing than middleweight because of Benavidez, because of Canelo, because of Pacheco, because of um Caleb Plant, who we just mentioned. That if you think about where super middleweight is today, it's more talked about all over now by and large than middleweight. Middleweight is a forgotten yeah. division. It's a forgotten yeah, but like, division. But like casuals and stuff, yeah. they're the ones that are like really well, drop. Casuals, casu what casuals are sitting around talking about Gualtieri? <laughs> you see that Gualtieri? <laughs> or Janabek. Hey. How do they know as well like, as to when? Hey, ain't no casual saying, hey, you watch that Janabek fight last night? <laughs> you see that Janabek <laughs> fight, yo, that classes, shit is crazy. It's yeah. not consistent yeah. all the time. Some weight classes are like four, four pounds different, some are five. Some are seven, like one forty yeah, to one forty seven. That's because it's percentage of body weight. It's not that, necessarily that, thank you. Please explain yeah, please explain that to people because they think oh, weight no, like it's based on body fat. That's what it's based it's on. And you know what I'm saying? And no, a guy like Fundora, because he's six foot five, that does not mean he would make it as a light heavyweight. Okay, no. just because he's tall, <laughs> no, dog. they'll hit that oh, motherfucker God. and he will turn into popsicle sticks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he will turn into popsicle sticks, bro. <laughs> popsicle sticks. <laughs> well, if you look at him, bro, he looked like like you ate a bunch of popsicles and just put them together and made like a like a popsicle man. <laughs> I know, right? Like yeah, like you draw a stick figure in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say kindergarten art projects. For real. Shout out to Fight or Flight. I'm just upset that a loser got a shot at two world titles, and we have another loser walking the ring about to get his chance at those titles as well. Whoa. Make Honestly, yeah, bro. This is so this fucking up, bro. stupid, bro. You can't make this shit up, bro. Yo, boy, it, 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 you know that that's really what it is, though. Like, Fundora loses, gets a shot at two belts. Spence loses, he gets... It's like, what is this, bro? Come is this on, boxing? Bro. This is why that this why the sport is in trouble. Because of shit like this. Like, yeah. you don't see the fucking, uh, just to take a team out of it, you don't see the fucking Carolina Panthers getting to challenge the Kansas City Chiefs for the Super Bowl now. Like, you sucked all year. Fuck off. Exactly. Yo, like, honestly, like, like yo, what the fuck are we even watching yo, for? You know what I mean? Door, if, if, er, if Spence can make it past Boho Chuk, I won't say shit. I don't even know if he can make it past them. Yeah, but, but he, he not can, gonna, I won't yeah, say but he shit. Not, yeah, but they not stupid. Like, I hear I you that that. I, I would watch that. I would pay to see that. Like, yeah, That's I would watch fight. that. But he's not. They're not stupid, bro. Like, they're not gonna do nothing like that. Yeah, they know I what they got with that dude. They got a. They got a. A, a damaged fighter. They're not gonna risk Bo Chuck beating the life out of that fool. The guy looked like a British Ricky Martin. The guy that was just on. <laughs> <laughs> so he looked like a British Ricky Martin. Living like la vida a... coca. Living la vida coca. <laughs> so who's gonna pay Bud what it takes for him to get out? I'm sorry, but Bud, Bud, Bud he's is in the wrong era. Man. He's man. But it's not even no. But it, it's also that Bud is in the wrong era because he really is a throwback fighter. Like, yeah, he's for real a throwback fighter. He is, but he's in this political sissified era of fighters that it's just, bro. Do you know how ultimate bitch, how ultimate a bitch move it is that Spence? You didn't really want that rematch, but they're giving you a title shot. And you gonna come out, yeah, I'm Dak, I'm Daryl Spence. The big and dog. He's, he's, he's <laughs> the I'm the big dish. I'm the big dick dog fish. And there's the Soto test. I reckon if Crawford like started two weight classes higher, so say he's just bigger, he made his debut at 140 or 147 and 40s all the way through. If he was at super middleweight, like I fancy Crawford to beat Canelo if he was just naturally bigger. 
Right. Then he'd be a true star. You know what I mean? He's I'm just a little bit. Look, Crawford is in the wrong era because Crawford is not a shit talker. Well, they these guys like guys that talk shit just because. Like, why do you think they so in love with Broner? Broner ain't <laughs> shit. He ain't no. I don't care. He ain't shit. What's his uh, best he... win? What is his best win? What? Antonio Don't DeMarco Leo? Jules. DeMarco. Antonio right, DeMarco right? Jules. But but there's this love affair that people have as if he was really nice. Like, nah, this dude is ass. He been ass. And he been Jules, ass. That, he that, is. He's a walking That's what you call a though, that's what you call a career of right. smoke and mirrors. That guy won, won four titles and every title he won, he fought nothing but dudes that were not on his level to win those fucking belts. So when you think about Crawford compared to him, what's the difference? Crawford is the real thing. Broner is not. Broner was the hype. The Crawford is not talk. Crawford is not talkative. Broner is like you can't shut him up. He's like a broad. Like you really can't shut Adrian Broner up. Like he got a pussy between his legs, bro. Like yeah, you you got all girl tendencies, bro. Just is that all why my, girl tendencies. Is that why my Donna dry humped his ass in between being the shit out of him? No, that's because Broner dry humped him. That's why Broner did that <laughs> fruity ass shit first. It's funny when he's another it. thing. It's another thing. Like they, 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 yo, a lot of these dudes is some down low low zanes. B, I've been saying it like, yeah, a lot of y'all motherfuckers is a little rich out They've here. been dedicated. That was like when fucking Mal, uh, Malinagi, Malinagi, and uh, Broner were fighting. It looked when they were in the face off. It looked like they were about to drop trousers and fucking go at it, man. Yeah, man, it's just a lot of weird ass motherfuckers. Damn, Laura, is that Laura Woods? Okay. No, I think so. I don't know. Mm. That's not Laura the... Woods. That's not Laura Woods. No, who is? What's her name? I always forget. What the fuck name is her name? Now. Bro, what the fuck is her name? I don't know, bro. It's Laura Dude, Woods, bro. She got that librarian look going on, man. <laughs> fuck yeah, mm, sexy librarian. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's crazy, but. Yeah, man. That's it's not just, Woods, bro. Oh, they bro, need two more fuck. fights. Whitaker needs Laura two Woods more fights like this, bro. guys. That's like the blonde, the, the two blonde more fights blonde. like that? Oh, my God. Yeah, he... Please, no. No, no, no there's one but... more. It's the Florian DeMarco fight, then it's the main event. Audible. Florian DeMarco? Did you add a D? No, I said Florian DeMarco. You said Florian DeMarco. <laughs> no, I did not say Florian and, DeMarco. And Michael, Michael, I meant <laughs> Whitaker needs two more fights like the one he just had. He needs two more. Hey, Jules, what is why does Marco look like a character from Miami Vice with all the fucking gear? Bro, that dude look like he sells all the fucking cocaine, bro. Like, he yeah, he does. Like he sells all the coke, bro. Like, no, no, no. You want was... cocaine from me? It costs price. You want cocaine? Yeah. Cologne. Yeah. You sound pretty yeah. good in that one, man. Yeah. I am Albanian bear. You want cocaine? Yes. I, I give. Yeah. 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 Like, like the only guy who sell cocaine in a <laughs> <laughs> Jules, the Eastern European, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, I always wanted to go over there and get into a shootout, man. I like those guys over there, man. They're fucking crazy. Nah, man, the ballroom was <laughs> fucked up, man. That was the last place they had genuine fucking crimes against humanity, man. Like mass killings and shit. The Balkans. I love it, man. It's fucking crazy, man. They're nuts over there, man. Yeah, Yo, man. send Drew. Drew's for link. Drew is on the boxing voice today talking about Crawford need to fight boots. Yo, like Drew. Drew a turncoat, about, bro. bro. Drew is a turncoat, bro. bro. Let him have it, Michael. He's Let him have it, Michael. We ain't with the witch. We ain't with the wishy washy shit out here, bro. You it's Michael Towns. Amen. You know when they have football out. matches in the Balkans that fans can't attend because it's the Say violence. And the hostility is so bad that fans can't go to the games. They're played behind closed doors. Yo, the funny shit is that real talk just clicked to Drew's link. I <laughs> <laughs> got you, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 okay, bro. I don't like, don't nah, like the turn I out here, to fuck man. with that. I gotta go, y'all. Oh shit, he just got the shit. Like Michael got yo, Michael got words for you, Drew. He got Smith Oak for you, bro. He got Smith Oak. <laughs> Wait, real talk really just did that just to say yo, he ah, did God, you no. really just put up. <laughs> he did. <laughs> go ahead, Michael. I right, go ahead, Michael. It's it's your turn. The platform is yours, yo. Go ahead. Where's Drew? Where's Drew? 
First of all, your true, dirt, Michael, true. your ass true. did add a D to when you said his name. Don't no, I did not. Go fucking get the playback. Add a D. Yes, you fucking did. <laughs> no, I was I listening. No, he wasn't listening. And yes, I was. He was too busy yeah. out here saying Crawford need to fight Boots. No, bro. I didn't too, say Crawford need to fight Boots. Yeah, that's exactly what you said on the boxing. No, I did. Bro. I said he got fucking outmaneuvered not seeing this play coming. That's what the fuck I said. You said he needed to fight Boots. Talking about stay busy and fight Boots. Well, stay busy or do something. I didn't say Boots. I just said stay busy. <laughs> no, you... Come on, quote no, me then, right, bro. Then, quote then, me then right where, then then where did I get the Boots from? Then where did I get Boots from? I just heard that from my man. He didn't want to fight Probably boots, or he did stay busy. Didn't say he needed oh. to fight boots, or he ducking boots. Stop the bullshit, bro. Stop it. You don't you eat me. ass. You can't speak French. <laughs> and then say what else I did say. I said I want the Spence fans to get their battery in their back so I can get a repeat of July 29th. Maybe you got boots where you got the extra D from. Why do you want this holistic approach to boxing like it's fair and equitable, Michael? No, 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 no. That's not what I was saying. You be saying like this is not saying... supposed to be like this. Da, 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 da. That's not how boxing what, works, bro. Where the fuck? Where the fuck is that coming from? The fuck? Because you keep complaining about the shit that of shit that well, the way it is, the way it is. We knew this play was coming. Anybody that thought that Crawford was going to get any of those PBC guys, just on the strength of like, yeah, we're going to do good business with you, bud. Like, nah, bro. I mean, didn't you see the fucking play? Jules did a fucking relay on it. Like, they're positioning their guys at 147, at 154, and they're going to do the same thing to Bud when he goes up there. I just don't know why you were saying he has to fight Boots. I didn't say he has to fight Boots oh, like he God, does. Like, you said that. I said stay busy, fight Boots, fight somebody, do something. He ended his contract with Top Rank. Lick it. Lick crickets. PBC so only what do you want? What do you want him to do, Michael? Since he's not going to get Fundora, or he's not going to get Tim. You know, what do you want him to do, Michael? Sit down and twiddle his fucking uh, thumbs in Nebraska. He should sign with Eddie Hearn and stay at one forty-seven. Eddie has plenty of one of one forty. I, I, I would have at one forty-seven. Exactly. I would agree, but Bud wants a crazy guarantee up front. Now he don't want the normal six million from top rank he was getting. Right. He couldn't make he, a deal with Oscar. Remember, Oscar tried to sign him. Oh yeah. So what do you want? What do you want Bud Crawford to do, Michael? He said he wants to go just, to one fifty four. And just sit down. What do you say? He, he, obviously, he's not going to get a fight. I want. I want him to get the belt at one fifty four. That's what I want. He can be. So all what's those he going to do with So he's going to three time undisputed. That's what I want ideally. But I know he wants that Canelo shit. I don't even know if that shit's going to happen. Look, Fandor's gonna drop the the third B O strap. Take the mandatory W B O shot, win that, go and beat Yannis. Yeah. Who would who would be the oh. mandatory for who's next in line? I nah, the people nah, are nah. saying I'm about to take over Tim. this shit right now. Homie Ricky, shut your dumb ass up. Cause you the fucking <laughs> clown that picked Spence to win. I didn't forget you, homie Ricky. I remember. I didn't that. forget. I didn't forget none of the. I didn't forget none of the stupid fucking paragraphs you let me. Oh, now Crawford don't fight prime fighters. What the fuck was Spence when your dumb ass picked him? What was he? I'm telling you, Spence got the most bitch ass fans in the whole planet. Like Yo, all of y'all motherfuckers got twats between y'all. Do you remember when we asked him? Like, <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember? I remember we did a whole live when he joined. And we asked him, like, yo, what are you going to do if Crawford beats Spence? Are you going to give him his credit? And he says, it depends how Crawford wins and all that shit. Like, yo, shut up, bro. I'm, t I'm, t I'm telling you, todo eso tipo, son pájaro. They don't like, it's Dude, not boxing, bro. bro. It's bro. not boxing. Yo son pájaro. Yo son mariconing. Like, I'm not even playing, like. Basura, bro. I don't know anything in Spanish. That's all I know, but, like, you know. You don't know basura, anything bro. in French either, but I had to come bro, in because you was like losing a fucking I argument, bro. Say, like, say, like say, you're fucking losing an argument <laughs> over here. Like, I'm listening in. Michael stuttering and shit. Drew piecing you up. Ping, ping, ping. Ping, 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 ping. Ping, ping. He can literally see you go, up, yo. Go like, go to the boxing fuck, voice. Man. He was literally saying that he should fight Crawford, man. Go to the boxing yeah. voice. I know what I said when I was there when I said it. All I said was, we know he's I not going to get the fight. Like Jules said months ago, he wasn't going to get no guys from PBC at 54. 
And all I said was fight boots, man, fight somebody. Well, but, right you gotta, nah, but you got to be real about the Crawford situation. They held That's him up for months, bro. Oh, yeah. We didn't, we didn't know for sure that the rematch was not going to happen until this year. And we're only three months into this year. It wasn't until, like, what, last month that they said definitively it's not happening. So it's not like Crawford was free to do something else. He wasn't. No, no. But but a, a smart man is going to have backup plans, correct? Knowing that PBC What's, shade. So, so you tell me, you smart motherfucker. What's the backup? Whatever the backup. Find something just to stay busy. No, so there you go. You don't have a fucking answer. You don't have don't one. Have an what was the backup? What Crawford was the backup? Has, Crawford has enough juice to get a hometown fight against a top 10 guy. Against who? Against who? 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 Give me your fucking name. Who? Another That's a Avenesian top name. Type. Avenesian was a top name. I said another Avenesian type. He's you stuttering, bro. You lost. You lost. Bing, bing, bing. You lost. No, you, lost. Bing, 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 bing. you lost. You lost. No, you I lost. You can't even guy. tell me. You, you can't even you tell me who he supposed to fight. I don't need to tell. Go pull a rankings. You don't need to tell me if you telling me he need to fight. Then who's gonna let him to fight? No, a top ten guy. I said a top ten guy. You have your on Twitter saying Crawford doesn't defend. Doesn't defend undisputed out here. I did say that. That was accurate because that was you, the you, argument. Exactly, bro. So is it not true, Michael? Did I not? Hey, Michael, shut the code, fuck bro. up because you fucking, I had to come in. I had to tag team the shit because you was losing a fucking argument. <laughs> and Michael, <laughs> correct, quote, me fucking what, correctly. quote me correctly. That fucking. Fucking uh, Drew using a jab. Bing, bing, bing. That, that titty titty jabbing the shit fucking, out of you just now. That, that titty rant Isan went on. I'm like, Isan, I'm just holding him to the same standard. Undisputed champions are healthy. Man, man, fuck Isan. He from Rhode Island. Don't nobody live in Rhode Island. It's <laughs> wow. only Isan. Only Isan and, and Demetrius Andre live and in Rhode New Island. New York. All that. Man, man, me, you don't speak French. You non-speaking French, don't motherfucker. Speak French, speak French right now. Qu'est-ce que c'est, motherfucker? Exactly. Okay. Ben, ben parle français. And See, Michael, you didn't have a rebut when I said Crawford, like it or not, he wants more than his regular old top rank guarantee. Now I know that forward. we were talking about that here. We were talking about that already. Drew, spare me, bro. No, spare yourself because you have this oh. altruistic view of boxing. Oh, like it's shit. Not it's the business. spirit of sport unbiased. The spirit, the spirit of, of fucking competition. Uh oh, here oh, we go. <laughs> no, so, so really the spirit of competition. <laughs> Parliamentary <laughs> procedures, Jules. What does Crawford do? Here, man. What does Crawford do? He fights for the once before WBO can title. I can I tell you what? Can I tell you what it honestly is? And you, nobody's gonna like the answer. There's nothing for Crawford to do because no one wants to fight him. No one. That's how good he is. And that's the difference between me and you, Drew. I don't hold that against him. These exactly. people don't want to fight him. Why are we pretending that Boots want to fight him? That's what we're gonna do now. Did they not call you for a fight? And what you said, you was worried about Showtime, who you wasn't even signed to. None of them want to fight him. Be real. You think, for, I don't care what Fundora says at a press conference, what your promoter said is y'all trying to fight Spence. That's literally what he said on camera. I don't know for sure if Zoo was going to fight him. I don't know that for sure. Canelo, Canelo is the only one who could say, yeah, I don't get nothing out of that, but still, it means the same thing, don't it? You weren't going to fight him. Exactly. The only like, guys that want to fight Crawford are the only, no, fuck out of here. The only guys that want to fight Crawford are guys Crawford don't want to fight. The guys, PBC will throw him a Adames because they don't give a fuck about Adames. Uh, but what does that do for Crawford? What is it? That don't do nothing for Crawford. Thought, There's no such thing as Crawford. Who's Crawford? Crawford, Crawford the, like I, where, where I feel bad for Crawford is Fucking the guys that they'll give him the fight don't do shit. I just hope Florian Marco loses, bro. Let's go, Chris Congo. Whoa. Let's see Crawford. Whoa. Oh, man. fucking Canelo loses, man. What did Marco do? Do you think if Crawford, if Crawford didn't do the BS racial bias lawsuit, would he have access to Yanni Beck? Probably. Probably. That, that, look, I'll say this. We agree on one thing. Crawford burned a bridge that he didn't need to burn. If you were already going to leave top rank, there's no need to burn that bridge. Just go. You need to keep that door open. You doing that shit, you burned a bridge that you didn't need to burn because maybe you could have went back and did some business. The shit you did, uh, you know, maybe you could have went back and had a Santi Leung fight to keep busy. You know what I mean? Now, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm I'm hold, on, hold on one second, but can I ask you a question though? Because I mean, yeah, the is this about the spirit of competition? 
Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> the thing is, God threw him under the bus talking about he lost enough money, but the fact of the matter is, the he the reason why he said that is because Terrence Crawford wouldn't take a pay cut during the pandemic versus uh uh versus damn bro this the shit I'm biased if you buy a pizza and then you don't like it do you have a right to complain exactly yeah yeah I'm the customer I'm so stop telling too. me so stop telling me that Bob who invested top ranks money in Crawford's career they were losing money. What do you expect him to say? I love Crawford, right? But I know they were losing money on you. They absolutely were. So when the guy whose money's getting lost is complaining, no, I'm not mad at him. I understand. We're not talking about losing $20 in your jeans. We're talking about losing millions of dollars. You expect him not to say anything? Yeah, as the promoter, if that's my promoter. He said the same thing about Fury. Fury. He said he's in the red with Fury. Eddie Hearn was losing money on fire. This, 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 this. Yo, dog, y'all lose $100, I lose $100, hey. I lose $200 on some bullshit? Of course I'm going to complain. So, Bob, who's losing millions, as much as I like Crawford, yes, I understand. It's not a small amount of money. Damn, man, Mark, who's already hitting behind the head and shit. Shout out Mike. to Rabbit Punches. You look Mike like an Albanian goat herder, man. He Mike, does, like bro. we talked in the DM, like we talked in the DM, Jules, Crawford's at the point, like you said, might as well just retire, bro. I oh, think he should retire. Behind the head and shit, you Shout know, out the rabbit like, punches. Fight for the WBO 154 at home and then call it a career. I yes, punch yes. your head. Back of you head. Know, honestly, I am he Florian. Should do that. He should just <laughs> do that. Because this generation is full of fucking dickheads. And none of these fighters want to fight, you know, Bud. And then you have right. people like Drew just disrespecting Bud when Bud can't do anything. Yeah, like what? So, like, like, it's the... What makes me sad... What makes me sad about Bud is he's the perfect example of how far American boxing has fallen because here you have a guy, an American, homegrown, all the talent, all the skill. He's fun to watch. He knocks people out. But because he's not a knucklehead and a moron, people really don't like him. Because he's not a, because it's not no boxing shit. If we get on some boxing shit, they don't beat him, bro. They don't. Does, I'm not even does. sure Canelo beats him. I'm not playing, and I'm a huge Canelo, Canelo fan. Sucks. I'm he's not sure him. Canelo beats him. So be real. I'm not going to knock him. It's, he's a prime example of how the American boxing scene is a fucking joke because he has all the stuff you need, but because he's not a knucklehead, oh, people don't like him that much because he's not, a fucking, he's not a fucking alcoholic. Oh, 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 down low, down low, like Errol is down low. Cause come on, man, you another Diddy, bro. Come on, be come hot on, and shitty, your butthole, be. You know, you know, you know, yo, British. You know, you know, way better think his lucky stars that he's the money guy in the division. Cause when he wasn't, they tried to do the same thing to him. They tried exactly. to freeze him out. Too good. Exactly. Imagine Crawford was from Britain. Can you imagine? And what did and what did I know they do when they try to freeze shirt. him out? They built it, bro. <laughs> you acting? See, you you being obtuse on purpose, Drew. He knew he had options that Crawford doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Julius, does, does Crawford not have his own money to invest in his independent career? Who is it that you want, bro? Who is it that you want him to fight so fucking bad? I don't bad? want him. I know he's not going to fight nobody for chump. That's you're not. You're not answering my question. It's a simple enough question. I who said a is top it 10 that you want at one fifty four or one like who? I don't have the rankings up in front of me because you don't. So you don't even know what the fuck you're complaining about. No, oh, I'm not casual. complaining. I'm not complaining. Motherfucker's so tight that Crawford is not fighting this fighter that I can't name. No, I'm not tight. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing at motherfuckers complaining that he didn't get outmaneuvered on the business end. And fucking playing a, a fucking violin. Oh, they don't want to fight him. Well, they okay, don't. Bro. Tough you shit. can't That's name someone. No, no, no. You can't no, name no. someone. You, you can't name someone who wants to fight him. him. You can't name anybody who wants to fight him. I so what Adamus. is the complaint? I said Adamus. I said Johnny Beck. But Adam so range. did Adamus say, Adamus said, yeah, Adamus Crawford, I'll you. mentioned his name before, yes. When? When? Show me where. Show me you where. Know, because, I, I, because I'm not going to go fucking look through Twitter. So so you can't even point me in a direction Yanni of what Beck the fuck it is you're talking about. Got, Yanni, he could have got the Yanni Beck smoke if he didn't burn that bridge. This is insane. This is the no, whole no, base. No, we're acting like we're acting like Carlos. We're acting like Carlos Adamas. Who was Carlos Adamas? Tagged him in a tweet about the Dominican Republic. No blame in this at all, which is crazy. Like he's not to blame for nothing. 
This is what I'm saying. He, like, if Crawford's so easily disrespected, bro, yo, Terrence, go Where's the retire, disrespect, bro. Michael? Retire, bro. Where did I disrespect retire, him in the ring? Michael, where did I disrespect him in the ring? Go on, go is it retire, not a fact bro. he got hey, outmaneuvered? Crawford, Crawford, listen to me, bro. I love you, bro. Retire. Everybody in your era is a coward. It's the reality he's of un, it. He's unlucky, Everybody bro. in your era. What separates Inui from Crawford, honestly, is Inui is not in a division full of fucking cowards. That's yeah. literally what it is. He doesn't have to worry about Tapales running from the fight. Or, or, or God bless Stephen Fulton that showed hard. Nah, he's not a fucking coward. He lost, but he's not a fucking coward. These guys are fucking cowards. Why would I be defending a bunch of fucking cowards and bashing him? It's not his fault. It's their fame whores, man. They get so much attention from YouTube channels, like the interview LA setback types, that they want to prolong it as that's much as all possible. It, that's all it is. Like, look, he bought the fight Luis Neary. Luis Neary is, not a, uh, is a lot of things, but he's not a fucking coward. No. MJ Akhmadaliev is not a fucking coward. Fulton is not a fucking coward. Tapales is not a fucking coward. Paul Butler was not a fucking coward. The real problem that Crawford has is you're in a division of full of people that are afraid of you. Mm. Drew, I'm taking your Mexican card away, bro. Take and I'm, away. I'm afraid of Terrence fucking Crawford. Man, you, you don't even have a Mexican card. You don't even speak French. <laughs> uh, I'm taking it away, bro. Jules, what, you're like, a rare form of the Do you even know what language they speak over there in Haiti, Drew? What kind of sissified shit is that that fucking Errol Spence shows up with some four-year-old girl's braids, yeah. smiling and cheesing? Yeah, bad guy on the big test. I'm going next. <laughs> we going to test it. Oh, ho-ass shit. You a ho-ho. And all these hoes over here. All these ho-ass motherfuckers really... Yeah, man. Spence is back. Corn pone ass motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate y'all. I love it. Jules, They're gonna get Jules fucking a real awakening when he gets his ass kicked. No, Jules no, is no, on his no, box. I mean, no, no, I so bad, man. Any weight class. A fucking a jingle at the end of Spence's at the end of a Jules's rant. But it, like, it is true, like Ryan says, bro. Like if Crawford is from the UK, bro, they'd love this fucking guy. Bro, oh, bro they would build him a oh. church, bro. A church. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they'd, they'd have a shrine erected. For Let him. him be a Scottish fighter, an Irish Oof. fighter, an English <laughs> fighter. They'll build him a fucking church. A fucking They'll museum. Him a... They'll build him a museum for fuck's sake. Crawford peed in this urinal in 1993. <laughs> It'll be part of an exhibition. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, you, like, you just you know, part of boxing lore. They'll go down to Britain like I pissed in the urinal that Crawford once pissed but, in. Yo, yo, the same urinal no, was joke, Paris no joke. You know, you know what you do if if Virgil Ortiz can get two good fights and look good. That's a huge fight for Virgil and Bud. That's uh, look, big I money love, bro. Texas. I'm telling yeah. you, you not you you not understanding me. You're so naive, I think, Michael. I think I'm Virgil. Saying, is, I'm just bro, saying. I'm just telling you, Virgil is great. I think Virgil has the potential to be a great fighter. I love watching the kid. They don't want Crawford either. No, they, I know none, they don't. None of I know, these I know people want to fight him. I think I think Virgil will. Well, no, actually, I can't even say that. They pulled him out of the fucking. His bro, manager's Virgil, Rick Marion, you know, bro. Do you know who sat? Do you know when Boots was top ranked in 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 the WBO's rankings? Do you know why it was? Because Virgil, Virgil who was ranked out, number yeah, one. Yeah, went the WBA route. Why yeah. you? Why is it a Montes Stanionis fight more important to you than the yeah. fight that you could be having? Remember that Paco Vericell came out and he said, "Yeah, we offered Virgil to fight two times, three, three times." He said three times. What, what is Stanionis even doing these days? I mean, he's he retired, bro. He's retired. He's, getting, bro. he's getting bad haircuts, is what he's <laughs> doing, bro. He, that he motherfucker was, like he's 20, complaining about that motherfucker's like 20 with a baldy. Like, like, what's the matter with you, bro? Get a real haircut. You don't want to pull no bitches. He fights. Country, he, he he's he's like complaining that. about not getting fights, even though he took step aside money twice. So I don't know what all he's right, talking about. Bro, like, you know, that guy can just like I right, bro. Eventually, bro, I mean, people can't just feel bad for you. Like fucking like do I said, bro. like I said, the American boxing scene for me. The only reason I even still watch American boxers is Devin Haney, Shakur mm. Stevenson, uh, lightly Floyd Schofield. I have hope for Richard Torres. Um, yeah, there's some good young guys that are coming. Bam Rodriguez. Bam, of course. 
Uh, Bruce Carrington is coming through. We'll see how he does. But I'm losing my patience because the men, the men are fighting. Better be yeah. than be all the fighting. Those are men. The guys at heavyweight, those are men. They Canelo not chop. That smoke. They not chop. What are you talking? Yeah, I'm like, kidding. You, I'm an, kidding. you <laughs> another one. You let's say what are we doing? I'm literally kidding. The men of yeah. the men are fighting. Y'all little hundred and whatever pound weighing motherfuckers is on some whatever, bro. Like whatever. Don't fight then, bro. I don't. It's not the end of the world. Don't fight. I'll find somebody else to watch. It's not the end of the world. I'm Yo, for me, for me, number one is Japanese boxing. He's on the rise right now. Uh, Hi Hayoto Tazumi, that guy's pro prospect. Oh, he's going to be something special. Oh, I he's at 112. Yo, that dude's a problem, yo. The I'm only... saying, I got, I got Junto, I got Kazuto, I got Kosei, I got fucking Inui, I got Inui's brother. I ain't worried about y'all non-fighting ass motherfuckers. I, I'm not, bro. Like, it's okay. I'll Why don't you root for your country, down. man? You want to root for your country, man? Uh, I know you can get Crawford to fight. Michael, he's a Canadian. Brandon Cook. Who? Top eleven in the WBO. Exactly who? Who? Oh shit! Oh, that shit. The I'll problem. Tell you like, who I'm getting upset that, with. I'm getting upset with this fucking ref getting on Congo's case. Like Morocco hasn't been hitting Congo in the back of the head. Okay. He's been well, hitting the, the back of the head the whole fight, man. Who's ranked in WBO that was, right now? That was a beautiful. Uh, well, in the WBO, I know at 150, at 147, the number one contender should be Santi Liang. Who beat the shit out of Rocha. That's at 147. At 154, number one is Josh Kelly. Number two is Erickson Lubricant. So Xander Zayas is his three. And Yo, is four. Is Hold on, Michael. I'm telling you, I went for you, Michael, because you keep fucking crying. Okay. Spomer, the German, is number five. Teixeira, the Brazilian, is number six. Virgil, seven. Gasha is eight. Mendoza, and nine. Yo, and don't sleep, gentlemen. Don't sleep. Bob is taking Xander up the WBO route because I'm fairly confident they're going to revisit the Teixeira fight. It got scrapped. Now that Teixeira is back in the winner's bracket, he just had a fight a few weeks ago. I'm 100% sure that Xander's going up the WBO route. Somebody's going to have to deal with him. Somebody's oh, he's, number, he's number three. Imagine after he fights Teixeira. Yeah, but by Josh, by Josh yeah. Kelly? Because Josh, you ain't going to fight him? That dude will fuck your ass up. You're all forget. Josh has been active though. Be integrated been into the rankings, man. Who the, so he the been rankings, active? Who, who the fuck has point? Josh Kelly been fighting for? Well, the last I don't know, two but years. I need to know. I don't bro. know, no. but somehow he's at number one for the WB. Yeah, and there's only right. and at one sixty, there's only one American in the top fifteen. And that's uh, oh. Shane Mosley Jr. One sixty is dog shit, yo. Yo, one sixty is ass. Well, shit. Wait, wait. So is bad. Wait, Takeshi knew he's not related to like. No, he's not. No, he's Takeshi's not, he's not, not yeah. related to them. Yeah, yeah. Takeshi's not related to them. Man, Congo's got a cut on his right eye. I I, Inui, Inui in Japan is like Garcia. It's a common last name. Like it's like Garcia. Like everybody's in Inui. Like oh, I'm there's, sorry. There's two Drew. Americans at 160. Uh, Elijah Garcia is at 162. He's good, but Drew, fuck yeah. him. Josh Kelly fought Cut. Placido Ramirez. That tells you all need to know oh. who he's fighting. I need you to bro. repeat that, motherfucker, because you did not say that. Placido Ramirez. Placido and Ramirez. <laughs> what's, what's, the funniest shit about what Samson was saying yesterday is people aren't catching. He's like, well, Crawford can wait like David, like we're making David wait. He literally said that. What? Yeah, it's the clips there. Like he was saying, like, yeah, Crawford could wait, and then like like David's waiting. Wow. Oh, yeah. You, yo, bro. wait, Jules, did you see that clip I sent you? I did, I watched it, but I didn't catch that. He said he literally said, Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make Crawford wait, you know, just like David has to wait one or two fights, and maybe we could do it. I told you to make a whole relay on it, bro. Fuck. I'll make a re no, I'll make a relay on it after the Fraser Clark fight. I'll make a relay on it. But... It's fucking, yo, that's what I'm saying. Yo, get Lukowitz out of Boston. And this, no, and the other thing is, I, I'll give this to Ben Shalom. I'll give this to Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn, that they're satisfying their boxing community and their boxing public. The American boxing scene is full of Samson Lukowitz. Like, like, bro, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? What are any of you oh, doing? Oh, come on, man. What the hell? Sorry. You guys shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> I'm yelling at the yeah, fight. Come on, you do that too. So I mean, you can't blame you know, me. It's just, just it's a fucking joke out here, man. Like it's a, like, come on, man. Like yeah, like what? So what are you in the business of? Just making fights that nobody asked you for? No, he's in the business Whatever. of making fights, offering people what they bring to the table already. Bro, you, know, you know, you know, you know the guy. Canelo. You know the guy I that know. spit on him a couple months ago, bro. We need that guy back, bro. I need yeah, we back. need that guy to come back, bro. Because I would actually do it myself, bro. I fucking hate Samson Lukowitz, bro. I really the do. The Grant Glove, the Grant. That was the Grant Gloves guy. That that he's got like yeah. an Elvis kind of haircut or something. Ooh, look at that slot. No, I don't know. Having that mm. haircut in 2023 is insane, bro. Yeah. Mm. So Crawford, just tired, bro. Chocolate with titties. To be honest, yeah, I, was, like, yo, I thought there was Lady Chan for a second there. <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind seeing okay. Crawford retire because, like, I don't want to see him lose due to age. He doesn't yeah, just... I don't. Yeah, that's what I, I'm with Ryan. That I don't want him to stick around waiting for an empty promise, and then he goes in there and Father Time catches up. Like Crawford, yeah. Look, just sell cocaine, bro. A lot, there's a lot of drugs you can sell in Omaha, Nebraska. Just no, but he, he made he made a lot of money. He can wrap it up. He right? did make a lot of money, but he doesn't want to do like, like Jules said. He doesn't want to do what Oscar did. Like, okay, I had a big fight. Okay, let me get less money for Stevie Forbes. Who's offering him? Big who's offering him money, bro? He was locked in a contract. He couldn't mm. take another fight, and everybody knows that upsets happen. So, who in the right mind is going to let Crawford have a a nondescript fight? Where he does have the chance of losing all those belts. You know I mean? It's, it's just I think he's I think he's thirty six years old. He has a, a, a very accomplished guy. It's time to go, bud. Like I'm okay. sorry, it's not the real problem. Is you're in an era of fighters who do not believe in themselves, bro. Fighters did not used to be that. Like people really think it's some crazy shit if I say that. Like no, these this era of fighters, the majority of them. Their management does not believe in them. Guys used to climb over each other for a fucking title shot. They used to climb over each other to fight a guy like Crawford. Who has the Even other... if they want... Look at Roy. Nobody was favored to beat Roy, but they still went in there with him. He didn't have a problem finding somebody to fight. My God, Brandon Rios, when he had the opportunity to fight Manny Pacquiao, he jumped all over that shit. Right? Oh, fucking Mike Tyson was able to find people. And his prime, like, that's a scary motherfucker to fight, yo. That's what I'm saying. Like, it didn't used to be to where because you're the underdog or because you're not favored to win, you don't want the high-profile opponent. But that, that is the defining characteristic of this era that, well, unless, you know, it's a, it's a you know, you got a chance or it's an even fight or the bookie or the fuck. It's like, all right, bro, don't fight, bro. Just keep, just keep not being shit and that'll get you somewhere. Just, just keep waiting and praying and, and quoting Bible scriptures on Instagram. Just keep it up, bro. It's beautiful. Oh my God. It's just and an what's crazy. The yeah, WBC no still has the fucking belt with Charlo at 160. How many years have it been now? Three years from now. Going it's going to be three year, years right? pretty nah, nah, soon. Nah, nah, nah. Peep, peep the shit, peep the shit. Jones didn't fight shit. So he didn't fight Bernard Hopkins and James Tony. He didn't fight shit. Exactly. These boxing experts, like these fucking... It's very and it was smart. Up, uh, anyway, well, what good. do you expect from a guy with a last name, Lassiter? Fuck out of here. Yeah, what kind of last name is that? What are you, some kind of foreign guy? You better get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm just bullshit. I'm just being uncooperative. Yeah, no, no, you're right, Jules, because like the great Tyson Fury said, all the, all the belts belong in the West. They don't belong to a foreigner. They need to be in the West. Yo, motherfucker really said Jones didn't fight shit. So you didn't know that he fought James Tony? Like, you didn't know that, that he fought James Tony and Bernard Hopkins. Those are nobodies. Look at this I'm boxing tough, brain. Tough. Look at the size of his boxing brain, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, boxing expert over here. Don't do tie no tally. Remember Jones fought Kawasaki, even though he had no chance of winning as well. Yeah, like he was he, old by then, bro. He, was, he already yeah, got he washed by Tava. No, if, but that that was, if he would have been, been in his prime, right, yeah. he would have jacked Kawasaki up, I believe. Yo, yeah, but that's, but what I'm saying is, is even though he was long past his best he still wanted to fight the best he still wanted to beat kawasaki so like you can't fault him and say that roy didn't want to fight anybody yeah like somebody in the chat just says roy didn't fight shit that's crazy 
That's fucking nuts That's to me. Fucking these, box, these 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 fucking sharp boxing minds, yo. It's fucking the knowledge, it's bro. Fucking crazy. But to like, be honest, I don't even like, like Roy, and that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. So that's what you, you just let me just say the stupidest fucking thing I could say about a subject I know nothing about. He might just be wow. Oh, I, you know what else, fellas? I want to give a shout out to Jordan Plant. Thank you for pressing that fucking crayon eating motherfucker. Fuck all you bitches complaining. Why is she asking him those questions? He had no problem running his mouth. No, nah, stand on what you were saying. I loved her. Who you talking about, Roly? You talking about Roly? Yeah, yeah, yeah I love what Jordan Plant did. Fuck him. She's so sexy. Yeah, though. fuck. Yo, so yo, the young they're saying, shit. Jules, nah, they're crying that. Why would she ask him that stuff? That's like Larry Mercer. Like, nah, bro, that nigga was talking all that shit. And nah. For real, him. like, 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 were we supposed to be nice to him now? You was talking what? You literally got a chain about a little pit. Bull. Like, like, yo, I'm telling you, this air is just full of fucking marikon asshole, man. I love what bro. she said. She, she asked him, well, you said you was going to do this and this. What happened? And he well, looked he, like, I oh, think oh, he was still on Queer Street. I don't think he Oh, really... fucking well. <laughs> oh, fucking well, bro. You better find the words, you retarded motherfucker. Nah, you better true, find them true, words. True, true, true beauty, beauty is when. Every second of every day, mate. True beauty is when you can see a woman have kids and still look fine as hell. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you something. You still eat her I'm ass though. So what's the point? You want to eat her ass? He said, "Yo, out." He said, "Out of weight, Tony." Do you know how you over? So you really don't know when they fought then? Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he really does. Like, like overweight, I'm, overweight, I'm Tony. Time Tony out. was in his prime when they, they fought. They literally man. were fighting at middleweight. What the fuck's he talking about? No, what is he talking about? He's what talking is he talking about? He's talking he's about? He's he's Google, bro. Besides that, besides that, besides that, besides that, besides that, besides that. when was James Tony ever not out of weight? Like, what the fuck? He's with no, the fat he, fucking fat there was a he gotta be no. He has to be trolling. He has to be because it's like yes, there is a version of James Tony that was overweight, the one that fought Evander Holyfield. That is not the one that fought fucking Roy Jones. Clear, like, 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 like bro, like, like. There was a time when James was actually a slim guy. That's when he fought Roy. Exactly. Yeah, he he beat Michael Nunn, who was beating the shit out of people. He went into Iowa and beat Michael Nunn for his fucking middleweight title. So who is this dude talking about? Like, what the fuck like, is he on right now? That, that was Google, prime James like, Tony when he fought Roy, man. Like, prime. Pe people say yeah. that, like, you can't just fucking go on Google, bro. Like, how long will it take you to find out the answer? James oh, really? Tony is like one of the most naturally gifted fighters of all time. He's my he is a definite throwback fighter, man. Big I love time. James Tony, man. There's just no one that's more like watching him walk someone down is a thing of beauty. I'll admit, right. I'll admit, I was a salty ass little bitch when Roy Jones beat the shit out of James Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I was salty as fuck. You hear what Roy's got to say about him, though. He still maintains that James Tony is his best opponent and by some distance, too. Well, I love they're cooking Leonard Ellerby. Leonard Ellerby is crying about that video Oscar and Bernard did. But the Adams Boxing <laughs> really? Show just. Yeah, no, listen. Adams I love Boxing it. Show just said, Leonard, weren't you saying you wanted Canelo to knock out Mungia in front of Oscar two weeks ago with a smile? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love it. Did Leonard. Yeah, Leonard did it? He's gonna, he's gonna ignore it. Yeah, he's not gonna because there's nothing for him to say. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's nothing to say, bro. Thank Yo, fuck. So, so who do you guys, uh, Ryan? Who do you have winning? Um, Clark versus Wardley, just because you know we the main event is gonna start soon. I think. So Clark, do you have? I think you uh, think Clark wins the fight? No, I think Wardley is gonna beat the absolute shit out of him. I don't think it will go beyond six rounds. I think but Wardley. I believe beat. that. Yeah. I have I have Fabio too by knockout, but I think I think that Fabio I, I think that Frazier will deal with his jab, which to me is one of his best weapons, a little better than <clears throat> the guys before him. But I still have Fabio oh, getting to him and stop Fabio getting to him and stopping him. I just feel like he has better instincts as a fighter than than Frazier Clark. Frazier just seems very mechanical to me. I don't think Wardley's going to try and box him though, because he knows that Clark is the better boxer. Even though if, if, uh, Wardley can box a bit, I can see him doing what he done before, where he would just rush him, and I don't think that Fraser will be able to like keep him off. 
Yeah, I it's, think that was a good. That was good. a good fucking burp, though. You do, yo, get, you yo, watch wait, 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 wait. The He's he's up. trying to fault Roy for having not fought Eubank when Eubank was the one who admitted on camera he wanted no parts of Roy. Yeah. The literally British admitted that on camera. The entire British scene wanted no part of Roy. Mm -hmm. Like they invented well, their be, own but, little like mini division. It was like a separate a bit, universe almost. That is a bit unfair though. Like. I think if they didn't have each other, so you've been, if it was just Eubank around and Ben and Watson weren't there. Bro, but he literally said it on camera, no, bro. Chris no, said it on camera. I'm not denying that they avoided Roy, but I'm saying they had the opportunity to avoid them because they had other opponents. If Ben wasn't there, if Watson wasn't there, and it was only Eubank, Eubank would have fought Roy Jones. But they had money fights and titles amongst themselves. So they done what Spence and PBC done, is they fought all their fights, but then they still didn't want to fight Roy. I mean, oh, Ben did fight crazy. McClellan, man. McClellan was He up. did. He did. Yeah, McClellan was a tragedy, bro. That was a bad, yeah. what happened to him. That was bad. He should have never got the license for the second fight. They they detected a blame breeder. A, bl a, blame, a brain bleed after the, who was it you fought oh, before? Oh, really? They did in the first one? Yeah, against what's his name, man? The Julian Jackson. Wow. And oh, that's remember that's that horrible Stewart, to know that, man. Remember that Manny Stewart dropped him because he wanted to go over the fight, and Manny Stewart was like, "Nah, I can't have it. Like, I won't be a part of this. You should not." No, be actually, like, there's a documentary on that. Manny Stewart was interviewed. Manny said that Joe McClellan didn't listen to him at all. He said he tried to get him ready for that fight, but that. Gerald McClellan's fucking ego had gotten out of control, so he yeah. actually kicked him out of the Kronk camp. That's why he ended up having some fucking nobody train him for the fight against Ben. Yeah, and that fight should have been waved off, but, but as soon as that blinking started, it should have been waved off straight away. Yeah, yeah, because look, I mean, he's a a, a, a a zombie now these days. He's a yeah, he's guy. in a wheelchair, and yeah, he's he doesn't Christ even know. country. He needs he's a zombie, bro. Oh, no, he's bad, dude. He's real bad. I know, bro, but you could have just said that without calling him a zombie, bro. Well, I wasn't capping on the man. I mean, I felt bad for him. I mean, it's like, what a horrible He said he's a, he's a piece of parsley now. He's like a fucking, yeah, right. he's a celery <laughs> stock. Michael, did you have issue what Isaac's crew said to Rolly about, I'm going to give it to you in the ass? He gave it to him in the ass last night, Michael. Michael liked that part. Oh, no. Do you know that McClellan only took that fight for 20 grand as well? No, wow. I have an issue. Shocking. He's shitting on Bud for no reason. Bro. I didn't reason shit on that. Bud, bro. When did I shit on him in the ring? I supported him with my dollars, pay-per-view, and live ticket gates, Poppy. Oh, I don't See, steal him like Canadian. Leo, Leo noticed it. Leo noticed it, too. Said country is a savage. Yeah, yo, you go call him a zombie, bro. Michael, did you pay for Bud Crawford versus oh, Bud Crawford? Man, this Congo guy ain't that good. Nah, but neither is Florian, bro. Yeah, for, well, this is... Florian's been hitting behind the head, pushing dude's head down over the ropes. Man, yeah, and the Florida, ropes he... He, Floridian is fighting like he's from Florida, bro. The ref should have been taking some points away from his ass, and he hasn't done that at all. He's barely warned him. Probably yeah, worried about the Albanian gangster showing up at his door. Mm -hmm. This is a fight of the domestic dweebs. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, one of them's a foreigner. <laughs> yeah, remember, Florian ain't from the UK. He fight there, but he from Albania. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, really gonna now. hurt. He is Fabio's your brother. Hurt. Yeah, dude, bro. <laughs> He's gonna hurt Clark, bro. He's gonna hurt him. I, I uh, think he... Clark's gonna outbox him in the first couple rounds, but yeah, then Ward is just gonna get mad and first beat the shit. First two rounds and that's it. First two rounds and that's it. <sighs> Something about like Clark, he's weird. He doesn't fight like a heavyweight. Like he fights like he's like a middleweight. Or something mm -hmm. like it's it's I very agree. it's very unnatural. It's not it's, it doesn't fit him, and that's probably down to his coaching for real, honestly. Oh, finally, he's gonna take a point away. I hope. Dude's been hitting behind the head the whole damn fight. Yeah. Remember that Clark is old as well, but once you get to the 30s, then you just mellow out as a person. Yo, but the tag y'all to this shit. Uh-oh. What, what happened? What happened? 
Oh shit! Hold on, hold on, wait. I didn't even oh. catch that shit. I didn't even catch that shit until I looked what to the left. What is hold it? On. I just to tagged left, you to it on Twitter. Left. I mean, till I looked to the right, B. I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. That shit was <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> that ain't real. That's Photoshop, right? <laughs> oh, shit, yo, bro. Yo, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Man. Hey, these days that might the way things are these days that might be real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, George found George is in his bag, bro. He's fucking hilarious, yo. George is in his bag, bro. George, George is celebrating on? Trans Visibility Day. <laughs> <laughs> he about to have a Bud Light. They done that on Easter, man. Oh shit! Oh, no, no, <laughs> oh, no. Hell in the handbasket. No, nah, I mean, if we're going to be real, like, I, I don't want to get, I don't even, I'm going to leave it alone. But it's like, yo, out of all the days y'all could have put that shit, y'all put it on Easter, huh? Hmm. What are they doing there? Oh, they're looking at, oh, his mouthpiece came out. Okay. It's election season, man. They're virtue signaling, huh? I'm biased. Yes, sir. Are, aren't you excited at the fact that Spence Crawford, Spence fans are so excited that he's back just to no, see him again? Aren't you going to enjoy that? Fraud, just fraud celebrating a fraud. But you're not going to enjoy when their bur uh, bubble bursts again and he fucking gets his ass kicked? No, I'm not. Yo, Julio, I don't got, it's 10 oh. people up here, bro. I would let you on, but it's 10 people up here. They finally took a point for Mark, who it's about some damn people, time. Some people join and then they just fall asleep or some shit. They just go away. Bro, bro, you also ain't said nothing in two fucking hours. He's just sitting the slowest, there. the slowest one to say a French word gets kicked off. Um, see who play. <laughs> Next <laughs> weekend. Yeah. Film that guy. You know what? I'll I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> 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 Did he just fucking <laughs> drunk and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of funny. <laughs> Why you need to learn French? How do you? I want to learn. How do you say? I want to eat your ass, girl, in French. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Ass in Spanish. Ass, ass in Spanish is pronounced cul. They don't say culo. They say cul. It should. It should sound gay. Like we just say culo, I'm, bro. I'm what the fuck? Nobody's seen croissant yet. <laughs> croissant. The croissant. <laughs> Hey, Julio, Julio, what the Michael fuck, Julio? It's French. <laughs> I like that, though. Yo, Julio, Julio, what the fuck, Julio? What the fuck? You, what up? you hear real Spanish as well, though, Jules, they have that. Julio, they did Tim Dirty, bro. They did Tim Dirty. I thought he won. Like, even with all the, the bleeding pause, like, I thought he won. Yo, he like, did a lot of damage to Fundora. I thought uh, he, he was clearly the more skilled, better boxer of the fight. Uh, but you know, this is it's like it's like Jules said, man. This is the shit with modern boxing, bro. Like the good dudes, yeah. dudes who are actually, you know, worth having the belts, worthy of the belts. They get fucking, they get, they get robbed. And I think it's a robbery. I think that yeah, before the blood started covering his eyes, he was winning easily, bro. I mean, he was touching Fundora easily. And it shit is, uh, it shit is like. And, and the other yeah. thing is that a uh, part of me, you know, now that uh, tempers have cooled, and you, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. A part of me also feels that you did this to yourself by fucking with those people. Bro, yeah. facts. Facts. No, I said yes. the same shit, bro. Like, why are you with these yeah. people, man? Like, exactly. Why did if the, you now if the whole, learn to less? If the whole point, if the whole point, if the whole point was getting a Charlo fight and you've known for months now that you're not getting that fight, why are you wasting time on an Erickson Lubin? Why are you wasting time on a Keith Thurman? Like, what the fuck but, are you doing? But also, why are you wasting time in America, bro? Like, you don't need to be here, man. Go back home. It's Do nothing it in Australia. Australia. I'm going to tell, you, know, I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. I believe that Australians may have a fascination with American culture, and he was awestruck when he went into business without not realizing these dudes are going to fuck you. The whole time you're working with them, they're going to try to find a way to fuck you out of your spot. That's what they're going to do. They don't have no use for you, so they're going to fuck you out of your spot. But you just happy to be rubbing elbows with the Americans. Like He didn't see the forest through the trees. Exactly. Like, Yo, dog, you would have been better off fucking with them Brits. 
than fucking with these scumbags. But well, hey. well, no, Julio. Let me ask you this though. I mean, can't you? Why would your manager agree with a snake to a verbal rematch clause, and your fucking cut man did not have the proper equipment in the fucking corner? Dude, That's not PBC. Well, I mean, what, His what, what, people what, in Australia should immediately get Fandora to come back to Australia for the rematch, bro. Knock his ass off. They don't have. They don't even have a rematch clause, bro. No, but they should just offer him the money. Like they should just offer him the money. Let Tim take a fucking pay, uh, pay a haircut for it and they bring won't. him back to Australia. They Let won't. him knock him, knock him out Yo, and get the belts back. Samson's committed to PBC. They won't do that. Heyman won't allow it, man. He's trying to get that title to Australia. Now, do you fire your cut man if you're Tim? But here's the thing. Honest, what, 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 wait, wait, wait one second. Regarding the cut man, do we even? It was a really bad cut, a really bad spot. He did not he have the stuff yeah, to stop wait, the bleeding. Wait, bro. Bro, he do did. we even know? Oh, do we even know if the coagulant would help in a situation he did like have that? It. The, the coagulant. Yes, that's what it's for. That you just said the name coagulant. That's what it does. No, it but, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, but no, that no. one's a bad Please. cut, bro. Listen, my brother's a nurse. I've had many a conversation about that shit with him. Right? You're not allowed to use coagulant. Coagulant is what happens when uh, it, it'll fucking it'll close, it'll coagulate when you put in adrenaline, and the adrenaline is on those things that look like Q-tip. The, but the You're gas allowed was in Vegas light. to do that. Joe Goose but, pointed it out. Uh, cut man, I talked to last what? night. Rudy Hernandez pointed it out. The corner was inept with the, when it came to the cut man. No, but you're only allowed to put adrenaline in, adrenaline and uh, Vaseline. And they'd done that because it's on the Q-tips, but the gash was so big that they couldn't do anything. That was deep arterial bl uh, blood, like that, a major va uh, blood Whoa. vessel. Cut the, but more broadly, the, the only effective punch fucking Fenora landed, other than, you know, it was, it was a fucking elbow. Gap to the forehead. So <laughs> they need to rematch that. They need to run that back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. For the spirit of competition, they need to run it back, I'm biased. <laughs> Uh, I wish you had the spirit of shutting the hell up. Hey, oh, he's hating on Crawford and shit. Like, stop. Hate, hate him. Why? Why? Because I just hold to the same undisputed stand. I'm taking your goddamn Mexican card, Michael. Michael, don't worry. I'll buy you an extra small Inoue shirt from Japan next month. You don't find well like politics. If you guys could get me a medium, I'd really appreciate it, honestly. Hey, Mike. Oh, so you're a petite guy too? Oh, sucks, huh? Hey, Mike. Yo. Nah, but Bud is unique. Wait, wait, wait. Like, wait, wait, wait. But, I'm biased. I'm biased. I'm biased. Go ahead. Drew will play both sides of the field because he's the Joker. He just wants to see the world burn. I when just like seeing that, the fucking people lose their get their panties in a twist. No, you don't want to see the world burn. You ain't really for what's right and what actually is just. And there's what no such thing as right or wrong because if there has, if there's something right, there there's has no to be such something thing is right or wrong. Oh wow, what a parallel universe that Drew lives in. No, I would okay. hear me out. I don't do if, there, if there was such thing as right, if there was always a such thing as being right, there would no be no need to be wrong. They both coexist. Okay, so, they need to be there to so coexist. What about mass shootings? Do, do we do we like those? Do we like those? Is we said, no, we don't like them, but they exist. Hey, there's no, 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 they're not they're not wrong. They're not wait, wrong. wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, fellas. I'm gonna read the super check because Jules ain't here. Mr. Calderon 93, it says I'm not even going to lie. When Fundora versus Spence happens. I'm going to stream that shit. Arrow is on my forever no buy list. I ain't mad at that. Same, Mr. Same, Mr. Carlton. Oh. You're goddamn right. I ain't mad at that. PBC is on my no no buy list. I don't give a fuck. Well, in Britain, you don't get to pay for well, it anyway. I'm not going to lie. I will buy the Canelo Munguia fight. I ain't going to I'll buy that. You're buying it through the zone, though, like everybody else. It. I'll buy it through the yeah, zone. I'm buying it through the zone. Yeah. I'm not I even going to lie, man. I'm a, I'm a sucker. I'm a boxing sucker. And that Mexico versus Mexico shit did kind of get yeah, me excited. I, when they I were got, at the press I gotta conference. Buy that one. I'm like, all right, yeah, you got me. I, I prefer yeah, to see like, because Mexican. Else, but... What I, you know, what I really like about Mexican fighters, they don't really talk a lot of shit, but you know, they gonna bring it. Like you know, like bro, come on, you know, a Mexican fighter gonna try. If it's an ounce of fight in them, he gonna try. You know and we mean? haven't had one. We haven't had like. No. Shut up, Mexico, bro. You know, we they, don't like, get boners on like Arrow like, said. We haven't had like the dudes in the bigger weight classes do it. No, Mirage is not the Joker, Oscar Jimenez with the 199 no. Super Jet. Nah, bro. Like, Jules is right, though. We don't get excited for that shade room fucking gossip girl fucking because shit. Why not I don't fight because of the fucking press conference, yo. Like, it's, oh, they're it's, talking it's, shit. It's, 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 like, I'm going to tell you who, who immortalized shit talking. Larry Holmes did because he had a lot of shit to say. But Larry wasn't no bitch. He wasn't just up there talking shit.
You saw what Larry was Ali, like, he was a dude, bro. It would be Ali. What do you mean? Ali, no, no. I'm, I'm just naming fighters off the top of my head that talk shit oh, okay, that, yeah, okay, okay. there's a time and a place to talk shit. Like, yeah, of course there is. But you back it up in the ring. It's not just talking shit to be talking shit. Errol, you talk the whole heap of shit to get annihilated. Broner, you the same way? You talk a bunch of shit. You can't get past Jesse Vargas without a fucking draw. Like, really? Nah, but, but it's to your point. Like, boxing is broken in a sense. Like, this dude is coming off a loss, getting a, a title shot, unified title shot off a loss? Hey, you can't. Like, and then Crawford that, might be one of the first though. boxers in history to be forced to retire because he's too good. Like, well, like, like nobody he's, he's had a good clue. the business of boxing. Mauricio Lara didn't say a goddamn fucking word. He didn't say shit. Knocked you out both shit. Warrington. Knocked out both Warrington and Lee. Well, didn't say shit, bro. Didn't say nothing. Uh, uh, Curiel, he didn't say shit about Noni Shanga. Didn't have to. Knocked his ass out, then he got knocked out. Beautiful. Fighting people, not talking people. Like, what the fuck? Like, all y'all motherfuckers do is act and talk and act and talk and act and talk. Like, just be in the soap opera then, bro. Well, yeah, so I think I think what might help. this fight maybe. Pretty but sure. hey, check this out, y'all. Um, I got people coming at me talking about well, Lomachenko got a title fight after losing. So I asked him, was he knocked out and then put in position above the fighter that he was knocked out by? And then people say, Oh, you just bias. Bro. Oh, the shit is the shit is the shit is that one. The shit is that one. Am I happy that Lomachenko's getting the title shot off a loss? No. no. You are. You but are. Remember, yes. Y'all motherfuckers is happy as shit about that. But remember, Salido missed weight. And everybody saw all the fouls. So there was context as to why Lomachenko got that Bro, the shit the is the dude. Nah, but the dude, in my the shit opinion... Is, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Let me say this. All right? The real reason that these motherfuckers hate Lomachenko is because Gary was an unbeaten fighter with 21 fucking wins, and he was an amateur standout. He was on the U.S. American team, and he couldn't beat the white guy. That's why you hate Lomachenko. If we're gonna, if we just gonna lay all the cards on the table, this fucking hard on that so many people have for this non-English speaking little white guy. Like, what did he say that bothers you so fucking much? What? What that he wanted to fight Javante? That's what bothers you. Fucking clowns. I mean, but the also heat, me, me personally, I would say I would say Loma doesn't top rank propped him up too high oh, and gave him. That's their job. Because, bro, that's bro, their no, job. Bro, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear that shit. Spence wasn't propped up too high. He wasn't. Wait, hold on. Wait, clown. Wait, hold on. Say that again. Said, how the fuck can you get mad that Lomachenko was promoted when Spence was promoted, but he didn't achieve half the shit Lomachenko did. None of it. You're not well, a three-week champion. Either. But see, Spence is like two times that as well, though. That's what I was gonna say. Like, like I get, like me personally, I don't think Loma deserves it either. But he's way more decorated than Errol Spence. That's a fact. Errol's, Errol was entire. His whole career has been entirely. I never bought. I never bought into the promotion for Vasil Lomachenko. You could go back to videos I did in 2017 and 2018 where I'm saying in plain English, enjoy him while he lasts because that style that he has is for a young man. And his problem is he's not a young man. It's not going to last. He's Both. very good. He's very good. He's very entertaining. But no, he's not the best I've ever seen since Ali. It's not. It's, I know what bothers you. I've always known what bothers you. Pressure fighters. And that's what... Now, I'm not going to... I'm not going to attack him. But I will say, you haven't fought a pressure fighter in a very long time. Very long time. You might you have to fight one in a manual and... I don't know, bro. We'll yeah, I'm see. not gonna lie. It's, it's exactly like Dolomite says in the in the comments. When he when he beat Gary Russell, that's when the real hate really started. That's when no, the but, hate, bro. That's but, what I like, said. Why, why are that's, when, upset, that's where the hate comes from. Why are people who said that Top Rank is promoting a guy who's arguably the greatest amateur boxer that ever lived? Nothing. Why, not even that, why the fuck wouldn't they prop him up? Bro, that's the point. Bro, let, let me let me go. Let me get back to the heart of it. The real hate that people have for top rank is it all goes back to Floyd. You know, it's this it's this fucking sissified ass Cinderella story. Floyd had to bang him. You can't, 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 can't fucking you still crying about that? What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong? Like for real, oh, what's Mark wrong with lost. you? Good. It's about time. Fuck him. 
That's fuck another that good win for Lee, for Lee Wiley. He needs to bro. get back that, on the that corner. Camp, that camp is strong. Lee Wiley, Ben Davis. Yo, Lee Wiley, good. like yeah, his, his he 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 Yo. study study footage. Like they he study study, study footage. Him and ben, the point, but the they point study. I'm making is the point I'm making is the hate for Lomachenko or the hate for Inui or the hate for all things top rank. It all comes from this a uh, bitch that they have inside. Like it's a bitch in there. Like why are you always mad at somebody, bro? You're always mad at somebody. Well, no, you said, you, said said on several, you said it on several videos. They project their racial insecurity on the Loma and all yeah. the other non-black fighters when they lose to them. Like, like, what the fuck is this? Like, you telling me Inui is not good just because he, he's not good. No, he's not good. Really? But you high on Wilder, though, and you high on Spence, and Javon, like, I, I hear you, bro. That and here's what it is. Crazy. Wait, wait, and here's what it is. You could like whoever you like for for whatever reason you like them. This is sports. Sports run on on shit like that. They do. They're tri sports are tribalism. They are whether it's the hometown fighter or because of this or because of that. That's what sports are. But I'm just saying, don't accuse people of being bigots because they don't share in your tribalism because you're not the only tribe in the sport. So if the English guys like the English fighter and American guys like the American fighter and the Mexican guys like the Mexican fighter, stop crying about it then. Because you're doing what they're doing. That You're all doing the same thing. But you're the only ones crying bigotry and racism and all this crazy shit. When you're playing the same game that they are, you're doing the same thing. The difference between them and you is you're the only one crying about it. Sissy ass shit. I see it's dominated it's by not Pedro black Pantero. Black Get it right, Pedro Pantero. Yeah. I'm not Johnny, a communist. Put... I'm anarchist. Johnny's Johnny's turtleneck is not tight enough. He needs it a size smaller. Johnny yeah, Nelson's people... turtleneck is not tight enough, bro. He needs it a size smaller. This dude is the king of wearing tight ass shit on Sky Sports, bro. Silly ass shit is fucking ridiculous. I'm like you hate you basically hate 75% of boxing. Yeah. You bet if they're Eastern European, they're no good. If they're Japanese, they're no good. If they're Mexican, they're no good. If they're Puerto Rican, they're no good. If they're from this other promotion, they're no good. If they're from across the water, they're no good. You hate everybody. <laughs> oh, they're good if you want to prop up Andre Ward's Euro bum resume. They're great. Well, right, right. European fighters is all right so long as they're Europeans Andre Ward for it. And Europe and Ward is also half European, remember. Raised and, uh, European uh, we, don't, we don't want to talk about that though. We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I'm gonna put myself on mute for five minutes. I need to get a dog out. I'll catch us in a bit. Hey, this is like a lot of people that's watching enjoy when Drew gets body bagged, by the way. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Like I, I can't get, I can't get down with that shit. Like, bro, it just sounds like y'all hate everybody, bro. Like you hate everyone. Stop all that hating, yo. Find some peace in your heart. Yeah, like shit. Like just enjoy the fucking sport, bro. Like the fuck. Look at Lauren yeah, Wood's legs, even though that's not her name. They're losers in real life. That's why. I guess I don't know, but it just seems to me that like yo, every fighter, you 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 kind of hate most of boxing, kind like yeah, dog, like you only focused on a handful of guys, like hate everybody else. Shout out to my man Chris Eubank Jr. Always fashionable. He really wear that Marshall badge, and he don't. They don't even got guns over there, but he really got a share badge. Shout out hey, to my man, Chris. He is a legitimate law enforcement officer, and you will respect him, sir. Fuck, he you know has a law. Shout out to Pedro. No right or wrong. Like, no truth but power. Drew B is communist low key. He's saying you a commie, Drew. What's your, what's your response to that? I told him I'm more anarchist because, on case in point, they were like, oh, what about mass shootings? I'm like, the people crying about mass shootings in America are the same ones okay with the mass shootings in Gaza. So spare me your fucking selective moral outrage. The fuck yeah. out of here. That's kind of true. That it actually is kind of true. Humans are a vile fucking piece of trash on this planet. We destroy the planet. We destroy each other for kicks. So there is no fucking right or wrong. It's just a fucked up existence. And make country, the fucking happiness where you can country, get it. What country, you going to take that shit? You don't have, you're not going to respond? 
Cut, you, cut, bro, Drew, I'll let you handle Drew, this, man. You go Crawford, ahead. Bro. Drew, Drew's, Crawford, bro. Drew's wearing the V for Vendetta mask right now. For real. No, it's true. Like, 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 bro, like, if you feel as I feel, and if you will seek as I seek, if you're lucky in life, you get a lot, you get a few more happy moments than bad ones, if you're lucky. That's I know what movie, no, no, shut up. I know what movie you stole that from, you fucking prick. <laughs> I know what movie that's from. No, Ed, I, that's, I, Ed, I, that's Ed Harris's line, you fucking dick. You think I don't know where that's from? No, I don't know what movie you're talking about, honestly. You got that from Ed Harris. You got that from Ed Harris. And I've seen plenty of Ed Harris movies. Dude, Drew is practicing that in the mirror before he got on here. He's on his Teofimo. He's on his Teofimo type shit, yo. God, no, but that's literally that's literally at a high level. That, no. That's literally what. I, that's literally from an Ed scripts. Harris movie. That's literally from an Ed Harris movie where he was talking about how happiness is an illusion, and he and you you know he brought up all the great conquerors. He said, "Do you think these people were happy?" And then he says what Drew said that yeah, that's that's if you're lucky, you'll get a few moments of happiness. You think uh, he's slick? Walking Squid Games guy out here, man. No, that's his okay. life, though, fellas. Like fucking, we got all pay our bills. We all don't do shit, and we're lucky. If we hey, at least now we know he's not moments. gonna fight. Yo, at least now we know he's not gonna fight Dalton Smith, fellas, because he's not gonna fight Dalton Smith. Man, this, this is giving it a this is giving it away. He about to fight Seb Eubank, so dude, yeah, no, Dalton Smith will beat the shit out of him right now. Now the I ain't going front eight fights. I ain't, I ain't going front though. That jacket is is that uh uh uh, uh Azim's jacket, that lover, that moto jacket, that shit. I ain't going front. That's on point. That's on point. If I didn't already have one, I'd get one. But I have one already. You know what else is today? The 25th anniversary of the Matrix. It is? Yeah. That was a, that was a magnificent movie. That was a magnificent movie. The Wachowski brothers, now the Wachowski sisters, bro. What a time <laughs> to be alive. Time to be yeah. alive, bro. Live long enough to see the Wachowski brothers become the Wachowski sisters. <laughs> What a time to be alive, bro. Shit. Shout what, out to what I love in that. Join you the Rhythm Nation. One? Wait, 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 wait. Join the Rhythm Nation, assholes. Also, can we get a, a, a live with Drew to try to be positive? Can we do that, Drew? Can we get you to be positive and optimistic and all the good I things? I can be it. No, because like you well, said in the Matrix You can't do too. that because he's always hating on Crawford. I'm pragmatic. Bro. I'm pragmatic and agnostic. It's a Capricorn. But, are you, but are you ill-matic? I'm still he's manic. Still, no, he's still mad at you. Oh. Are you aneuristic? You said he's gonna have an aneurysm. I wouldn't wish that on somebody, Michael. Come on. No, fellas. I'm positive that the world's fucked. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah like but we I all know that already, though. I, I mean, I'm kind of withdrew on that, that I don't actually have much faith in the human race or the world. However, I am a Judeo Christian by belief. So it'll all be over at some point, and that's what we have to look forward to, or at least what I look forward to. Damn, fucking negative. God damn. That's not negative. That's positive. We'll go back to the creator, and he'll right all the wrongs because we yeah, left to our own a, devices. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of humans left. Humans left to their own devices are fucking evil. There's plenty of examples. Thank you. So, Thank throughout you. Throughout history, bro. Throughout history. Yeah, you God don't want to ever leave God. to rule the world. He'll burn God. this shit down. I literally could not leave us alone. I would, th I would Thanos the universe. You're right. I know several Capricorns. I would. would. I would Thanos Look just at, the human listen, race. Listen, if bro. it was, listen, if it was up to me, it would be only me and four, maybe, maybe four people on the planet, and, and one of them would be <laughs> Sasha Jonas and Salma Hayek. She's old. Or Sofia Vergara. Vergara. Oh, Vergara. Oh my God. Go oh, what? Uh Oh my God! Who would your white girl be? Just because you know you're not really the white girl. Ah, uh, yeah, I know that. That's that's a tough one, Drew. That is a tough one. I even go front. That nah, Sweeney Margot, broad. Margot oh my Robbie? God, Margot Robbie. This, this Sweeney over you know? Robbie. Sweeney over Robbie. No, you're not. Yes, that. Sweeney. What is that? This is how you know Jules' yes, wife is not in the room with him because he said that. This is how you know. <laughs> that's Sweeney. That's Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney. She is sexy. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Bro, but yeah, yo, I just I don't like I just don't like the negativity to be honest though. Like I don't like that. Like, aren't things fucked up enough without us making everything fucked up? Like, aren't things fucked up enough? Yes, Drew. Like, Do you get the memo? It's election season, so it's gonna be especially bad this year. Like.
Yeah. Next next year they'll try and So is it is it looking like Trump's gonna be in office again? Is that what's gonna happen? Yeah, I yeah. No, so, no, honest. I, 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 you want my honest opinion? I have half a mind to uproot my entire family and move us to a different country. The problem is, it's not like the Brits are doing any better than we are. They're, they're not. not. All, but, no, but we're about to swap our government, our useless government. We're about to put someone in who's more competent, but still a bit useless. Um, do but your PM right now is pretty, is pretty atrocious over there, bro. Like, Maybe I should come yeah, to Canada. Of Brexit, don't, man, don't, because... don't come to Canada. This government's fucked, so it's not going to get... Yeah, it is. You know, you know, you know, you know, shit, I'm planning on graduating and I'm getting the fuck up out of here, bro. Where do you want to go, Michael? You're I young, have, so where... That's the problem. I have no fucking idea. Go Asia, man. Asia. Michael, Asia. Japan. Yeah, I was go to say Japan, Singapore. Michael. You know, I was thinking nah. Dubai. I was thinking Dubai, actually. You want to go to Dubai, baby? You want to get Maybe? shot? You know, you pay yearly over there for housing. It's not like a monthly thing. You yes, yearly. I knew that. And it's very cheap. It's very cheap. Compared you got to release the wild. Honestly, you Michael. Dubai, you honestly, release. Michael, you should go. You should go to Singapore. To be completely honest, my friend, You're my smart friend, guy. My, my friend you better have a lot of money. If no, you, Singapore if you is do. fucking. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's it's affordable money. though. It's affordable. It's affordable. It's, it's no, doable. It no, just don't let her, man. It's the most expensive place to live in the world. Country, bro. listen, you're on the West Coast, bro. Okay, you got your own fucking problems. Michael's hey, got his whole fucking let me, future. Let me, let me tell you something, though. It, it, Singapore is super expensive. One of my it's homeboys It's the most expensive there. place to live in it the world. It is super you know that, right? expensive. It's number one. But the, law, yeah. but the laws are good and it's safe. Oh, they're Not draconian the in that place, true. man. You spit on bro, the ground. you grass. said draconian. Country, a country, a country trying to upstage us with the big four syllable words. He said draconian. draconian. Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> well, they're, they're draconian, draconian because that, that, that one American guy mm-hmm. that looks like country went over there and got caned for graffiti. I remember that in the 90s. Yeah. You remember that? Joke? Why would you yeah, that's that's up, spray man. paint in a foreign country? What the fuck? Bro, I don't even know. Americans do a lot of stupid fucking Yo, do you shit, remember the shit? Not in, just uh, Americans, though, Jules. There's remember been, the shit in North there's been with stories with of the like British people. Fucking desecrating like the Italian Coliseum. I don't know if you heard about that. Wow. They like wrote shit on That's the wall. Me, so. Do you remember the guy, the kid in North Korea, where he took down the pain and then they beat him to death? Oh, that would be mm. good stuff. He deserved that. No, you know, remember? Chill, chill, chill. You know, remember no, last year? No, yeah. Who told him to do that? Who told him to go over there? And no, do no, who told him to do I that? Know. Like, I know. I know. Hey, Jules, was, we like, got someone begging like to be invited to the block party, man. The block part. Oh, 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 all right. Let me see who. Shadow Band thirty three. Man, this dude's been going off for saying. Let me see Shadow Band. I don't see him. Let me see Shadow Band. What do you say? Canelo right. fears Benavides. Oh my God, bro! Like. Oh no, oh he's been staying God. a lot worse, man. He he deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, bro! Fun. Like Canel- neither Canelo or David is fighting today or for you. Like, get that shit out your mind, bro. Did, bro. Did Go get some posts. Say Canelo or David. Like, I don't think anybody like like. Damn, bro. Get his man, what's this now. broad's name, man? No, we only brought up David. Ryan, because what's Sam what's was... that broad's name, bro? The one on the TV. I don't know, man. He's fine. She's Anna Woodhouse. Yeah, no, no, Anna, 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 Anna Woodhouse. Anna Woodhouse. There it looks man. like she's Anna's either developed. Crazy, Anna Ro- like the way up... is, it's my classy. It's like she's developed anore- anorexia nervosa or a smack habit, man. She does not look healthy at all. I don't know her legs look healthy. Uh, she's a workout freak, man. She's constantly working out, man. She's fucking turkey yeah. legs, man. I love that. Yeah, women, maybe bro. she's just in shape. Jesus, she's a fucking drug addict. Jesus she loves Christ, bro. <laughs> yeah, like God, no, that's know, quite man. the presupposition, bro. Uh, maybe she's on keto. She got an air fryer. I'm fucking I'm from knows. Scotland, man. Hey, hey, hey! I got a hair. I got an air fryer. <laughs> You know what the bad thing? Air fryers dry out the food, man. Like you can't make depends, a pork chop in it. Depends. A... It depends. Like if you, I, 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 I stop putting my, I stop putting my pork chops in the air fryer because they come out too fucking dry, man. Well, like, how what heat do you put right? it at? You gotta, you gotta, don't put it. At any, how how high do you put it at? The heat. Yeah, I put it at a setting because there's a setting on it for pork chops. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, yo, I never do it manually, bro. Just it's better if you do it yourself. <laughs> It's you know bad. what's a better alternative? You do it in the oven, you know, bro. Jules, you, know you do press off- the popcorn button on the microwave. <laughs> oh, Dumbass. Fucking fucking you know what's a better? Idiot. You know what's a better alternative to Singapore would be more affordable. We would be Malaysia. Malaysia? Yeah, it's right next no, door. No, honestly, I've been really thinking about. It. I, I literally have no idea. Dubai is pretty good. My friend just bought 
property over there. He's moving his whole family over there. I heard uh, oh. Antarctica's cheap. Why don't you go up there? No. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> I have to bring a cult, though. Save my, I would do it. I would do it. I would do it. I just get a bunch of guns. You have to remember as well, like, yeah, that Singapore uh, and Malaysia are very, very strict Muslim countries. So if you yep. overstep, <laughs> you're in trouble. Wait, Singapore, no, they're, they're Muslim? That's a Muslim country? Yes. yes. Both of them, yeah. Oh, very, very that. Muslim country. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Like, you I get thought, the death penalty. Is that penalty. Asian? Singapore is not? Still so like yeah, it is Asian. yeah, it is Asian. That don't mean they're not Muslim. Yeah. The I'm, biggest Muslim I'm country not, in the I'm, world is Indonesia. Are you sure Malaysia is uh, like highly, highly Muslim, though? But listen, yeah. listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen, right? Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore were all one country until the British and the Dutch turned up and split in two. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they're all Muslims. The biggest, Ooh, most populous Muslim British. state in the world is Indonesia. And there's 350 million Muslims there. My friends are from there, oh. but they're Christians. <laughs> Minorities. I'm tell you, yeah, like, like you better go you to better... Dubai. I don't, know about, I don't know about Singapore, bro. I don't think it is, man. I don't want to move to the States. Definitely not. Go to, do, oh. go to Thailand, man. It's a mo- yeah, it's go a to Thailand, country. bro. Thailand is uh, affordable. Fucking, Thailand, fucking Thailand actually isn't bad, HIV bro. Like, no. you know there, what? Bro. They made it, they made it, it hard. It is? Is it not with all the trainees? No? Is it not? I, I never heard that. I never heard of them hard. having an A spike because of, yeah, you, just you know. You just made that up. Just, I just, I just, I you just made, you just totally fabricated. No, they got some lady boys over there, but that's only in the bar scene. It's not like. Honestly, I think there's more AIDS. I think there's more AIDS in the Bronx than there is in the whole of Thailand, personally. In the Bronx. Thailand has made it harder to be there, though. They up their requirements. Thailand legalized weed as well. You guys know the AIDS and the HIV on the it, it's on the rise again. I'll tell you yeah, one thing though, man. They got top notch health care in Thailand. They do. So yeah. in Singapore, 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 the biggest religion is Buddhism, followed by Christianity. Wait a minute, and that, that's Islam. Clifton so Mitchell. Weird. He's a fucking security guard. That's Clifton that's Mitchell. Because of, that's because of immigrants, man. Uh, like they've they've got a transient population, so they have lots of people that come in from different like places Singapore's in the world. Singapore's got one of the freest economies in Asia, bro. But it's exactly expensive. so people are in and out all the time. But nobody the with Indo- a family. Free market doesn't work. But the ethnic Malay and Indonesians and stuff—they're all Muslim. <laughs> Someone just said, "Just never get a Thai massage; they break you." <laughs> Yo. Don't come to Australia. Our government is fine. We just don't want a lot of you here. I don't blame y'all. I wouldn't I'm want me good, around bro. either. Y'all fucking Dude, your your country's got some bro. fascist I'm governments good. going on government shit going on right now. Fuck the government, man. nigga. They have all types of monsters over there. I'm good, bro. Exactly. Yeah, they got That's why the fuck would I want like yo dog? They got yeah. have you seen them them big ass spite hunter? Hunter spiders? Uh, hunter yeah, spider, I'm good, bro. bro. Not to mention the damn crocodiles and all Yo, the rest of that. They no, have, no, 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 no. They forget have four the feet battle over forget there, the bro. Spiders. Forget the spiders. There you have snails that can fit under your nail that can kill you. Fucking yeah, fuck snails. That shit. Yeah, Listen, that, the bro. sea, this, this puts it all into perspective, right? In the northern part of Australia, you can't swim six months a year because there's box jellyfish. And the other six months, there's uh, saltwater crocodiles. But yeah, all you year round, but all year Christ. round, there's tiger sharks and great white sharks. Yeah, <laughs> you know, don't fuck that. They don't have pools in Australia. <laughs> no, like no, bro. Jules, yeah, there's a that. reason Australia. Australia. There's a reason Australia was a penal fucking colony, and that's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Australia. Actually. Australia. Hey, Crikey. Did you know Australia. that crocs and sharks actually fight with each other and like they actually kill each other? Who wins? Sometimes the sharks, sometimes the crocs, man. Crocky. No yo, joke. That'd be a fucking good fight. That's a good fight, yo. I'll that is pay a good fight. For that. My money's on the croc. I'll pay Country, that, that sounds like those shark NATO movies you're talking about. Fight. No, no, no. It's real, man. Because I, I saw a documentary on that shit one time. So sometimes the crocs will be swimming out, out in the sea, and they'll end up getting fucked up by the sharks. The crocs uh, chewed off head. Washed up on the beach in this documentary, they were showing it. And it was this this is like a third grade lunch counter conversation. Let's be serious. That could no, be it ain't. It's real, well, man. Just because you don't. No, like this it, honestly is a third grade. Like, do you know that? Did you know the crocs suck the fucking sharks' dick? 
And he fucking killed? <laughs> no, nobody <laughs> said that, Jules. Nobody said that. Fucking tourist. Nobody <laughs> said that, Jules. That's so loud. I know, man. Like, what how did you go talking there? about, Jules? Jules, how on like Easter goals? Sunday, how Dude. could you? Like oh, 10 oh, years ago, the oh, fucking shit. hypothetical was who would win, a great white shark or a killer whale? Well, there, yeah, I, I agree with that. that's now being answered, the killer whale fucked that, the There's one worse thing about God. Australia. Mirage is there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, just just that alone will make me stay away, bro. <laughs> He's going to pick me up at the airport, start talking about David Benavides. Oh, you better David Benavides. You better come David here. David Benavides. Motherfucker. 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 It's gonna say mother. He's gonna be standing on the shit with so, a sign, motherfucker. What, what, David law? Benavides. Yeah, no. what, what law do you think? Exactly. What, what law do you think his great great grandfather broke that made him go to Australia as part oh, of England? Right. Good question, bro. Yeah. It's a good question. Could, there's like there's also the case that lots of orphans after the Second World War got sent to Australia. Okay, yeah. your parents were maybe be his one of them. grandfather was like I don't know disintegrated by a mortar round in World War II, and that's why Mirage is in Australia right now. Most of the that's Australians right. now can trace Oh, he just bumped into him. Y'all saw that? Before. He just bumped into him? Y'all saw that shit? It's getting great. Oh, it's getting crazy that shit. already. It's getting it's getting my great-grandmother lived in Australia. My, good, my grandfather. Bro, like, they have What law did she break? No, she went after. Well, my Technically, my granddad murdered his first wife, so that's why he What left. the fuck? <laughs> oh, so your granddad... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is a story. We're not past I that. need to what know. Yeah, he, he strangled his first like wife who was pregnant at the time. Evil bastard. Oh, and then he's, ran got away Angel, to he's got Angel Fernandez in his corner, y'all. Fraser Clark, so he's that's not a good... Him. Yeah, they're always... No, the, he's always he's, had he's, him. His bro. whole setup is like Team GB amateur shit. No, yeah, they're like a nah, That's what ben I told Davidson. you, Jules. His, his trainer has him fighting like he's a middleweight. He's always had them, no, bro. but he's always fought like that. Like they, they love amateur, the amateur fucking style. Bro. Yeah, that shit don't work. Bro. Oh, right, all about it. Don't work, they try to turn Anthony Joshua into a fucking Teofilo Stevenson because apparently, Soldry. apparently, Soldry. Angel Fernandez is obsessed with like Cuban amateur boxing. Soldry says some crocodiles identify as sharks. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You have to ask yourself, though, what is oh, a oh. Even the animal world ain't safe. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. That's hilarious. I mean, they're safer like, than the crocs in Africa because apparently like, a laying with the crocodile is a cure for uh, sterility. Yeah, really? but that's because of fucking like, uh, proximity. So for all the Nile crocodiles, they do kill more people, but that's because more people live next to them. Australia is fucking empty, dude. <laughs> There's no one oh, there. It is. Australia? It is exactly. Every most of the people are uh, well. The majority of the people are just along the coastline. The rest of that shit is just empty land. Yeah, the east coast as well. Like, there's only one city on the west well, coast, and there's one on the north coast, and the rest are all on the southeast. Yo, you can Australia see it if you look has... on the map. It's empty. It's it's just Australia not full has... of people. Eight. They have nah, eight of only... the top ten most deadliest spiders. It's only like, thirty million exactly people. Same. And if you consider it's like I think it's like six biggest country in terms of land area and there's only like thirty million people or something. Yeah, yeah Fraser only people, has bro. Fraser only has eight fights and this is a big step up from his last fight, from all his fights, actually. Do you guys think that Dillian White is going to start doing business with Boxer? Because I, yeah. I just don't get the sense that, that him and Eddie are, are, you know, getting, you know, getting along right he now. He was he was always an independent guy. He's a petty that, bitch, But I think man. he'll probably end up on the uh, the Saudi card, the heavy, like, as a heavyweight or some shit. I think Wardley will end I'd, up I'd finding like my, to her, see him on the Saudi anyway. card, bro. See him on the... Yo, Dillian Wardley White, I'm going to fuck. Dillian yeah. White's always been entertaining, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, like he don't be in boring in fights. Win or lose, he don't be in boring fights. Never, bro. He's always entertaining. I fuck Get him to my man Dillian B. Fuck y'all. Shout out to Dillian. Yeah. Shout, out to Ted, Shout out to Stan. Shout out to Keenstan, my Jamaican. Need to see him in the fuck ring him. against. Get him versus Miller, man. Him versus Miller in Saudi on another. Yeah, I still fuck with Dillian White. I still fuck with Dillian. Wherever you go, he don't be in boring fights. That's the main never, thing. He don't never. be in boring fights. You don't know, Joe. Wow, wow, that's, that's why we they, never really got to see Dylan. They're, they're the talking about they're talking about AJ doing a rematch with Joseph Parker. I'll take one with Dylan White better than that. Like that's more entertaining than me, to me at mm. least. 
Shout out to shout out to Pedro. Shout out to Pedro Pantera. What up with that rainbow pride belt, Wardley? That's the Commonwealth that's Euro, belt, I think. That's a Euro yeah. belt. That's a no, Commonwealth belt. Commonwealth belt. It, it, it kind of sucks because it ruins the rain. That's way older than the fucking. Well, rainbow well, let me remind you of something. Once again, I don't want to get religious, but over the, in the postmodern era, they have associated the rainbow with homosexuality. When the rainbow was supposed to be mo- the promise from God to Moses that there would not, yep. not Moses. To, to what you call it that there would Noah. not be another flood to Noah, there would not be another flood. The fact that this has happened is a part of the reason that I am a Judeo Christian. I'll just leave it there. Right. It's, and that's, it's a so common wait, denominator. If you're paying attention, there's a common denominator in all this stuff. And you know, hey, it, I, 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 you, I got are my you beliefs. Are you celebrating Trans Visionary Day? Are you celebrating? No, I, I believe it's an aberration before God. That's what and, I believe. Yeah. Exactly. And the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth, 100%. the Commonwealth replaced the empire. So all the yes. colors are supposed to symbolize every ah, color and ethnicity on Earth. Like, uh, yeah. Here we go. Now I like this the jab, I like the jab on Fabio. This like the jab. We have to actually call. Yeah, I don't want bigger. AJ fighting Joseph Parker next, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Joseph, you got luck in that last fight. Let's call it what it is, man. Yeah, Fraser looks much bigger and much better shape as well. He does. He's heavier. He definitely looks Ooh. heavier than, than Fabio. Nice He's right a lot, Fabio's a lot leaner. Look at the size of his back. That's nice. always yeah. the one that I look for. Good jab from Fabio, but but uh, Frazier's responding well. He is responding Ooh. well. Yeah, he's, 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 he's well giving them the right hands right I, now. I have it just like Jason. I think Fabio is gonna out. Frazier is gonna outbox him for the first two rounds. Then Fabio is gonna be like, "Fuck this shit," and fight. Mm. Told yeah, you, I mean, Frazier Clark I, got some I, skills. Ooh, good right hand. What time are you guys on, on at the moment? I'm at 123 and counting. Right. 150. Oh, I'm behind. I, I got it at 150. Okay, I'm, okay. At I'm, I'm at 210. I'm at 104. Fucking hell. Fuck's sake. You're, oh, you're on Sky Sky. I've got an SD. Yes, so it takes Sky. me a bit yeah. fucking longer. Than... Yeah. I, guess I refuse Peacock's to pay for Sky. It's far no too spoiling, expensive. No spoiling, I don't watch football. No, please. Please I, you know what? I will, you know what? That's, you said please. I, I will refrain from spoiling it. You have yeah. my word, Michael. I won't do that to you. I appreciate you. Juju, I'm surprised you knew that most motherfuckers don't know. I'm a firm believer in the man upstairs, but even though I may appear a villain. Because you are a villain. No, I'm not. I'm here to save your stupid ass. To uh, save, me from what? save me from what? Your soul. Your body's going to hell. <clears throat> he came to a different planet to try to help Ooh. us all. And there's only one thing that can save you, Michael, and you know what that is? Eating ass. Eating ass. See, and speaking isn't French. This, isn't, this, isn't this a sin, the way you guys are talking about this? Is this not a sin? No more than any of the things you do, Michael. Judge not, lest oh, you be judged. Oh, wait, Ben Davidson in this corner, too. Oh, no, nah, it's over. It's over. That's a Frazier round for me. Yes, Lee Wiley it is. Made... I gave that round to Frazier. Oh, John, Frazier Clark got some skills. Yeah, he's going out boxing for the You have a winning Julio? Uh, no, I got uh, Wardley by a late stoppage. But he's been, uh, he hasn't really been developed like as a pro. He's been fighting nothing but dog shit. Yeah, he has. So, so I don't, like, even Yo, though you I guys think hear he has me? skills, I don't know how well he's going to do here. I think Wardley's a lot better seasoned as a pro. And yes, Ryan, Yo. we do hear you. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Just dropped off. My fucking phone keeps fucking up. I'm not going to let you know, StreamYard is so bad for my phone. Yeah, same here. It like, it like overheats it and shit for like no reason. Yeah. Choose yeah. Battle, you get like no, like nothing ever on this planet. Yeah, seriously, yo, I literally come on the live when my battery's at like ninety. Within like an hour, it's gonna be at like forty something. Oh That's no, your, yeah. battery, your battery just trash. You see, I got mine on the charger, but see, I'm using my good phone. that's messed up because if I use this other phone, y'all ain't gonna hear me. I'm gonna go to the wobble zone, and y'all gonna dog me out by my connection. So he's gonna be even <laughs> worse. Are. You're right about that because we are. We are. Gonna be even worse than your mic right now. Wi-Fi, bro. I mean, come on, man. First round goes to Fraser Clark. First round goes to Fraser Clark. We all agree. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh, agreed. Yo, that cut that cut on Wardley's nose opens up every fucking fight, man. Every fight, bro, like clockwork. Oh, Bob, I it's missed. Got, it's got to be scar tissue or something. Yeah. Right. It must be deep. It must go right down to the bone. Yeah. All oh, the scar tissue, because yeah. every time he gets hit on it, it just pops open. <laughs> Did you say it goes deep to the bone? Oh, yeah, here to comes the bone, through. bro. 
Drew came to that. Wait, Drew, Drew wait just to, to the ass bone, bro. <laughs> Drew came through with his fruit basket. <laughs> Yo, Shalom, exactly, Mr. virtual. Of boxing, man. You need a Y'all back of that hand. Oh shit! Oh shit! That was a good uh -oh. right hand for Fabio. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fabio's not playing. He's not playing. Fabio's. Oh shit! Oh shit! Frey's just taking punishment. He's on the run. I did say under six, man. Nah, he, I think I think right. it's under seven. Nah, he's all right. Yeah. He's all right. He's got his legs under Ooh, him. Another right hand from Fabio Wardley. Hell. Right hand around the side. It's getting spicy. No. Oh shit! Ah, you animal, you. Why, why are you going purposely burp in the mic? Fucking hell! But yeah, literally, just as Virtual so says, you need you literally need a backup generator. Oh shit! For a Damn, oh, shit. Bro. Some uppercuts are just like. Landed. I had to pour antifreeze in my phone. Yeah. I got on. Uh, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. I'm not, oh, oh. I'm not even joking. One time I had to get off a live. My phone was so hot I had to put it in the freezer. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Stop lying. I swear to, swear to God, my last phone. Jesus. It happens. I've it had to put mine in the freezer. You can before. see a snake off the iPhone. Man, them uh, uppercuts yo, got a home all day long. Yeah, I'm telling they you. do. Jules, they Jules, do. do us a favor and switch Wally's to not, fucking uh, not Discord moving his head. or some shit, bro. Switch to Discord, bro. No. It's not my shit. It's your oh, punk ass oh, phone. Oh, oh. oh, bro. He's leaning on the ropes like a dummy. Oh, man. Jules, you should make a rumble as well. Oh, a lot fucking behind him, you know. You can see what you want. They really do. Ooh, them uppercuts is definitely on point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Fraser's yeah, right. I'll tell you what, it's the key now. Fraser's right hand is the key. I'm telling you that He's now. He's got him on a steady diet, man. Uh oh. Yeah. Fabio yeah, needs to jab a little oh, bit. Come more. on, Fabio. He That's needs a little jab uppercut. More. Just needs that uppercut is concerning. It is yeah. really mm -hmm. concerning. No, uh, I'm telling you, it's it's, it's uh, Fraser's right hand. So it's a, like a looping oh, right, 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 right. Uppercut again, him. man. Okay. He doesn't see the, he doesn't yeah. see those uppercuts just like his mentor, sucker for an uppercut. <laughs> yeah. It's like they don't train uh, for it at all. Yeah. It's a what sneaky punch, man. It's a risky punch I, to throw, I, but if it can Hey, 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 hey. Let's get this shit, Fabio. Let's get this shit. Fuck this guy. Nah, he lie. ended up getting the uppercut again. Man. Is doing damage, I actually man. I actually have the uh -huh. same problem as Dylan, bro. I always I don't do. know on my Oh, there's another uppercut. Oh, fuck Told you. me, man. He needs to target <laughs> oh, the body, man. He hit him with that overhand, though. He stunned him with that overhand. He stunned him. He did. That's what I'm he saying, Michael. It's the front over Clark's overhand right is fucking is is doing some damage, man. It's gonna it's gonna tell later on in this fight. Mm. It's a good fight mm. so far, but who do you give that round? It kind I kind of uh, felt like it's a Frazier round. It's a Clark yeah, yeah. round for me. Clark um, round. But I think I'm gonna give it to I mean, Wardley. I'm gonna give it to Wardley. Wardley had good moments in that round, but towards the end, yeah. I just Bro, felt like it was a Frazier Clark cut. round. Yo, I think Clark took that at the oh, end. He landed oh, like two oh, really oh. nasty uppercuts to take that round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Clark. Yeah, round, gotta mind that <laughs> fucking uppercut, man. It's a sneaky punch. It's a it's a risky punch to throw, but it's a sneaky punch, and if it lands, it does a lot of damage real fucking fast. Clark, I, I Clark, 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 Clark looks like right right It's Clark that looks like he's got the faster hands. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, yeah. He's not. It's, it's, it's almost like a flicker jab, almost. You know what I mean? It's not. It's just mm. arm punch. He's not putting too much behind it. Yeah. We found out Clark is about to make us all. He, Clark is Cl Fraser Clark about to make fools of us all. Maybe. Well, he's got, he's got the whole amateur boxing on his back. Should he lose this, man? Fuck. If, and you can, but you can tell that he's tight. He's neat and tidy. He knows what he's doing. Maybe yeah. it's just this is the first time that he's actually been in yeah, fight. Yeah, he's shape. leaking. He's leaking, leaking. Oh yeah, he's trying to Yeah. Oh, we rocked him with that. Oh, part. that was a beautiful one too. Clark keeps missing a lot, man. That's what I'm thinking. That like, how, how's because he's always been sort of fat and out of shape. So how's his stamina? So you're saying D Waters is where he gets nasty? Mm. 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 We're only in the third round. They've already drawn blood. Yeah. Fraser's like Clark oh, not, made him no, a bit no. tentative now. Did you Fraser. say I'm biased when you when it goes deep it gets nasty? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh, God damn it, Drew. 
Oh, I mean, shit. I'm at Warley's. I'm at Warley's. It gets deeper, it gets interesting. Well, you know, country. Another right oh, hand no, no. by Clark. Oh, fuck. He's going he's gonna to make fools of us all. Oh! Oh! oh. He was just too lazy in his other fights, it seems. Fat bastard. But now he's actually in shape. He looks good. Yeah. Come on, Fabio. Put this fucking prick down. <laughs> Fabio, you don't even know the man. man. What are you calling him a prick for? Just don't Fabio like being wrong. Down. I don't know. Jules is just in his rare mode today, man. <laughs> being wrong. Nah. Nice. I think Clark's made him tentative. Like Clark's made him tentative, huh? If Wardley does not do anything about that uppercut, man, it's going to be a long fucking night. I'm telling you now. Or a short night. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh yeah. Shit. Heavyweights, remember? Every, ta- every time Another Wardley hits right with a good one, Clark, Clark immediately ties up. Immediately. Smart. Yeah, but Word. Clark's hitting Wardley with that, with that right hand. Oh, no. Thank you, country. I'll be saying, yeah. Do you see how much Clark weight is behind that right hand when he lands it? Yo, Clark yeah. is picking up Wardley a little bit, man. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Fabio. Come on, Fabio. Fuck this guy. No, Fat prick. Good, nice, nice response, Fabio. Man. Mm. Fabio's mm. gone back to the corner. He knows he's in trouble. That's for damn sure. We got a fight. Yeah, we yeah. got a good fight. It's a good fight. Yep. British title fights are always good, man. Because like, some really of the tough. best, some of the best fights I've ever seen. The British title fights. Yo, he better be careful playing around that Yo, the The Brits, the, the Brits fucking come to fight, bro. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a Euro bum. There are merry bums. That's what they are. No, there's called the Americans. Fight, it's I like, like I don't like Americans. I like I don't, it because I gotta say a T, and I don't yeah, want to say it's American. Like Ameri- Ameri- yeah, um, Ameri- Ameri- bum rolls off the tongue it, it like Ameri- bum. I'm biased. I'm biased. You've been, I'm biased. You've been pushing that shit for like two months now. You, 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 you Nobody's gonna say Americant, bro. Yeah, it's too. No, it's like yeah, fucking I five syllables in there. Bias, I'm biased. You're the only person that says that in the whole world. Yeah, Ryan. I don't know what the fuck. Ryan, I don't know what the fuck you were talking about, bro. Woodhouse is a, is a brick house, bro. The fuck. What? Who won that round? Who won that round? Oh, I sorry, would... What was that, Jules? Woodhouse, bro. Look at look at the screen, bro. Oh, I can't. Tell... I'm behind, man. Oh, yo, fucking... she looks good. Oh, yo, look, look, look at Natasha's cheetah. Oh. They both look but good. But does she look better than Natasha, though, Jules? I'm taking them, I'm taking them both nah, down. Nah, 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she does something. Yeah, why is look... she look, looking like uh, 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 a great value Kobe Bryant right now? I just can't take white women seriously if they have fake tan on, man. Eh? Especially if they're British, because I'm like, you know for a fact. Yeah, because where the fuck, where, where, where the fuck in the whole of England did you get a tan? It's always raining over there and shit, yo. It's just overcast all the time. It's impossible yeah. to be yeah. there and have that tan. But that's <laughs> one thing that would that's one thing that would make me want to move to England because it's always overcast. I could wear all my mysterious oh. dark shit. Yeah. Bro, England looks like a Christopher Nolan movie. Like that yeah, shit is yeah, always yeah. Hey. <laughs> Damn. You think, Damn. You think England's bad. You should see fucking my neck of the woods, man. Scotland, like it gets dark at like half past three in the uh, Ooh, in the shit, afternoon. In the winter sure. matter of time. <laughs> I had a friend from uh, Scotland who went, who came over here for school, and he used to joke like, "Oh, the sun, it's real." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I heard stories about this mysterious thing. The way you guys are talking, you guys are talking like that episode of uh, Married with Children, where it would be fucking pitch black at like two in the afternoon. <laughs> you yeah. talking about that episode where where Al went to that place for his relative or whatever, and one side was light and one side yeah, was dark. Yeah, where he went to go get his inheritance, Jules. <laughs> Look, I'm yeah, I see I'm that shit. Yeah, hey, man, Wardley's like, getting busted up, dude. In his yeah. face, he is getting busted up. He is up. like this. And he's looking tired. I can't be dude. wrong out here. I hate like boy. I hate being wrong. I'm not on joking. No. Like, see for the winter solstice, the 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 shortest day of the year. No, yeah. but that, on, on that means paper, gets, this is what's supposed dark. to happen. It gets dark at half past three yeah. in the afternoon, and it gets light at ten o'clock in the morning. Oh, it does it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it does. And my English Damn. sister, she wow. moved up to Scotland. This is in the winter time. Go on. And, and oh, Warley was coming back. Got five. Oh, wow. again. 
So she no, but yeah, this is so, what this is what was darkness. supposed to happen on paper. Because, but the only problem is no one knew because Frazier Clark hasn't really been fighting anything. Yeah, yeah. man. If Wardley doesn't win this, I'll be. But gone he's the guy with the amateur pedigree. And the oh, oh, uppercut again! You got to do oh, something about that uppercut, man. You got to tighten. Because he's leaning over his front leg. leg. No, Frazier no, Clark doesn't make those far. mistakes because he's had a long What's amateur up? career. Wardley has it. Fucking uppercuts, ripping. A, whenever he gets going, he gets hit with an uppercut, man. Well, Wardley's trying because he's block leaning over his front end, leg, but it's not working. Look how far he is over his front leg. Oh, and look yeah. how look where Frazier Clark is. Yeah, yeah. that's not your experience, bro. Wardley's, getting, Wardley's getting pieced up, man. He's getting pieced up. Like Clark's surprisingly Fuck, big man. as well. He's bigger. Than I don't I want. I hate this right now. Yo, bro, if fucking Worthy loses, I've been wrong this whole fucking weekend, bro. <laughs> you and me both, brother. You and me both. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? Do I not know shit about boxing? Like, what the fuck? No, no, no you're just no, having, a, you're just having a funk. Right now. You're just in a funk. A funk this I, feel like, I feel like Polo or Mirage right now, bro. It's crazy. Ow. Mm. I don't don't know, know, I'll, look, I'll tell you what it's it's not looking good. it's not looking good for Fabio. He's no. he's it's it's we're not even at the midway point and he's no, he's not. losing form and everything. Yeah, he's gonna get to round eight and then he's gonna go. He's down. bleeding. His face is busted up a bit and and he has know, no answer for that. He has no answer for that fucking but, uppercut. Man. But yeah, like nope. Frazier Clark, if he gets developed right, he'll be a good heavyweight for sure. Like he's I'm not he's, gonna really he's looking. He's looking. Yeah, but the problem is, is that well, he's looking a lot better this fight. But he's old anyway. He doesn't have that much time. I don't think he has. Yeah, that much time. but they got. That's why they got to move him fast. But you got to remember, heavyweights age is different with heavyweights. Though. I know. I know they age lower, but how old is Clark? Thirty-one. It's like forty-three. Yeah. Thirty-one's not 30, too bad. He's thirty-one. They said it's so. He looks the, uh... minimum. He looks a minimum forty, bro. Well, he's he's got two kids as well. That shit ages, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> Who keeps yeah, burping Jules. in the fucking mic? It's drinking Jules. fucking Canada Dry. What the fuck? Stop I'm probably not scratching burping, the balls bro. as well, man. A bit better from Wardley. Yeah. Stay Wardley just needs jab, a job. He's, 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 he's too fucking desperate to land shots. Just fucking jab and find your way in. He's too yeah. desperate to land that big right. Just jab at him. Condition oh. him for a minute. Jab yeah. at him. A no, good right hand. Good. Oh, no, good right hand. Two right hands. Yeah. Took him well. He's got to throw it up and down. He's got to change your level with it. Or go up and down a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Clark actually wins. Yeah, yeah. Jab at his solar plexus. Yeah, exactly. Yes. yes. Or even at the shoulder just to get him to react. To do something. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, Worley's landed the overhand a couple of times already. He's landed yeah. twice in this round. I saw him land it almost every round. Clark just landed it just now. Yeah. Right, this is a good round. This is turning out to be a good round for Wardley. Yeah, it if is. You just, if like he, he's just measure with the jab, bro. Just use the jab this round. Stop getting crazy with him. Mm. Mm. Good jab. Actually, you see, you see when he yeah. when he comes forward, that's when he gets hit by the uppercut. So oh! Hit him to yeah. the gut. Good Ooh, just nice, fight him mid range. Nice just fight him mid range. It's best. Like this range right here is good. Yeah, Things I remember as well was like Clark. Clark fought uh, Jalalov in the Olympics, man. Oh, you know I'm good again. Yeah. Is that who? Ooh, Clark? That was a good fucking right hand, bro. And Clark, crazy. that dude had to wait his turn. Shit. It was it was AJ oh, and then uh, Joe. Oh Joyce shit! Oh shit! Well, what's going on? <clears throat> nah, oh, I'm shit. not gonna spoil it, man. Like Come on, spoil it, man. Fuck Michael. It's my life. Spoil it. Shut the fuck okay, up. Okay, clock's down. No, hey, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> oh, that's cool. what I like to hear. Go on, Fabio, man. You fuck see Michael over here trying to, trying to make special fucking rules, and I'm missing exciting moments Yo, and shit. That's what I like to fucking hear, man. No, no. The fans won't win if you're on the bullshit. Hey. We turn that shit up. He t yeah, he Yo, when enough, Fabio man. wants to fight, he'll fight, bro. He's not fuck, a bitch like fuck Jules. You, really, fuck you, Frazier. Really fuck you. Fuck your medal and fuck Olympic. <laughs> fuck you. Fucking bitch. Stop the cash, Jules. Fuck you, fucking Jesus bitch. Jesus Christ. See, Michael, we Jesus know shit. Up, we were not exactly, wrong. Exactly, Jake. Turn it up, Fabio. You know Turn it up. Fuck Jake, you. No more boxing everybody. Saved by the bell. 
Well, I know more than you because you're a Tyson Fury fan. But other than that, you know you're a great looks guy. Looks like somebody. Uh, you uh, know, looks up, like. Why are you going to cap on your own ally in here, man? I know. Like, so, what the fuck? Oh. Hey, I said, I said, you still know. Well, it was beautiful. Oh, it started with that right hand from Wardley. It's like Fraser Clark just Clark just walked right onto it. Okay, but you know, him. Fabio has to come out calm next round. He has to calm his ass down. Hey, bro, yeah, my prediction might come out. He himself out being too over eager. Yeah, he was over eager. No, no, he it's good because he had the salvo towards the end of the round, so now he gets to go sit down, recharge. Come out, fin pick up where you left off. But but all it has to do with experience too, though, because bro, yeah. Fraser Clark right. had way more boxing experience. Round six, Worley's coming Clark. from the white collar. Bro, I'm just now at the end of round five. What the fuck? Yeah, same same I'm here. Like a whole minute behind. You can't use America online for your whole life. For real, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's that Canadian internet for you. Uh, oh, it's gotta get back to the jab. I'm so mad. What is what is the oh, Canadian shit. equivalent of America oh, Online? Like Canadian R Us? Come on, I want spoilers. Nigel, I want spoilers. Nilo, Nigel, I want spoilers. So fuck no my spoilers. Guy. No spoilers. Uh, he dropped off. Oh fuck! I had to kick him out. I had to kick him out. I had to. I had to kick him out. I had no choice. I had no choice. He gave me. Right no as he was about to say something, he, he, he gave me. He gave me no choice. I had to do what I had to do. The fans lose. Now yeah, Fraser's looking like he's boxing. tired now, man. No, they don't. The fans did not win yesterday, damn it. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit hurt. That shit hurt. That shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt for the sport because the you know, you know that was a good gonna, right hand. You know they're gonna cripple the division, but we'll talk about that later. That's why, yeah, that's why it's such a pain. That honestly, that's what's annoying about it. That now you know everything's all fucked up now. See, now it was Fraser, a good division. It was a good division before yesterday. Yeah, it was shaping up to be great, man. I'm a big Madrimov fan great, now. Like, so... I was looking forward to Zoo and Madrimov. Come on, Nigel. I want spoilers, Nigel. Come on, Nigel. Give me the scoop. Nigel, don't be, don't be that guy, bro. Jesus Beat Christ! Up. Five jabs. Who? Who? Fabio. He backed. He backed Wardley into. I mean, Fabio backed Frazier into the ropes. Five jabs without an answer. He's teeing off. Yeah. He's fucking that nigga up. Come on, don't be stupid, man. Don't be fucking stupid. You could tell at the end of the fifth he was starting to get tired, Clark, man. No, it's, it's oh. Wardley taking, the, um, taking it now. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, Wardley's teeing Come off on, on him. Fabio. Damn. Yeah. Come on, Fabio. Come on, Fabio. Come on, Fabio. On jab. Come on, Fabio. That's you... That's his Come on, Fabio. He gets wild sometimes. <laughs> He's a natural he fighter. He's a natural he fighter. Wild. Wild. Yes. He oh, he ran into wild. a right hand, learn, though. Oh, oh was that a little day. blow? He's going to get that AJ Ruiz type shit and just learn the hard way one, one day. He can't even be doing that shit. But for real, though, I need Good jab. AJ Beautiful jab. jab. Beautiful jab. He snapped his head back with Clark, that jab. Get out the mouthpiece. Clark's trying to bomb time. Oh, shit. T.O., Fabio. Fuck this guy. Beat just went online with a post fight, so it might be finished. Fuck, man. What? Beats has just appeared, but I got a uh, fucking notification saying that a post fight is up, so I think it's over. How could it be over? How could it, it can't be over. Maybe it ain't he's over just yet. It. <laughs> Maybe he's just put on. Maybe he's getting a notification of the future post fight just coming no, up. Right. Yeah. You know, those are preset. What I'm yeah. seeing here is that while he has gas in the tank, Frazier's a formidable guy, tight form, good form, but he ain't got much of an engine, and it could be a lack of experience. Yeah. Crash weight as well, man. Like you said. No, but you know, he looks he looks smaller than his last couple of fights. I would yeah, say. exactly. He looks more in shape. Yeah, but that's the he's thing. Like, if he's crashed piece. weight, that's then that'll take bro, away his I'm not. I'm not for Hey, there's a difference between having a good engine and being body beautiful. Just because he's slim, it doesn't mean he has a good engine. He's yeah. losing yeah. form after, what, five rounds? Bell used a good example of that. Yep. It's like having a V8 with, with no oil in it. There you go. You know who's a good example of that? Uh, fucking... Ruiz as well. He, Andy Ruiz, I was just about yeah. to say. Another, another Wardley round, I'd say. Definitely another I'd say, Wardley yeah, round. Yeah, definitely yeah. another Wardley round. Fabio yeah. didn't do anything. He didn't Clark do nothing in that starting, round. Clark is starting to push the uppercut, and that's going to get him countered. He probably took that round off, but yeah. 
I love it, bro. Fuck Mentalone, bro. I actually think I don't like what he's done to the British boxing scene. Yeah, Clark really might don't. be running out of steam, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it looks like yeah. it, bro, because he took five jabs and didn't do nothing but back up. He took like five bro. jabs back to back, couldn't do nothing. They got a 57 57 right now. Yeah. He was a, he was a knockdown. It. Like in the first four rounds, he was appreciating his own work too much. He really should have poured it on and tried to, like, he almost. No, nah, but it's dangerous to pour it on on a guy like Fabio. No, but he almost had uh, Wardley in his box. He was tentative for a bit. If he had sort of just mm. put on a wee bit more pressure, he probably could have, like, yes. dented his confidence a bit. But he was but standing off on it. And then with those jabs. Clean jabs, right hand around the side on the temple. Just grazed him. Just grazed him. Don't get overzealous, Fabio. He's losing steam. Just jab him. He's young, little jab though. to the chest. Little jab to the head. Little jab to the body. Little jab to the head. How old is Fabio? Anybody know? He's like twenty-eight or something. He's quite, still quite young. Yeah, he's not thirty yet. Oh, Keep coming, twenty-nine, jabs, he's 29 Fabio. actually. Mm. Yeah, but he doesn't have any amateur fights, so he's not got any damage. Yeah, he turned 30 in December. Damn, these guys are good thing late. Uh-oh, low blow. blow. Low blow. These, these guys are just starting so late. Like, what happened to the mid-20s fighters, bro? For real. The Olympic teams are fucking it up, man, in Britain. Like, the the, the Olympic team is really badly managed. In the they punched like, Wardley in the dick. They're like rappers, dude. Rappers yeah. dropped their, their first single at, like, 33 now. Oh, they're taking a point away from Clark. For the low yeah, blow. To, yeah, but the rappers have got to suck that dick Aww. first. And that's a lot of dick to I be just sucked. fucking know yeah. the chill, 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 chill. I dropped my full finger. You don't think, the, well, the you know, Al Heyman fighters, they have to. Oh, oh definitely. Fucking fucking aspiring rappers at, in their <laughs> mid-30s. Like, oh, oh, break, bro. like, fucking get a job, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, little chill, chill, chill. I dropped a, I dropped a, a, a EP at 31. Yeah, but what? yeah, but yeah, you're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, point, oh. point deduction and with the knockdown, Fabio should be up. Yep. Why, why was there no warning? Like, uh, good exchange, like, though, man. Good. Fabio, Fabio's eat, uh, oh, been no, eating up. Steve Gray, bro. I fucking hate Steve Gray, bro. Stop trading with him, Fabio. <laughs> I hate Stop Steve trading Gray, with him. Bro. Like, I really do. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I really don't like that. I don't hate him when he gives Frazier a point deduction. I don't hate him no, then. No, no, no. I don't hate that either, but I just wanted to say that, honestly. Why is he is, he is that I, want, I, want I to handle, get Fraser I hate Steve Gray. I hate Earl Gray. He's, he's shit, horrible for crap. boxing, this guy, bro. Steve yeah, Gray is such a great it. British name. He's a fucking cuck. Got to give this round to Fabio. Got to. Just need to measure, bro. You don't need to become overzealous. You have enough power to hurt this guy. He don't have enough gas to keep up with you. Just break him down with the jab. Alternate where you throw it. He needs to keep jab throwing the, head, the jab, jab the and then he just he throws these overhands. He's not setting them up. Just keep jabbing. Them overhands short. get him tagged too. I keep, I keep on seeing him leaving himself open with some of them overhands. He needs to go straight right to the body, take, man. Fucking man, him. They got some shit to work on, bro. Because this guy, yeah, they, they do. He needs to throw straight punches. Got some shit to work yes. on for real. You need to throw straight, straight punches. punches. Punch, punch, punch. When he does, when he does throw his punch. straight punches, he switched trainers. His best punches fight. are his straight punches. His he shouldn't yeah, he shouldn't hook good. with this guy. His best punches are the straight ones, the jab and straight. Just just alternate where you throw the jabs. Jab the head, jab the body, jab the solar plexus. Just alternate where you throw the jab. Get him so worried about that shit he don't even yeah. know you got a right hand. He's throwing way too many hooks. Hey, wait, is this is this Fabio's first time with Ben? <laughs> No, it's not, no it's, I think it's like third fight with him. No, I thought it was his second. But, but yeah, he could, could be right. Could be right. Could be his second. Yeah, but yeah, not his first time. Though. Yeah, he looks calm between styles. Yeah, but remember as well that like Clark is an Olympian, so like yeah. his stance will make uh, Wardley like you'll see that he has a solid stance, so he mm. won't be as gung ho and he'll not be willing to square up to land his straight punches like Wardley normally does. Mm. He punched him in the dick on purpose, man. That was clearly yeah, yeah. a purpose. It was clearly yeah, that was, that was, that was out, of, out of frustration. Yeah, because he knows that the uh, you know the, the onus is taken by Wardley now. Punch him in the tail, huh? Well, Clark <laughs> retreating right now. He's been retreating for the past couple rounds. Yeah. yeah. Who, who the fuck is that? 
I don't Somebody know. In somebody's background. Ooh, good, a good right hand. That's a beautiful right hand. That was a good left hook by Clark, though. Good left up there. Nice. Back to Wardley. Ooh, shit. That was Ooh. a huge right hand. Ooh. One, two oh. from Clark. Mm. Yeah. Yo, it looks like Fabio's. He's a, he's avoiding those uppercuts better now. Yes. Oh, nice one, two right hand on the ropes. Wardley ate those punches. Ooh, looks like Wardley's right fading. I want spoilers. I want spoilers, Nigel. Well, I want I just, them. No, it's just a case of um, Clark is starting to find a home again for the right, and it's busting oh, up Wardley big time. Wardley looks like he's like looking for a second window. Huh? He does. Like like... Wardley's getting hit right now. He's eating he a is. lot of punches. Come on, Fabian. Oh, whoa, on. Whoa. oh, nice right hand. But what I like about oh, Wardley, geez. he goes to the body. I like a heavyweight that goes to the, that works the body. You know what I mean? We we'll have to give this round of phrase. Well, Wardley's going to Clark's body. Yeah, that's what he should have been doing fucking ages ago. Oh, yes, yeah. This is a phrase. Oh, Clark's on the ropes. He's eating punches. Yeah, I'm telling you. He clinched. Those right hands by Clark are fucking really taking the taking it out of a uh, Clark Wardley a bit. What did you reckon fight of the weekend so far? Good. F I'll say uh, fight of the weekend. Ye second, second, because I liked Valdez versus Wilson. Second best fight of the weekend. Yeah. Third would be the girl fight, Estrada versus uh, Valle. Uh, then would be, oh, shit, he's pouring it on. Yeah, he Oh. Maybe oh. he's hurt. Maybe he's oh. hurt. Uh, wow. Oh. Oh, hey, go steal the round. He's, could, he's tagging could Clark that, to the body. It could be that Clark was just saving a little bit for the later rounds, you know. Steal that round back, Fabio. Steal the round back. Steal that round, Fabio. I honestly think that was a Clark round, but it just no. close. No, I've got it for Clark there, country. I agree I with you there. It's a Clark round for me. Man. Them, them right hands were doing damage. Mate, yeah. yeah. This is stressful, mate. His nose, man. I think he nicked that I round. deal with all this fucking stress, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Fabio oh. looks exhausted, man. Yeah. yeah. Punched I'm out. Thinking, I'm thinking that point we where we got we got Clark down, maybe that was almost a last stand, maybe you think. I don't know. I don't mm. know. It's like Clark's got a second win and, and Fabio needs one. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I think the fifth. Fabio round. he'll get it soon though. He'll get it. I hope. He needs it. Get, get, get catered first. Yeah, man, that nose is an absolute fucking that's as bad as Fandora's. Jesus. Good fight, though. Very good fight. Fraser's been good, man. I'm actually been quite impressed. Same here. Rick Starr says Jake Gyllenhaal and Ben Shalom equally have that face that you want to knock out. Shout out to knocking out people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I normally knock out people. Don't forget that undercard match with Boy uh, Boyachuk. Well, that wasn't really a great oh. fight so much as a good ass kicking. Yeah. Because yeah, Mendoza was never in that fight, bro. He was never in that fight, bro. I mean, he tried, but he was getting pummeled. Yeah. Aside no, from no, the no, uppercut in the he 11th did, round. He did hurt him. Yeah, he did hurt him. That's, that's all he did, though, the whole fight is the uppercut in the 11th. Yeah. All right, double, yeah, boy, Chuck just teed off on him the know, second half of the fight. Oh, oh, double. Yeah, he got Fandora taken to pass. Would make it past, uh, Wardley eating right hands right now. He is. Fuck. Michael, I think we're about to eat shit, brother. No, no we're not. Mm. Come on, no, Fabio. People have it tied. It's 4 4. You know what? I, I don't know if Fabio's nose is broken. No, though. Away. I'm yeah, be the one. Fuck, hey, man. There's no Clark looking like he got his win back. Mm. Yeah. That's a Ricky Clark Hatton stepping into his jab. Well. That is, yeah. Nah, this is this was for This is not like uh, this is exactly how this fight is supposed to go on paper. So, so did Clark you pick dudes? So did you no, pick but, Clark to win? No, but I. Then what I the fuck are you coming. talking about, dog? Bro, the last time I was on a live, we talked about this. I remember you told me you were like, "What skills does Frazier?" Oh, Clark oh, like, yeah. Holy one, shit, two, and then the body. Fuck. Wardley's getting fucked up right now. Oh man, his nose is. Oh, 
Steve Brown's what it's was going to be the, the problem. The dude with the pedigree versus the guy who, you know, oh, turned shit. Oh, oh. Yeah. Like, Ain't that like, uppercut. Warden, I think, no. yeah, not, his, dude, his this is AJ, nose. AJ no, White. That was a fucking huge no, ride. His nose, oh, his nose looks off the bad. Nose reindeer. Yeah. His nose looks yeah. bad. Damn, Warley's nose is say, awful I'm right now. Say, Look at his eyes. His eyes are going as well. That's a severely fucked That's up, right. broken if he, oh, blows his his nose. Nose. if he blows his nose, his eyes going to pop out. Yeah. Exactly. He better be breathing out of his mouth. That's bad, man. That is fucking horrific. He's not getting a second win through that nose. I'm telling nah, you, that no second win. He's Dude, not. his nose looks severely fucked up, man. He's fucked, bro. It He's looks gonna get bad. Look at that. It looks terrible. Like it looks like he has a red spot where his nose used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 yeah, yeah that's, that's called a broken that's nose. What nose used to be. He might oh, go. Man. He might go. You his nose is tweeted to the side, bro. He might you go. Can... Unless something. Oh, he might go, man. He might go. Grace giving him that look. Grace giving him that Davidson look. Gonna guys, him. Guys, he's in every time is he moves his head, his face is in excruciating pain. <laughs> like, mm. like just just the movement of him breathing or Trying moving, to. like yeah, just like tapping his his cheek with his glove is excruciating for him right he now. He stopped throwing straight punches. That's what happened. I think well, he's he's gonna gonna he's, one look at Fraser Clark. He's Davis, and then Davidson's going to oh, pull. Oh, he's got a bad gash on the top of his on the bridge of his nose, man. Yo, it's oh, rough, Ethan, how can you tell? That oh, yeah. shit looks like a broken oh, country. Well, yeah. gee, country, you know, I didn't realize that till you just said it. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck you, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can tell this how is, bad uh, it is. It's not like we were sitting here talking about how fucked up his nose is for the last three minutes. You can tell how bad an injury is by how dark the blood is. This no, is the but same fight clear. as AJ versus White or Dubois versus Gorman. It's the dude with the pedigree and the experience versus the guy who started late. Yeah. Like that's what this is. I got a clearer picture of how bad the oh, gas shit. was. That's what I was talking about. Oh, you shit. motherfuckers! Well, Look thank you, Captain right. Obvious. That's right. My cape and everything, <laughs> motherfucker. Look! Look at the state of the canvas, man. Oh man! Oh shit! It's a fucking bloodbath yeah, this they may weekend, man. Yeah, it has been a blood and gut fucking the weekend. This weekend, weekend bro. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, it's endless cuts. I think he's going to yeah. one run. Damn, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, that was a good Clark looked like he can sniff the back of his ear. Yeah, Fabio's fucked, man. He's fucked. He's fucked, man. Fabio's getting hit, dude. Yeah, Fabio's fucked, man. Mm. He, needs, he, needs a, he needs a miracle punch. Yeah. Good job. Nice bar, score. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate Gareth Davies? Man, this You're weekend's been the bucket of blood, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm full on 10. No, like it's cool for the doctor. <laughs> Fuck. That fake ass Ozzy Osbourne looking motherfucker, yo. I fucking hate him. <laughs> this is the type of English him. person I want to punch. Yo, Fraser Clark needs weird. to get tested for hepatitis. This shit is crazy. <laughs> 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 oh man, it's a fucking. Uh, letting it go bad, on, bro. That's good. Letting it go on. That's good. Bro, oh, they had to look at. Yeah, they got a doctor. God damn. Go take a look at it. Yeah, Dave, Davidson's going to pull him out. Like, no, there's two more rounds left. Unless he can Good find luck. a miracle punch, this fight Ooh, is lost. Bro. Good response by Wardley. Good response. Well, this, back, back it up. This is oh. Easter Sunday, so maybe, maybe there's a miracle there for him. Oh shit, Nigel, what's going on? What's going uh, on, Ward Nigel? Is, Fuck, Ward I is... want the spoilers now. <laughs> no, no, Ward is pouring it on. Ward is pouring it on. Yeah. Go on, Wardley. Fucking just. Might as well throw everyone out, mate. Oh, shit. Yeah, just one. hit him oh. with the kitchen sink, man. Fuck it. You He's trying. Again. I'll give him, I'll give Wardley that. He is trying. Clark spat out his mouthpiece again. Sneaky fuck. Yeah. That should be another point deduction. It's it the should. second time he did that. Yeah, that's not by accident. You keep spitting out, you keep spitting out your mouthpiece. Why, bro? I'm wasting time, bro. Wasting time. <sighs> just missed with that. Ooh, yeah, beautiful this is right hand. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. This has oh. definitely been the weekend of blood for boxing. Boys. That was right oh, on the bridge of the nose. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Uh. 
I was watching the Denzel equal equalizer oh! the days, and there's more blood. Than Got him with the right hand. And there's not filming. Oh, uh oh, Wardley's retreating into the corner. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> oh, up and for it. the left hand. He's holding on. Man, it's the pain from that cut, man, because mm. Clark hit him oh! right on the bridge of the nose. Oof. Yeah, that's a trauma. Oh, he's got to move his fucking head. Every time he gets hit, his body will be screaming at yeah. him. Yeah, Morley is not looking good right now. He's one tough motherfucker, man. Do I tell Definitely. you that, makes me want that. Makes me want him to win even more. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, what a right hand that was. He went Ooh. really walked right into that. Oh. What's going on, Nigel? Man, um, the last last punch of the round was Wardley smacking um, Clark with a right hand, knocking out Clark's mouthpiece, man. That was Wardley, a... Wardley round. I'm calling bro, it. Bro, one Wardley thing about round. Wardley I'm round, bro. Bro, yeah, his that power was a carries round. late, bro. His power carries late for sure. Come on, Fabio. <sighs> Damn, dude, Fabio walked into that one right hand real bad, though, man. He oh, that was a good body shot by Fabio. That was a beautiful body shot. I'm surprised Fabio uh, Frazier took it, man. Yeah. Clark, uh, Come on, Fabio! Wardley's going to have to go and see an excellent plastic surgeon to get that nose fixed. Like. Yes. Yeah. Because that cut, that, that, that scar tissue he had before the fight even started, man, like... That has to be solved. Like they have to cut for them to put that towel over that fucking thing round at the round, bro. He looks like Skeletor. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> yeah, he does. What cut is worse to you, Jules? This one or the one that Tim Zhu had at the top of his head last uh, night? No, this is way this is way worse. That 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 yesterday was. It's a superficial cut, but because there's a lot of blood there, that. This is much worse, trust me. It's yeah, much like, worse. Bro. What Tim Zhu had is like what, what professional wrestlers do to themselves. Like they're yeah. like you can survive a fucking slash on the forehead. A broken nose, like bro, all that shit is You're pure trying pain. to breathe out of that thing the whole time you're breathe. fighting. And it. then if, if he blows out of his nose too hard, no homo, like his his eye is gonna like pop out of his socket. Bro. Like mm. it's it's excruciating. I just wanna give a shout out to alcohol. You have to remember. Shout well, out to whoever's in a fucking police chase. <laughs> the fans win. Every like every punch that that Wardley takes on that nose, his body is screaming, "Stop! Just give up!" Like that's seems major like trauma. Seems they've got the bleeding him. under. Oh god, he got punched in the nose. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like, <laughs> dude. His brain is begging his body to just collapse, and exactly. he's like fighting his brain right now. Like he's like at war with his brain. Brain shouting them, what are you doing, you daft motherfucker? Just take a knee. What do y'all got to score right now? I'll I think up. Fabio might be up by a point because of the point deductions and the knockdown. He's like, bro, his I brain is like, bro, are you off? Uh, I, got, I, got Cl oh. I got Clark ahead by one round, at least. <laughs> if Wardley does win this, then fucking, he deserves British Fighter of the Year for fighting through yeah, that shit. Yeah, honestly. Another <laughs> knockdown, he might win it. Oh, my I thought he oh Fabio, find it, find it, Fabio. Oh, Fuck this they guy. Should just, they should just score this shit a draw so that we can do a rematch. Fuck it. <laughs> the fans nah, win. Davis gotta win this. Davis gotta win this. Michael and I need a W this weekend. If he can win this last, like these, uh, these last two rounds. Last two rounds. I actually do need a W this weekend. Oh wait, I had he won a couple mid rounds. Wilson. I had good. He stepped. Bro, Fraser yeah. Clark was absent for like three rounds in the middle of the fight. Damn, man, this, this, this weekend the boxing can rival professional <laughs> wrestling the amount of blood, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Carnage, man. Yeah, we had like a we had like yeah, a week of OJ murders. Like <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. It's like Halloween weekend. Yeah, his nose films, looks but... like a fucking his nose looks like cranberry sauce. Oh, oh dude. No. It's like the no. This is formerly known as a nose. <laughs> Mark <laughs> looking tired. An appendage formerly like known was, as nose. Like I was, yeah, I Clark was looks eating. tired. He's now, taking clean like, jabs. He's looking a little gassed. Come on, Fabio. This is your moment, man. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Come on. <laughs> Do you still keep your pick? For oh, uh oh, Clark getting hit, but he hits back. 
Get off the ropes. I you tell Clark to get off the ropes. Stay on the ropes, Clark. Get knocked out. Stay on the fucking ropes. <laughs> get knocked out, Frazier. Yeah. Yo, Joe, Virgil, <laughs> Uh, the weekend of boxing was on his period. <laughs> a lot of blood. We're going to give this round. We're going to go ahead. We're going to Oh, shit. He's taking shit. He's taking punch. He's taking punishment. Should have been sponsored he's taking by punches. Well, Jules, if I'm Captain Obvious, you're Captain Bias. <laughs> Fucking right. Oh. This weekend of <laughs> I just read that. You got to give that round to Fabio. He took that round. He took that fucking he round. Back in, I think he might have stole it on the back end because he was. If he was, win, if he if he gets the knockout in the twelfth, I think he wins. Clark looks dead on his feet. He has nothing yeah. left. He's struggling to walk come back on, to his Fabio. fucking corner. Good God! We didn't come all. We didn't come all this way. We didn't come all this way to come this way. Let's kick this fucking fat guy's ass. And go home, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, yeah. Don't tap my glove. <laughs> now, like seriously, if Wardley wins this fight, he deserves some type of award. Like, do we? Damn did sure we just does, totally, dog. Did we just totally imagine the fact that Fraser Clark gave up like at least three of the middle rounds before he Bro, broke? No, his oh, no, he did. Like he did. It, he he started. Oh, this he might started be, off this, strong. Yeah, he win. But he was bleeding after the first round as well, so he was already managing blood in his eye from the first fucking round. <laughs> Come on, Fabio. Go for it, bro. Just just lay it all out. Lay it all out. Lay it all out. Go for it. If he does Go for it. it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Clark's down on Clark's down on the viewers' verdict. He's down by a point. Yeah. He oh, should no, be. Last. Yeah, fucking. Look at fucking Shalom the ghoul standing on his feet. Come on, get on your jab. Get on your jab. Breathe oh, through your no, mouth. I, get on your jab. Clark, I think Clark might have worked his way back. Man. I don't know, but yeah. for not some by reason, a wide I think, margin. I think Ben Shalom's feet has claws. Something about him is very, <laughs> like, mystical. <laughs> you trying to say he's like a centaur or some shit? Yeah, something about him is, like, really, like, off and weird. Like, he has a hey, dark energy. A photo of Warley. Did you say he has dark energy? Yeah, something about, bro, Ben Shalom is, like, a weird, he's, like, eerie. What is he? Is he like an evil wizard or some shit? Yeah, he gives that. He's trying to say he's got hind legs and hooved no, feet. Yes, I know, I know who he was talking about. He bro, like watch a bro. watch, bro, watch a Ben Shalom interview and tell me you don't feel creeped out. Like he's like That's a little saying. creepy he's guy. Creepy, bro. He's, he's got that weird. snide accent though. The dude, he, 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 dude Ben Shalom walks into like a he walks to an animal shelter and all the dogs stop barking. Praise is getting hit. So oh, is Wardley, man. Man, you just saying that because you picked Clark. Oh, Jules, it's a picture oh, of uh, the after fight in your inbox. Say it again. Oh my god. Warly in your inbox. Oh, uppercut. Oh, damn. Oh, oh god. He can't avoid that damn uppercut. No, that, that uppercut. Oh, uppercut again. Man, that, that uppercut has had a home all fight. Fuck, Fight's man. over. He might have lost this shit, man. He might have lost this shit. Though. Yeah, he might have lost might've. it. It's too close. Clark, the victory. I got one up on Jules. It's too close. I mean, it should be a draw, but you're not going to get a draw. See, you, you know, if 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 you go by damage, then I think Warley might, yeah, lose. But if he go by round God by round, bro, damage, this is a draw. Bro. I wouldn't be surprised. Like this is I, Clark started, this started off strong. Then he, for some reason, he took like fucking three rounds off, and then it was if really the, back and forth until he broke his nose. Whoever wins, to be honest with you. Would y'all agree? Oh, that's the first part, bro. It was a great fight, man. Oh, but I, oh, I, look, oh. What I think, what I think Damn. Fabio deserves is a draw. What I think he yeah. deserves is a draw, but he won't get it. He won't get it. So, 
draw is as good as a draw on a boxer show is as good as Fabio being up, uh, uh, Frazier being up by a point. What a fight. Brilliant. It was fight. a great fight, but that's fight of the week. Yeah. Mark is Come dead on. in the they corner. They had Mark to help him up to the stool. On the Jesus. Start, they got it a draw, 114, 114. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The That's viewing card. If you, if you score it round by round, like it's a, it's a competitive fight for sure. What a scrap. Dead. Like he just went down just and collapsed. could not get wow. back up. They better be careful. They better watch him. Get him some oxygen, man. Oh, there's yeah. no Jamal Terrence fighting in two days again. Dude, he's going to need like a nose donor. <laughs> yo, did you guys see? Yo, yo, yo. Did you guys see that Urgus have fought yesterday? Yeah, he won, man. He knocked the guy hey, out. What the fuck? I it was two he days retired. ago, bro. That's how you. No, know he didn't retire. Yeah. No, he didn't retire. He said bro, before. He, he said before the Matias fight that he was gonna retire. This is the last fight. That's how you know he was scared. Bro, you gave him yeah, like but four rounds. His bro. uh, like, oh. his manager came out uh not too long after he lost to Matias, and said that Ergachev had been stabbed in the leg in a fucking attempted robbery, like six months before the fight. So he wasn't like fully healed or whatever was his claim. Dude, that is a very Puerto Rican crime to rob somebody and then stab them in the leg. <laughs> it's not a robbery <laughs> unless somebody gets stabbed, man. It's a very Puerto Rican <laughs> crime. Huh. It's a package deal. You get robbed, then stabbed. <laughs> and then you got your ass whooped. Great fight that deserves a rematch. No, it was a great fat. A great fight, but uh, uh, I don't. I'm not optimistic, man. Yeah, no. I think Clark decision or a draw would not be bad. Oh, white! Oh, white will beat the shit um, if they do. Yeah, fight. white's gonna be fucking furious, man. Yeah, that's okay, what. Okay, then, 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 then he could then he could fight. Then he could fight Frazier. Then but I yeah. think Frazier Clark needs work. He still that's what Frazier of... said, man. Hey, Frazier said he wants white after after Walker. Hey, that's a big yeah, fight. He did say that. That's a big that's fight. A I'll fight. take that. He's not ready. Fight. Not after this. He's not well, ready. he thinks he is. He thinks he's ready, so let's yeah, have it. I, I, I ain't going to stop him if he thinks he's ready. I think he's going to Yeah, get... he thinks he's ready, so let's have it, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Bro, that would be a crime. Like That ben... is Clifton Mitchell. Ben Shalom had this dude fighting uh, extras. And then he's gonna fight Dylan White next. He had him fighting Law and Order extras, bro. Oh, Background hey, he's good enough to get past, past Fabio. That's a pretty good step up. Did he Imagine really what... get past Fabio though? Imagine what Bacoli would do to Clark. Fuck. I reckon that they score, bro. Nigel, bro. What they score, Nigel? Come on, Nigel. Cut the shit. Oh, he's listening. He's listening to the scorecards. They said draw. They draw. draw. It's a yeah. draw. Yeah. All yeah. right, good, good. It. I'll take that. Good. I'll yeah. good. take that. I didn't. I, I wasn't wrong. That. I wasn't. If you score it round by round, a draw is not bad at all. Draw. Yeah, I'll take the draw. Bad. I'll take the fucking draw. I'll take it's the draw. I needed that because I've been. They had a one thirteen, one fourteen, Wardley, one fifteen, one twelve, Clark, and then one thirteen, one thirteen. That's crazy. They robbed Fabio, man. That's fucked up. They him. robbed him. Let's let's they start the robbery him. narrative, Michael. They let's, fucking let's robbed Twitter. him, bro. Go on Twitter. You gotta go. Twitter. 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 If you if you don't Come do on, it let's, on Twitter, let's it doesn't count. If you don't do it on Twitter, it doesn't count. You have to do it on Twitter. If you can't say he got robbed in French, then it has. Come no on, point. I already typed it, Michael. Come on, type it in English and French. I'll do My that right now. My warrior's starting to look Korean. Like his eyes are fucking non-existent. Look, fucking hell, man. Orly looks like Ernie. From uh, <laughs> the Muppets. That is um, fucking. Hey, hey, man, Fabio was robbed, man. It's fucked up <laughs> out here, man. Fucked up, bro. Like, it's country, did you see here, that man. robbery? He's a oh, hard yeah, man. Sure this is how can you bullshit. rob a man? Of the, Jules, how can you rob this man of the comeback win of the year? Like, really? What do you? What's the world coming to? You just they never robbed, know. They robbed Fabio, bro. They robbed bro. him, bro. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. They fucking robbed him, bro. <laughs> they did. I, 
This is all Jason's fault. It's really always Jason's fault if we're being always, honest. For real. Why Stop is this a fucking always Tyson Fury, Fury fan, bro? You're always I will Tyson never Fury be a Tyson Fury for something like Tyson Fury because it fucks with all of you. It fucks with your picks. No, it bro. fucks with your betting. It fucks with everything. It brings me joy, Michael. Speak French, then I'll stop being a Tyson Fury no. fan. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a single one of you guys speak French. That's what's the funny part. As well. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have the pressure on us. You do. We yeah, have. We're not no supposed to. On me. French, bro. There, there, there is me. pressure because you're supposed to be able to speak it, Michael. What the fuck? Why am I supposed to be able to speak it exactly? Fabio was still robbed, bro. Arguing yeah, with me no, won't change exactly. that. You won't change that. You know what I'm saying? No, but hold on. That makes sense because aren't you a Haitian dude from Montreal? Like you went to a, I'm like not, a French I'm not place. From Montreal. I'm not. I'm not from Montreal, bro. You're from Quebec. It's literally yeah, written it's in like French. French. Yeah. Quebec. Like, dude, no, you went not, from, I'm French, not like from other I'm not, France to other. I was, I was born. I was born in New Jersey, and now I live in Canada. That's all it is, bro. I'm not from That's Quebec. Cool. I'm on the Ontario side, for fuck's sakes. I'm in the capital of Canada. So, um, Nigel, you, you well going to watch Flash? Are you going to watch the Flash movie after this? Because it's available now on Sky Cinema. <laughs> that dude's a that's fucking Flash ass movie. Flash, which, uh, which Flash movie? Is it that, that new one that, with Batman? The, 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 new yeah. one, the new one with, uh, with the girl Superman. Supergirl. That, that, that sucked so bad. It was just a big letdown. It was ass. I see Michael, what they tried to do. Michael Keaton was a the only action. redeeming factor. Like Michael they Keaton tried to was... do a live action Flashpoint. That's point, what that was yeah, but yeah. it just didn't. It just wasn't. It wasn't didn't land. Good. I thought Michael Keaton was the best part of the movie. Yeah, that shit was just not it, bro. Was not it. Fabio was robbed. Yo, look at the schedule we have coming up, man. It's pretty good. We got a great Ooh. schedule, man. It's been good for boxing, bro. Still don't think that you sick fury fight is gonna happen, but we'll see. Let me smoke a cigarette. We'll see, bro. Anyway, I've got a bounce. I've got to get a dog out. So it's got being fun, guys. I'll catch this next one. That's a good one. You too. Hey, bro. Bro. I'm gonna read this the super, super chat. Rick, Rick Starr. Let says, me read the super chat. Tim Shee, he says, Word has it WBO is gonna order from Dora Crawford. Uh Rick Starr says, Is Fraser Clark an illegitimate bastard child of Chris Eubank Sr.? Uh Nigel, is the is, is he? <laughs> he had to go. He had to, he had to drop off. Short answer is yes. The answer is always yes. Just say yes. All I know is that Fabio was robbed, and it's fucking Michael's fault. Because he won't speak French. <sighs> it's a cold world we live in. <laughs> This was a fun week. I mean, results it aside, was. this was a fun week of boxing. Was the fans won? The fans did win for once. They even won with the Lara fight because it was mercifully over quick. Oh, yo! I didn't expect that. Yeah, that was good. I, I gotta say, and we got, I, I, and we got to see Roly yeah. get taken out too. <laughs> Finally, yeah, that we needed that. We needed that. I'm a little embarrassed myself for, pick, for picking against Laura just because I should have known the second Donaire was training uh what's his face the other guy cuz Donaire versus man. Cubans is a you know you know you Zarapa. know Donaire be coming around this channel man don't say that I I, I love Donaire Hall of Famer but Donaire versus Cubans has never worked out for my, my guy it just never has Ugh. I'm gonna say it again. I'm still upset that the 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 loser got a title shot, and we got another loser that's fucking gonna Earl's get friends. a multi title he's shot. Fucking, he's the hey, we were in a good fraud, mood. Man. We were in a good mood. What'd you bring that shit up for? Still, the, it's still, it it looms a dark shadow, dark cloud over the fucking sport. It's all. Earl Spence yeah. is a fraud, bro. Thank you, thank he you. He's a fraud. Yeah. Well, <laughs> here's. The best part is that as soon as he gets in the ring with uh, Fundora, he'll be in the ring against the, what he was basically doing at 147. Oh, I'm in a division I'm way too big for against all you little midgets. I can just bully you. And you can't yeah, do no. anything about it. Uh, Errol Spence is going to get his ass whooped at 154. Like his style of fighting, like he only really fights in the, in, on the inside. 
And now he's going to try and do what he did against, yeah, smaller guys moving up. He's going to try and do that against guys who are naturally bigger than him. And also, 154 is a division where pretty much everybody has an inside game. So he's well, going to George get Groves. Up. George Groves is getting ballsy. He actually had the audacity to put aside partners to pay. This guy's got real fucking balls. <laughs> this guy's got real fucking balls doing that shit. <laughs> not, not only that, George Jules. Groves? Not only that, fuck? George Groves is enjoying retirement, oh, Jules. He yeah, packed like, on some weight. I didn't even yeah, realize that was him, bro. It's fucking George. The fucking nerd. Look, look at the fuck. The Wait. stones on this guy to put a side part in his head. Bro, that's <laughs> bro, that's okay, bro. You got to accept what it, the bro. Fuck? Just say balls. What the fuck happened to him? He, he's he got eating. Fat, bro. Yeah, he got fat. And he got a toupee. On, an, on another note, Natasha Jonas looks amazing. My God. She does look amazing. But, like, God damn. What is it with boxers getting fat and unrecognizable in retirement? Like, we got that, that Turkish hair transplant, bro. I think it is. He's got the scalp of a young 12-year-old Moroccan boy. That's what that is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, uh, was, it Kellum, was it Kellum Smith that sent him into retirement? Uh yeah, yeah. after the knockout, yeah. after the knockout, well, that was yeah. A while back though, you guys. That was a while back, but you know, he's got hot. Yeah, he's put on the weight, put on, grew some hair. The the <laughs> thing is that it looks horrible. <laughs> do you see that? It looks horrible. Like, <laughs> why did you do that? Like, it looks terrible. Yeah, that bro. shit looks like a fucking like you put a mop on his head. That looks awful. Looks like a couple of fucking sparrows are building a nest on his head, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, like yo, got... Jules, is, is Billy Joel Saunders still a Porky? <laughs> uh, a Porky? What's that? Like a fat? Oh boy. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fat. He's fat. He's fat. Yeah. It, Damn, so, bro. yeah. Those, but copy. like, I think uh, Marcos Madena. He took the. He took the the. Or 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 fucking Prince Nassim. Uh, he he definitely. Yeah, you took. Don't the... forget about Don't forget about Ricky Hatton. He blew the fuck up too. Bro, Prince, bro, Prince I mean, Nassim I mean, looks like somebody he somebody ate Prince Nassim. Ate Prince Nassim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he fucking yeah, he fucking expanded. Bro. Do they have just fucking... Do they have a, a fast food drive in uh, drive throughs in in the UK? Kebab. They must look at George. They <laughs> have to. They, they must. <laughs> Kebab takeout. <laughs> Yeah, they did like some McDonald's people, in the UK. Some people, listen, some McDonald's. people get fat. Listen, there's some people get fat. They get a little, little fat. These guys expanded like the fucking yeah. cosmos. <laughs> like, dude, Prince what, not seen, he's probably cranky as hell during Ramadan. Like, he's what probably, get, he's probably what on what everybody's is, nerves. Uh, Prince not, Nassim with that little frame of his, that small frame. Prince Nassim is holding like five Prince Nassims now. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How the fuck? Yeah, the featherweight yeah. division in his stomach, bro. Dude, he he like that is the rest of them. He bro, can't I'd pay money to see him try to do a fucking front flip over the fucking ring, the ring ropes now, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> God, they, they look, Jules, they look like guys, they don't even look like they got fat eating. They look like they did the little cartoon thing where they just sucked all the air out of balloons and expanded that way so they could float off into the Tell sky. Tell you some people get fat. These guys expanded like, 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 wow. It's Johnny Nelson with another tight turtleneck. Johnny rocks some turtlenecks, man, and uh, yeah. It, I mean, maybe you can tell us. Maybe you can tell us how Usyk is. Maybe you can tell us how Usyk is in the Great Southpaw again. Uh, I'm right? fascinated by his taste. Johnny Johnny Nelson needs Prince Nassim's tailor. He needs somebody who can work a couple sizes larger. He looks like he's dressed for a CNC Music Factory video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> he, he looks like he's dressed to take his kids. He looks like he's dressed to go to his kids' musical, and he wasn't sure how formal an event it was gonna be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking shit is wild, bro. That was a great fight, man. Honestly, that was a fight of the year contender to me. Like, that was back and forth, up and down. There was knockdowns. There was blood. There was guts. Fabio's a hell of a fighter, man. I don't give a shit. He won that fight. They, they robbed him, Jules. They robbed him. They, they robbed, robbed him, bro. They robbed him, bro. It's fucking racist. Him. It's fucking racist. It's fucking racism, bro. Just, just call it how it is, bro. That's exactly what it was, too. Oh, you guys ain't rocking with the ry Rhythm Nation, man. Fuck y'all. What's next for boxer? 
I mean, rematch. Ball. No, there would be. No, honestly, there's a lot of money in a rematch. If you're being honest, there's there's a lot of money in a second fight after this. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. bro! You can that easily sell that shit. Uh, consulting his magical cauldron in order to come up with a. You know that I'm half <laughs> expecting Ben Shalom now to go home and and take off his shoes and and, and put his hooves on the carpet. Like I didn't think <laughs> about that, but the more I think about it, it's like that <laughs> would make sense. Just pull his devil tail out of his pocket that he stuffed it in to hide hide from people. Fucking yeah. shit. Actually, Jules, you're right, man. Um, ben Shalami, he's a generation too old to. He should have been in the Harry Potter series, man. If he was a generation before. Oh, he's that been alive. Yeah. He's been alive for millions of years. He's like <laughs> expendionis, bro. Shit. Expendionis. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was there at the first bite of the apple. Ben Shalom can. <laughs> Shit. Yo, we be disrespectful as fuck on these lives. Because he's creepy, man. He's weird. One of these days, bro, someone's going to get us, man. One of these days. <laughs> what? They're going to get me because... Yeah, you got to be positive, man. I, I think you listen to Drew too much, man. Drew's like having that negative impact on you, man. Be <laughs> that might be, be positive, it, you bro. Know? That might be positive, be bro. That might yes. be it. You know you're Drew right. out here. Drew out here. I'm not a communist. I'm an anarchist. Just man, li the listen to Drew's income. Man, listen to Drew's income. Man, listen to Drew's years class. old saying that shit. Drew is every political up, ideology in one person. Like, he just agrees and disagrees with everything. Man, listening to Drew sometimes on these lives is like listening to Morrissey for like a whole month. You just want to slit your fucking wrists after a fucking live. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn. Like I like Drew, Drew. I, I do like Drew, but it's like, bro, put put the shit stirring spoon down a little bit. You know, it's it's okay. <laughs> Dude, hospitals should hire Drew to tell kids that they're terminally ill. He oh would my god! Oh wow! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! He would do it with a pep in his. Bro, oh, bro, bro, bro. Bro. Jesus what in the hell did bro. you just say? Bro, that is horrible. I, I thought, no, no, fucking hey, some hey, shit hey. like that happened. I thought I was Good being God. dark. I thought I was being dark, but my guy, you got fucking ten points on the fucking on the on the on the board right now. Ten points for that. Oh, oh, oh my God. Outside right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah. Yo. Yo. That's fucked, bro. That was fucked, bro. And y'all and y'all accuse me of being savage. What the fuck, man? Oh shit, y'all! Oh, I get. Yo, I'm gonna have that on repeat. You sending Drew to the to the fucking hospital ward in Germany? Yo, oh, my God. I ain't gonna lie. He needs a bounty for that shit. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Somebody raised that man's bounty. <laughs> That was I fucking we were going there, fellas. <laughs> Oh, that was fucking insane. oh God! Well, look, I'm, I'm gonna fucking go eat dinner. Fuck you guys. Fuck Drew. Fuck everybody. See you on the next one. Get See that. <laughs>